Greetings, fellow adventurers! And welcome to Horsemen of the Apocalypse. We are Twitch affiliates and proudly sponsored by VentureSense. Click the link below, check out their amazing products, and while spending time with us in the chat, obey all the rules and listen to your moderators. While watching our stream, you are earning two currencies. Photo points are linked to the mini games in the chat, and you can use them to buy extra raffle tickets when we give away free merchandise. Loyalty points are used for interacting with our show. You can buy inspiration points or health potions for the Dungeon Master or for your favorite player. There are several Twitch commands that you will need to be familiar with in our chat. Refer to the panel below if you forget them or ask a moderator for help. These commands are how you play our mini games, enter the giveaways, or request songs for the channel playlist. If you enjoy our content, Clicking the follow button will notify you when our channel goes live. Join the Hoda family by becoming a subscriber and you get several benefits. A custom icon, unique emote, increased chances of winning in all mini games, access to a private chat room, and free song requests. The following program features adults using adult language. You have been warned. All right, I forgot your your shitty yeah, <laughs> ladybug. Nuke it. We'll just nuke it. You can be a little baby kraken. Just all right, and we are live. Hey. Welcome hey. everybody hey. to Total Tabletop. This is Horseman of the Apocalypse, season one. I am your humble dungeon master for the evening, DM Lax. and once again we have our season one players. It's been a little bit of break. We had a week off, and then uh, we did a belated Halloween special last week. So we are here to finally pick up where we left off, which was on a huge cliffhanger for the whole seasons. But but uh, let's uh, let's go through and let's meet our players. Let's hear a little bit about you and who you're playing. We'll go through some announcements, do a quick recap, and then we'll jump into tonight's activities. All right, so I'll start off. Uh, what's going on, everyone? Kyle here out of York, PA. Um, you know me better as everyone's favorite half of bar Philly shenanigan. Uh, I figured for you know the 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 horseman fight, I was just I'm I'm decking it all out, man. I got the Hoda hat, I got the Hoda shirt. I'm like just I'm all, I'm I'm jacked up. I'm ready to go. So uh, I know we got a lot to get to. I don't want to hold this up too long. So uh, I'll switch it over to the next player. But I, I'm 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 as Hoda's up as I'm gonna get. So we'll see what happens. Awesome. Okay, great. Uh, hi guys. My name's AJ. I play Rin and Aran, the elf wizard, still, I guess, in terms of probability, most likely to die in said fight, but hopefully not. Uh, but I do, I put it to a vote that whoever dies first gets replaced with Gary. I think we need Gary. The line. <laughs> <Gary> the line. <laughs> don't, don't just the worst. <laughs> he's looking right, he's sitting right over here looking at me, too, this whole fight, so this will be great. Let's see. But... A tabaxi arcane trickster. <laughs> <laughs> he's got vicious tabaxi mockery. Sure. I think he's a bard, maybe. <laughs> yeah, he can, still, he can play a bard. You won't lose anything. It'll just be replaced. Much, much better looking. Amazing. Okay, welcome. All right. Uh, I'm Dylan. I play Kurtz Klaskin, the actual most likely to die during okay. this uh, <laughs> confrontation. Um... And yeah, I, it looks like I have guy liner on because I kind of do, but that's a whole nother story. <laughs> and we'll well, we, which we that. won't go into right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll <laughs> I'm, wearing, I'm wearing it too, so I can't really talk. All right, welcome. <laughs> okay, and hey, uh, Leslie? Hey everyone, my name is Connor, and I am playing Urgra, the half-orc ranger. Awesome. And a little teaser for this evening, we may have a guest player coming in. Who is it? Oh, yeah. I guess you guys will have to stick around to find out who it is. Oh, uh, looks like ooh, Dylan and Scrab again. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. All right. So hey. a little bit of hey. announcements. We have several shows on the channel. Um, we got good content for you guys to watch on different nights. Uh, so why don't you go ahead and let them know when they can tune in to the channel, AJ. All right, so we have stuff that's from Sunday on to Wednesday. Sunday, we have Ages Past, where I DM with a host of players, one of which we share here, Connor. And you can catch us there at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Monday, we have Dungeon of the Mad Mage, run by Chubby Cobalt, starting at 6 p.m. And Tuesdays and Wednesdays, Hoda, seasons 1 and 2, respectively, at 6.30 p.m. Make sure to catch them out, because if you do, you get those lovely tabletop points that you can use to spend on either of those games to purchase inspiration, health potions, anything you might like to help those players out when they're in the dire situations. We'll leave them now tonight, please. Get them. Yeah, they're probably going to yeah. need them 
tonight. Yeah. So that's what Same, these, no, just spend them tonight. <laughs> these little spheres above everyone's heads. We got health potions in the center. We got inspiration yeah, points. Yeah, we're all full. And sanity points are around that corner. Um, so yes, we love interaction with you guys. As you are watching, you get the points. You can spend it on the mini games, which are in the chat. All the information is down below for redeeming and playing the games. Uh, we love seeing interaction. Um, stay tuned at the end of the episode. We're going to have a little Q&A. If there's anybody in the chat that wants to ask any questions, that's the time where we're actually going to be able to, not just in the chat, but actually verbally address any concerns or questions that you guys have. Um, if you missed any episodes, you can check out our YouTube. Uh, we try to catalog them all in there. Let's see what else. Is there anything else we're missing? Uh, Bandit Clamp Live. Bandit Always. Clamp Live. Awesome. Oh, also, um, Hoda Mama, Jackie, she started a wiki fan page uh, oh. for the channel. So it's cool. going to have everything told tabletop. She's starting with, with our show, um, Hoda Season 1. Um, so it's lots of cool stuff is, is getting plugged in there. It's still a uh, very early in the process. Um, Jackie, if you want to throw the link in the chat so people can see it. Um, I have it in the Discord. Yeah, but I don't have it. Thanks, Jackie. Uh, you're amazing. That's awesome. Yeah, so it's, that is really cool. So she's going through everything and putting everything up, and then uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be really cool having that. It's gonna be really someone nice. someone's got to take care of us. That's yes, exactly. <laughs> It'll be so cool to see everyone do Google searches and actually have it pop up. Exactly. Yeah. So we're getting a little wiki page built. Um, let's see. And lastly, we're going to Gen Con 2020. That is going to be in uh, July of next year. We're all going to go in full cosplay. Um, season 1, Season 2. Um, are ages past? Everybody going for that? Do you know? At least two of us are. I mean, yeah. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure. Are we, are we trying? Yeah. I was making sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Landed, so, yeah. Yes. Awesome. So we're going to, uh, everybody's showing up and we're going to be playing live. So that's what the fundraiser is. So any bits that you guys cheer or any subscribing goes towards, um, sending us there and we're at one forty nine ninety eight. So I any... already, I already took off work. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> that I had a schedule. Excited. Oh yeah. It's gonna be lots of fun. And the plan is for us to live stream while we're there. Um, if anybody can make it, we'd love to meet and uh, hang out with you guys in the last day after Gen Con. We're just gonna hang out with anybody who finds us. All right. Oh yeah. I think that's it for announcements. So we had a cliffhanger. What did we do last episode, which was episode thirty-seven of season one? And so last time uh, we had just returned from a cave of ice and just really OP monsters that we somehow defeated. Uh, but after that, uh, a little bit bruised and beaten, we returned to uh, the one of the Revenant... Uh, what is the name of that uh, Revenant place called? I forget. The DRC? BRC. DRC. Yep. DRC. And we met up with our dear, very blank-faced Olga, who offered us very lukewarm congratulations, took the object that we were required to get, uh, didn't seem to really care that one of the people under our care had died, Okay. So long as they had, you know, signed the, on the dotted line waiving their rights right. to, you know, recompensation. And life carried on. Now, at that point, it was about uh, maybe early afternoon. And we're like, you know what? We are leaving tomorrow to this horrible place. We're probably going to face a horseman. Let's just relax. And so most of us did. Urga went to get it food. However, uh, Finley and Rin decided to explore the uh, location a little bit and found some secret hideouts. Uh, including two magic items, which included a longbow of warning and a cape of protection, which has now been distributed among the party. Okay. They also uh, found the location of some uh, amulets that will apparently protect anyone uh, from being uh, diseased by any sort of magical pestilence, which is very important for where we are going. Now, we were already promised these amulets, but Rin, thinking ahead, just on the chance that everything screws us, he took four, no, five, uh, because we now have a, a NPC with us just on the off chance that we get screwed, so we're covered either way. Okay. So we got those. Uh, Urgra, while going through the town, making sure nothing crazy was happening, came upon a restaurant called Monster Cuisine and discovered that a goblin and ogre duo were apparently planning a genocide of flumps. Okay. In the crater outside of the city, Urgra realized she could not allow this to stand, got the rest of the party, and they summarily slaughtered the goblin. 
uh, collecting uh, one of the blue orbs that Finley has been looking for. Okay. And uh, were able to avert that problem. Uh, after that, they went back. Uh, Urger tried on the cloak of protection. It caused her to grow major sideburns. Uh, she then uh, defrocked Finley and threw him out into the hallway and locked the door behind her. And things progressed. Uh, other than that, though, I don't think anything else really happened. We slept. Urgra and Vana had a little heart-to-heart. But uh, we are all ready for what is to come. Okay. Right. Um, so I believe you guys, when you awoke, uh, made your way downstairs and she gathered you on the teleportation pad. Is, is that what you guys recall? That's the last thing we yeah. had. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, so there was a group of some DRC Revenant that were going to be accompanying you, although most of them were already there as well. Um, does anybody have any questions before we jump into it, as far as where we left off and what was going on? My last, my last note is Kurtz's war painted up, so that's that's where I'm at. I'm I'm, on, I'm with that. I'm good. That's, okay, that's my last note. <laughs> uh, are we? Are we expecting like a hot LZ or? Um, n- no, I, I I get what you're saying. So not like landing zone. Um, yeah. Are we going to be arriving in gunfire? Yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, yeah. You're not expecting it to be guns blazing right when you, you know, jump out of the the helo. <laughs> <laughs> I was just trying to think the acronym for LZ. I was like, what? <laughs> okay. This yeah, is so my last, Vietnam. Last thing was, the last thing was breakfast, right? We're just kind of. I think we're just done with that. That's and we and we got our buddies. I mean, yeah. As far as did, I know, you guys were actually on the teleportation pad. Like, did we good. did we get the the benefit from AJ or Rin's breakfast gourmand shit? Nah, not high enough yet for that. Gotcha. Oh. I don't. I, yeah, I don't have that yet. No, that's like, that's sure like the ten. Horseman. I'm sure this horseman isn't poisonous. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would it be? Oh, it's going to be no problem. You guys got nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so teleportation, that, that, that was our last thing then? Yeah. <coughs> Boom. Okay. Let's rock. All right, so as all of you are gathered um, onto the teleportation circle, Olga looks over you one last glance as she activates it. The circle swirls with the blue revenant magic. Everything goes up, blinding light. You guys kind of appear instantly somewhere else in the world, and it is going to be, as far as you know, Kelna. But as the white light recesses and you're looking around, you can kind of see it burned into the ground, kind of like on Thor when they use, uh, Mm. uh, what's it called? The Rainbow Bridge. Yes, exactly. Um, so it's going to be kind of like that, but it's going to be remaining glowing um, blue, and it kind of is uh, a fixed point that has been um, like a, ma- a makeshift structure on the ground. And as you are looking around, I will move your map over. Oh, well, I think the there we are, map, guys. Massive, massive area. So I'll give you guys this roll 20 a moment to load. Because this is... I'm there. This so are we in the middle doozy. of the town? All right. Let me kind of. zoom out a smidge. No, I think we're on the outskirts because they had to build a circle. All right. So the blue the circle for, for the chat. We'll kind of move around a bit. Here is a portion of Kelna. So this is very, very big. Lots of farmland in this area. And it is at the northeastern part of the continent. Very, very far away from the from the capital city. Um, I, I... All right, is everybody's map loaded in? Yep. Oh. All right, so this whole, um, this portion of the city um, is surrounded by these very large wooden um, logs that are kind of standing up in place that have been built into this very high, thick wall. And at the top of it is this board, um, this section that you can walk across that goes all the way around. Um, you can hear the sound of a very large river. Um, so this is near the coast 
um, so the rivers usually get very wide um, out at this at this portion um, and you can hear wherever you are inside um, this portion of the city you can hear the water running um, even if you're in the heart of the of the town um, all of the buildings that are around in the area they are all made of kind of a thinner wood uh, for the structure and they're all kind of like thatching across the top um, definitely not as modern as Candoria proper um, there seems to be possibly a higher population here um, going by the amount of buildings that you see um, but it's definitely more impoverished there is not as many high-end nicer things the, um, the architecture it's all very rudimentary um, the roads are all just dirt there's nothing really paved um, so it is just kind of a more down and dirty kind of rough kind of area but as the teleportation circle is bringing it's in the right in the middle of look like somebody's small little farmland but all the crops have been pulled out so it is all just barren dirt and there is a bunch of revenant wizards that are all surrounded and um, they are in the DRC costumes and they're all moving about some of them have are pulling some um, these crates that have these wheels and it looks like they have some kind of instruments um, and they're all moving about they look like they all have a certain purpose and agenda that they're all working and they're very kind of militaristic as far as like how they walk it's all very proper um, seems like everybody's moving with a purpose what would you like to do uh, uh, is this you Joseph are you parting ways now with us Zoom in here. All right, so Vanna came with you guys. Because our, our buddies from the cave also got sent here, but we're going off on another mission. Oh, Joseph, that Joseph. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's right. Um, yes, so they are going to start to get pulled by um, one of the senior DRC members that are there. I forgot to copy and paste them, but they were already going to be pulled um, anyway. Yeah. Um, so they're going to give their final goodbyes. Um, and they're going to be kind of starting to be assembled over in this training yard area just um, southeast of where you are here. Um, as you're looking around, um, it seems like there are no citizens that are not DRC. Like everybody seems to be all of these revenant workers. Um, yeah, turn over to you guys. Who, who was the guy who just commanded the little initiates to go off? Um, he's gonna be one of the, the mages. This one over okay, because he looks seniority. Yeah, so I think Rin yes. will kind of walk up to him and go, uh, "Pardon me, pardon me. Uh, I believe we were sent here with the promise that we should be given amulets to protect us from the infection, the plague, the, the corruption that's here. Do you yeah. have them?" Um, so he's going to turn and give instructions and tell you guys not to leave this circle until you've been given um, your initial briefing, which you guys are going to be going off. To another area of the town to get like a full briefing um but you need to make sure that you have the the amulets before you leave the circle so um at that he's going to give some orders to one of the other revenant um he's going to come up and hand um each of you guys um the well you guys already have them but he's going to be handing you a second one um of the drc amulets which are I already gave. I already showed you guys what they look like, right? Yes. Do we need to attune to these, or does it just wear and good to go? Um, so the initial equipping of them is going to cover you for right here, but like venturing forward, you guys are going to need to attune to them, and they take one hour to attune to. All right. So you can start the process while you go through like some of these briefings and stuff. Yeah, A lot of it's going to be, you know, going over safety protocols and explaining everything in the area and stuff like that. Um, so there is already a group of um, the new people who came in with you guys that is moving over towards, let me zoom out a little bit. All right, the south paddock is where you guys are going to be instructed to head towards, um, which is way down yonder. It's going to be southeast from where you guys are. Did you ping that? Yes. Big map. You say oh. south, southeast? 
Yes, the yeah. south paddock is where... Yeah, I see it. There it is. It's real big. Way down yeah. yonder. Um, so that is where they're going to give the full uh, the full brief to you guys, explaining what's going on with the area, um, what to be aware of, and then... Um, yeah, from there. So a lot of your questions will be answered for there. Um, and it's going to start in about half an hour. So you guys have about 30 minutes um, to kind of do your own thing. Um, you can start attuning to... Did you guys already attune to the the amulets that you stole? No, I don't think we did. I don't know if we even passed them out. Okay. Okay, yeah. where are those other amulets? I think, the Ren, has, I think Ren has I think them Ren all. Ren has them all. Okay. So, you guys have the ones that they just gave to you, and then you have the ones that you stole earlier. Um, which ones are each of you choosing to use? Yeah, I just think I have them, like, tucked away. The one that just given to me. I will, I will attune to the one that was just given to me by the DRC. Okay. I already made the motion on putting my, my, my lanyard on. Yeah, whatever. Okay. My, my uh... Sorry. My con badge. So does it have your preferred pronoun on it? <laughs> <That's> Me. A... <laughs> I was I was wondering if it actually if we could put like a picture on there real quick, like minor illusion, like a picture of ourselves, like a, like an ID badge. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> around with it. Um, let's see. I think I have a picture uh, of them I can bring up for everybody. You said that the meeting happens in half an hour. Wouldn't it take us an hour to attune before we can leave the circle? Um, no, just having them is going to cover you guys for this immediate area, but moving forward to any of the non-safe zones is what they're saying is you're going to need ah. the full, the full attunement. All right, very well. So yeah, hey, what what's, like. uh, what's the non-safe zone um, so that we can avoid that? Yeah, yeah, good call. All right, so they will kind of instruct that these, um, those large log, logs that make up the wall that wraps around the, the... Yeah side and then on the west side of this portion of town is all stone wall so any anywhere inside of this has been um uh, the safe zone with just getting the ambulance first but leaving these is where you're going to um, probably run into trouble and i would not recommend questioning them on this but you are free to do whatever you like yeah uh second question where is everyone okay um so Pull this up. All right. Um, so after kind of asking around, um, they'll tell you that the reason why this is um, named Kelna um, is that, sorry, Lord Kelna the fifth is the current ruler of the area. So it's a family name. Um, he is the fifth of the name, and he um, he evacuated the city. Um, you do hear from another person that they refer to Kelna North and Kelna South. And they say that you're in South, so that is something you can look into. Um, but yeah, all of all of the citizens are not here. They're all gone. So as you guys are looking around the city, um, for whenever you take off, there's going to be just like, everything was just dropped. So there's going to be carts that are just left handbags, backpacks, you know, just lots of things like horses that were left with carts, you know, like everything, um, is just, was just dropped and everybody mass evacuated. Um, uh, Erica's going to look at like some of the animals that were maybe left behind and see if they have any sort of odd symptoms to them. Oh, okay. Um, or what are you trying to do? Like, a... okay. What are you asking for? Um, well, are you trying to like do like a medicine check on them or probably more trying? medicine? Yeah. Okay. All right. What do we get? Remember, remember what I taught you. What I'll... the hell did you teach her about medicine? I'm oh, a doctor. Doctor. Shit, God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So you see, um, like a small little what do they call it? A gaggle of geese. Mm -hmm. um, they seem to be unaffected, and then you also see um, a couple horses that are tied up um, on a post, and they also do not seem affected. But you're not, huh. not sure if there's other things that are. Uh, guys, free horses. 
I mean, that's true. But maybe we should get their little briefing before we just start accumulating anything that's not tied down, or in some cases, tied down. Hmm. They could certainly come back for them. It might be useful if this place is as expansive as it is. Horses would provide a quicker transport for us. Yeah. Erger's, okay. gonna, Erger's left the circle, and she's going to start just going towards the paddock. We'd see if there's an apothecary in town, too. Maybe they have some more health potions. You got a raid. <laughs> you got a raid. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, you guys are free to explore. I would stay within the compounds of. No, you're not my dad. Of this, um, <laughs> tell you the hour is up for attunement, um, but you are free to do whatever you like. Uh, um, I. I zoomed out so people can kind of see, but it's hard to see the tokens. So if occasionally just kind of ping where you are, so people. Can I think of... we're all just heading to the paddock. Yeah, okay. that's where Erger's going. All right, come so along, Vanna. Many dirt alleys and lots of these little tiny, um, you know, oh, not plywood, but like very, very thin wood walls on all these buildings with the thatching all across the top. Um, next to the houses, there's um, just pits of mud, and it looks like some people just chuck the, you know, like the, the bed pans just straight out a window, so there's like little piles outside the houses. Um, kind of has a fowler. <laughs> yeah, kind of a foul, um, you know, just that barnyardy smell in the whole town. Mm, yeah, Rin's going to try to keep out of the paddock, just be close enough with earshot, but not stand in the muck. Not a very nice place to be. And he's just going to press digitation, some perfume around him. Lavender, okay. <laughs> orange, cinnamon, some, something to get away the smell. Awesome. Yeah, they would. Are you so you're totally constantly good. like... Yeah. I have, <laughs> I have religious as you're walking. if you want to burn that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, so some of the I'm other... I'm for breezing myself. My clothes are just, like, getting it all. A perfect. As I love you it. Walk. Okay. Um, all right. So, um, eventually some of those DRC new people are going to be coming down there as well, um, as well as some of the, um, the higher-ranking ones who are obviously here to process you guys in. Um, one of them is going to be going through and um, just kind of doing safety checks and reminding you guys that... Um, once you leave this area, make sure before you leave, you're checking your amulets to make sure that there's nothing wrong with them. If you're wearing mm -hmm. any of the, the biohazard gear that some of them are wearing, make sure you double check it. It's very important. Um, why? What's that? Why? why is it important that we check these things? What will happen to us if these protocols are not followed? So the plague is... It, was very rampant here so there is two sections to the city one on the other side of the river and north kelna was where the outbreak hit and so that area was quarantined and locked down no one in no one out everybody who was in south kelna which is where you are now were immediately evacuated so that's why everything was just left. So this area, the plague never got to. But leaving here, you don't know what the plague has touched. And it's extremely, extremely potent and 100% fatal as far as all reports that we've gotten. Do you happen to know what is the source of it? Is it just touch, contaminated water, the air? Okay. The air? Um, he'll kind of go through... Um, just dur during your question, we could just say it's the whole briefing. So I'll just go over everything that they cover, and then I'll, just to make it easier, I'll just answer kind of any questions that you guys have. Um, so they're going to go over the, the plague symptoms. Um, so the plague f uh, first effects um, are extreme fatigue and severe dehydration. Within four hours... Um, this is all estimated. This is like all the information that they have after piecing together what they have so far. Mm -hmm. Within four hours, um, all of the orifices on a person's body begin to bleed. Slowly at first, but it's uncontrollable. Within 12 hours, welts and sores begin to appear. Um, and they are filled with this greenish yellow pus. Um, which there can easily be bursted or popped and this seems to be why it transfers so quickly was because these when these pop anybody who touches um, this pus instantly gets the plague from it um, 
so it spreads very very quickly and that all happens within 12 hours from their best estimates um, 24 hours um, person begins to projectile vomit and the orifice bleeding becomes profuse um, those who are not able to stop the bleeding can die from blood loss um, but those are what they say are the lucky ones um, the unlucky ones are the ones who are able to make it through that stage and they go through excruciating pain um, unimaginable from everything that they can from what they have been able to assess um, for the next 24 hours so by the end of so from infection 48 hours later mortality rate they're tracking as of right now is 100 percent do they stay dead thus far that's not very encouraging, but okay. <laughs> well, I, yeah, I mean, yeah. so far, yeah. Yeah. so far, everyone's dead. Kicks a dead body. Yeah, no, he's still, yeah. still dead there. I'm not dead yet. <laughs> you will yeah. be soon. Um, <laughs> how many people were left in North Kelna when the quarantine was established, roughly? Um, almost everybody. So, it was a lot. Um, hundreds of people maybe close to yeah it'd be hundreds hundreds and hundreds multiple hundreds um all right Guys, so we're gonna need more than an amulet so reports started coming <laughs> in originally of individuals in north kelna that were violently convulsing with a new type of plague that no one had ever heard or seen before um so the first steps were to shut the bridge off between north and south kelna how how many days ago was the first onset that's a question that I wrote down. Perfect. <laughs> okay. It was... I'm going to guess around five, six days ago. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. How, how hey. did I guess? <laughs> yes. Five guess and wasn't. a half days ago. <laughs> so uh, Lord Kelna V, um, once he saw that, he immediately contacted um, the DRC that was in Kandori proper, and they responded back to lock the gates with something of this magnitude there were nobody in nobody out and that and his just kind of like quickly running through everything with you guys um his initial response from what everybody's saying was like he was against that he was wanting to try to save people and like let some people out um but he followed the protocol um because they were threatening <laughs> um he had his guards lock the gates um, until the DRC could arrive. They responded very, very quickly, and they contained the situation. Um, so, during the, the little safety briefing, um, they're going to go over um, the five directives that the DRC, how they operate. And they're very... This is their Bible, pretty much. They Everybody sticks to it. There's a reason for these directives. So the primary directive... Um, was is to stop the spread of the quarantine or to quarantine to stop the spread of the virus excuse me um yep. so that primary directive has been taken care of which i'll explain that more in a minute um the secondary directive is to find the source of the plague so you guys are as this is being gone over they're also explaining this is kind of why you guys are here is now they now that it's been held down um they need people to go in and figure out what the fuck is going on. Ah. The third directive is to produce um, a cure or an antidote serum. Something that usually need to find some kind of source. And understand more about the actual plague before you can get to the third directive. Um, so there are um, many of the DRC people who helped set up the first directive. You guys are kind of being geared up for the second one. They're getting ready to start enacting the third directive once you guys figure out what the source is. So they're preparing to follow in right after after you guys. The oh, you expect us to go. <laughs> um, the fourth directive is uh, to mass produce the serum as fast as possible. Um, so other people will be setting up like how to replicate it once they can figure out how to do it. Um, sometimes that can take a while, they say. Um, figuring out how to make you know the serum can be very difficult but once it as soon as they figure it out 
they already have the fourth directive ready to just start making as much as possible. And Big Pharma's on site. Right, exactly. <laughs> hide your wife, hide your kids, hide your animals. Because <laughs> they're raping everybody up here. <laughs> Do you have someone who is currently the head of the research in regards to finding a cure, or someone who's an expert in finding the relief to this ailment? Okay, I will look at that question in just a second. The fifth directive is uh, mass... Oh, Mass distribution of the serum, starting with the closest populated to the areas, and then moving outward. Okay, so yeah. that's kind of how the DRC operates. Their SOPs for for coming into this. Um, all right, and your question was, who was head of finding a cure? I have to look it he up. He died of the plague three days ago. <laughs> <laughs> Or is there anyone specific who has a good idea or insight as to finding a cure, but might need something specific in order to achieve this uh, remedy? Um, the guy who's in charge of the third directive's name is Mazer. Is Mazer here? Major Mazer. Um, he is not here at Master the moment. Um, he is out around looking at the perimeter of the quarantine bubble. All right. Um, does healing magic not work? And, oh, sorry, hold on. Estrada, those Cheerios, mouse. So who is uh, okay. this guy giving all the directives and stuff? I'm, because I imagine we're all kind of sitting around, like, or standing around while someone's kind of belting all this stuff out kind of thing. Yeah, uh, he, like, he's, he seems to be the just a generic guy who's giving the same briefing to everybody. So as more people come in, it's the same guy. Briefing gives guy. The, yeah, he's the briefing guy. Soldier B. Yeah, exactly. Um, so he's answering all the questions that you guys have, as well as giving his pre-scripted... Um, information of, of the stuff so you guys learn that you're in Kalina south there's the river north is where it hit um they locked down the gates and then the drc finally came in and they set up a giant magical bubble around the area um stepping foot out of here is not recommended until you have a tune which takes an hour um you guys learned about the symptoms within 48 hours very painful everybody dies um, and considering how long ago when it first hit and the bubble was erected, it's safe to assume that everybody within North Kelno is probably dead. Well, that's uh, uh, that's one question I was going to ask uh, Chia here. When was the last time uh, anyone's even ventured over to North Kelno to at least take a gander around, or has it been shut down ever since the bridge has been closed? Um, this, let's see, this morning um, they sent in the... Or earlier this morning, so right before you guys got here, they sent in the first group who are working on the second directive, um, trying to find the source of the plague. Um, they haven't heard anything back yet, but they should return within some time. Um, so this whole or this whole first day for the day six of you guys being here. Um, it's going to be all the briefings, exploring, you guys can look around on the outside areas, but as far as you guys going in, it's not going to be until tomorrow. Okay? Right. Tomorrow's Have you sent any familiars day. in? Uh, no. So they, they sent in that first group this morning right before you guys got here. So based on what they come back and say, uh, any kind of recon information that they've learned... Um, we're going to obviously brief you guys with that, so it'll help you when you go in. Oh, well, you are quite reckless. I would have sent in the familiars first. I I agree with the wizard, actually. <laughs> <laughs> Duly noted. Okay. Any any point that you know Rin can just kind of snub them in the face a little bit, he'll do so. The sure. references are not his favorite, so he's just like, oh, you didn't think of that. Oh, well, pity. Okay. okay. So I think at, um, at this point, your guys is... Um... Did, wait, hold on, hold on. Did Ren just do like a Kermit none of my business thing? Is that is that what really just happened there? Did you drink your water and turn to the uh, side? I would have sent my familiar, my familiar uh... man, but that's none of my business. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, continue. Go ahead. That's... No, you're good, man. I love it. Beautiful. 
Um, all right. So it's been an hour. So your guys' attunement for your um, amulets <gasps> is complete. Um, you guys feel, are free to ask more questions or actually just start moving around. So I'm gonna I hold up the amulet and say, tell me your secrets. <laughs> okay. And I'm just going to super zoom out so you guys are free to explore, ransack, ask questions, whatever you're wanting to do. Kind of, yeah. Um, Guys, I kind of, I kind of want to look around and see if we can find anything like, I think, Kurtz was saying maybe health potions or things that are, will be useful in this upcoming combat. Certainly, we can try. But I'm focusing on my amulet because it should give me the secrets now. It's been an hour. All right, are you trying to identify it? <laughs> no, I'm just it's like we attuned to it. We attuned oh, to just it, right? Attuning. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should okay. we should know the properties of the necklace once we attune, right? Um. Yes, that's fair. It's a don't but, die amulet. So this it's is not a, this it's is not a freaking saying, JPEG. Tell me what they do. <laughs> okay. So when wearing uh, this amulet, the wearer has um, immunity to the poison condition and poison damage. Oh you shit! See, you see, Sean, you say poison. Mm-hmm. But we're dealing with a disease. Okay. Okay. Just clarifying that. I mean. Eh. <laughs> I don't want to go too down deep that rabbit hole. Okay. Uh, poison and poison effect and poison damage. All right. Uh, so, do we? Some of us want to look for the Mazer guy, and the other, uh, the rest of us will just start turning this place over to see if we can find anything useful. I mean, do we care about Mazer? Everyone here is gonna die in 24 hours anyway. Well, I considering I don't necessarily figure we need to worry about this at the time. They'll inform us when we enter tomorrow. Best we should see what we can find here, at least, before we leave this place for the North Kilmer. Okay. Let us scour. I think we should go to the butcher shop and get, like, some, like, waiters and aprons and really big gloves. Oh, butcher? you just want to give yourself some contamination protection. Yeah. Yeah. Do you not? Well, I can usually throw most things off with magic, and I can always do this, and I just conjure big, heavy rubber gloves on myself. Okay. I think you just conjure one. Unless no, I conjure two because I connect them. Yep, I was going to say if they're attached. Yeah, yeah they're attached. <laughs> they got the tag. <laughs> yeah. Like those fun little like mittens that you the get. The mittens that go through, through the sleeve, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you right. can just make a bubble. And just like walk in the bubble. <laughs> I wish, but it's three feet by three feet. I, oh, I can't. Okay. I can't we can roll that you. Small. The yoga ball. You can put, uh, you can, you can put Finley in the hamster ball. I was gonna say, I could <coughs> make a hippity hop. It also <laughs> suffocate, but. No. <laughs> I mean, really, I have a pretty good investigation. I, I would probably take the rest of the day exploring some of the high probability places wherever you guys I'll, are. I'll accompany Finley and at least try to offer him some insight into what buildings might potentially house some interesting or useful objects. Okay. And I was like, oh, don't go there. That's a slum house. Or, oh, that's a right. business that could have something. Okay. Kurtz, right. How would you feel we... about... Oh, sorry. Sorry. Go ahead, Garner. Go ahead. You're good. Uh, Kurtz, how would you feel about doing a perimeter check of the, uh, of the North Kilna to make sure that there's no breaches in the walls to see if anyone got out? Well... From what it sounds like, unless they put a magical bubble around North Kelna too, people definitely got out. Mm hmm But I mean we can I can take a look at it and see. Cause uh if we know conquest is gonna be here, which we do, uh maybe strolling in through the front gate isn't the best uh plan of approach. That's what I was thinking, and if we can't get in till tomorrow anyway, a perimeter check could give us the most possible idea except for possibly horizon or artemis what the fuck is your familiar's name again orion orion, orion. fucking astral bodies <laughs> <laughs> all right all right so it sounds like uh rin and i are going to take uh south kelna and you fellows want to take lady sorry uh want to take north kelna and do like some scoping out some some recon if you will just Try not to get spotted or anything. And, and oh, who cares? But we're not going in. I mean, hell, we'll take horses. Certainly, you two should be able to take the horses. We won't. I don't think need them here to walk through the town as much. And side note, DM, um, have we seen anyone walk around in hazmat suits? Uh, the yes, yes, you have. 
So can I ask a uh, default briefing guy <laughs> or when the briefing's over sure. or anything or random per- uh, uh, Excuse me there. Uh, what what exactly is this as I point to someone wearing one of these hazmat suit things? Okay. All right. So, yep. Some of some of them um, are wearing them. Um, they're going to be a, like a certain division of of the DRC and they um, seem to be working on something that no one's really wanting to answer questions about. Are we talking like old school Doctor of the Plague, big bird like thing going on? Or more E. T. Yes. Uh, no, I mask. like I like yeah, the, the plague mask would be perfect. Yeah, yep. creepy as fuck. Yep. Okay. Alright. So gothic. <laughs> so the only other thing I would really say to the group here would be uh, I mean perhaps I mean if, if you if you wanna go bores deep into it, the only thing I could really think maybe to ask this uh, this Mazer fella, if perhaps maybe we can't get their own little get-ups when they go in. We have the amulet, sure, but I mean, if the if the, if the suits are going to help with anything, you know, we are going in to, you know, to come back to try to help, you know, so you'd like to think they'd give us one of those to, to make sure, you know, cover all the bases there, you know. Okay. I don't know if that's standard issue just going in there regardless. Uh, I, I guess maybe yes, the Mazer guy or, or whatever you want to do there, but... Uh, Okay. And then yeah. I look at I'm like, and I don't even know if it comes in my size, to be quite honest. So I could be just, you know, fucked from the gate here. But, you know. Ah, sure. Whatever. Yeah. So the people that you're pointing out, um, they're wearing these black robes. And they have these uh, plaster, uh, plaster masks that are over their face that are covered in blue runes that glow with um, arcane power on them. Hmm. I'm just saying you think it'd be standard issue if you're going over into the bad area. You know, I'm guessing the people that went this morning, I'll, I'll ask the default guy. The the people that went this morning, I'm guessing, they probably had the your 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 fancy yes. fancy suits there. So. Yes, I did. Yes. All right. Well, we're gonna probably be going in there tomorrow. So where exactly does one get standard issue, uh, fancy pantsy things for us to go in tomorrow? Um, he just during your question, going back and forth, he's gonna say that um, you have it's re- a requirement, um, of the item. It's a wondrous item, and it requires you to be a wizard to be able to attune. To it. Oh, we got a wizard. Oh, well, uh, that, uh, hello. <laughs> well, okay then. I, I happen to be a wizard. <laughs> okay. All right. So just one person lives when we go over tomorrow. That's fair. That's fine. Yep, that's just, that's uh, why we get the butcher gear. Right. I, um, do, right. do you have a spare one for me? Um. Yes, definitely. We can. <clears throat> we can. We can get you one. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Only works for wizards. Only for wizards. Okay. Uh, so is if, that if like they, is that classist? Is that what that is? is that, yeah, that's what that if is. If they go off to get me my uniform and stuff like that or something like that, um, and I'm not following them in a way, I will send Orion to tail them to see where they're keeping potentially their magic items, their arsenal, their little, you know, quarter where they're keeping the, the good the stuff. Little depot. Yeah. yeah. Magic depot. Okay. The little barracks. <laughs> All right, so who is all going to be searching um, South Kelna? Me and Finley. So I think the plan here is that uh, Team Rinley are going to go explore the town, and Team... Hmm, Kergra? Kergra will go explore North Kelna. Is that what we're doing? Yep. Okay. All right, so... Have mana. Um, my southern brothers, give me... Um, each of you that are searching, give me a percentile die. Mm. Ooh, percentile. All right, I am. I think it's an amazing, uh, amazing number. It's oh, so bad. 66. I mean, I would have heard three more, but that's all right. 54. 66. We're going to fight a horseman or something, possibly, and you roll 6-6. Six, six. That's all right. <laughs> as far as magical items, nothing yet. And you, s- you search the bottom quadrant of the area. Doesn't um, surprise me. This is the Tanner area. Yeah, yeah the Tanner row. It's oh. nasty. Wow. Um, all right. So um, the ones who are deciding to venture outward, um, feel free to do so. There are two gates. There is the oh, shit. west. Well, this is upside down. So there is. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah. So the west, where it says west gate on the map. It's actually the northern side. So this leads towards North uh, North Kelna. And then over here at the High Gate by the High Market um, is the other exit. There does seem to be some kind of hole in the wall to the northwest side. So it looks like there's three ways to exit the area. Can we procure some horses? 
Yeah, absolutely. Um, you kind of like look around and tell no. They don't seem to be paying attention or be using the horses. Um, so if you just kind of wait until the you know everyone's kind of passed, you can just go over and grab them. Yep. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Yep. The two of you can jump on the horses. Um, if you're trying to get out without them noticing you're on the horses, you might want to go out the northwestern hole. Nah. So, <laughs> okay. What are they gonna do? Yeah, same team. All okay. right. So, do we see this blue uh, circle yes, force field? You do. So, right when you exit Ooh. out that gate, um, there is the river mill right next to you, and then there's the bridge that's got uh, that connects across the water. Um, but you can see this humongous blue magical dome that is encompassing an entire portion of the area on the other side of the water. And you cannot see in through it. Can I pick up like a rock and like chuck it at the barrier? Absolutely. All right, so yeah. as you th as you throw the rock, it's just gonna kind of pulse almost like electricity to cross it and kind of dissipate across the barrier. The rock will just bounce off. Mm. <laughs> does the barrier extend below the water? Um, yes, it does. It seems to be, uh, it's more oval, it's not completely round, but it seems like a sphere. Alright, uh, well it's a river. I suppose we could ask to see if there's any other crossings relatively close to this one. Ergo, what do your orc eyes see? <laughs> not a whole lot more than yours. Oh, wait, yeah, you're blind, I forgot. No, I'm actually really good at distance, thanks. Oh, well, this is what you should be good at. Like, what's what's it look like? You can see through two of the gates. I actually can. <laughs> um, I what, what does she see through? Well, you said it's opaque, though, the, the barrier, so I can't see anything. No, no. Okay, looking north and south or whatever the hell the direction the, the river is, can I see any sort of um, other crossing or bridge? Um, looking at the water, you think... Um you would, wouldn't would have a problem staying on the horses and going across. Oh, then shit. It. Mm -hmm. um, this river mill, I checked the door. Is it open? Um, it is uh, It is closed, but it's unlocked. I open the door. Okay. Um, inside, you can see that there um, is a bunch of paperwork and um, some paperweights on top of it. Um, there's some bookshelves, so it seems like a lot of catalogs of miscellaneous information. Um, seems like somebody was keeping track of some kind of records. Um, there is a mill that is locked into place, and um, it is not moving. Uh, does it look like anyone's been in here recently? Um... As far as what, I mean, yeah, there has been people everywhere recently. Like, well, it's been like five days since the bubble went up, and I don't think the DRC would have any reason to, like, come into here. I might be wrong, but... Okay. It's a fair assessment. Yeah, they don't... It doesn't seem like they would meddle with anything more, just stick to the job. Okay. Uh... I Find anything interesting in their carts? No, but I'm thinking we could camp out here. Mm, I mean, it's a little closer than what the walls allow us, but I don't see another advantage. Well, let's just keep an eye on the city. Um, this seems to be the only way, or the only footpath in and out. Gives us a little early warning, just in case we do see anyone sneaking in or out of the barrier. And, and you well, two are free to also explore around the bubble as well. You just can't yeah. go into the bubble. Ergo's going to take out an arrow and just fire it at the bubble and see if it has any different effect with a little more force than the rock. Okay. Um, so as the arrow comes in contact with the bubble, it's going to immediately ricochet off and you just go off into the distance. Um, and right when the arrow hits it, you're going to see that little electrical pattern kind of disseminate across as it just kind of shoots off into the distance. 
pretty strong magic. Uh, I say we go around this thing and see Eat. what we can see. Okay. And let's go back to the two of you inside of uh, the south. So you move into another section and um, go so go ahead and roll another percentile die as you guys are uh, looking. So, so what I'm doing is as I'm walking around, I'm going to activate detect magic on. So I'm going to start to try and peer around to see if anything pings up as magical for me. But I'm also doing it this kind of like as I'm walking and exploring, I'm kind of like making sure my path is leading me slightly in the direction to where Orion flew to follow the guy where the supposed suit might be located. So I'm kind of like slowly making my way closer to a place where I'm thinking most likely magic item, most likely magic item. And okay. Doing that. Sure. Um, there seems to be some kind of manner um, inside the compound. Um, it looks like the people who did have the money live in this section, yeah. kind of right. Yeah, right here. Where, so in here, where, where I'm in. Yeah, is where you're thinking. If anything that you were to guess would be here. All right. So I mean, if no one's going to stop me, I'll just walk with Finley and keep my eyes with that detect magic on, going looky, 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 looky. Sure. Lucky. Yeah, go ahead and roll some uh, perception. We, as we look at these big buildings, I'm just like fucking rich people. Hi. <laughs> look at these big ass buildings and shit. And it, it's kind of <laughs> it's kind of stomach turning when you think about like how low class everybody is, and then there's yeah. these few ones that are like Pandorian and nice. Disproportionate. Exactly. Well, yeah. Ooh, is that either really good or really bad? <laughs> no idea. Hmm. Uh. I was going to ask the DM, like, in a, in a little nudging favor way, so with me being the smart wizard that I am, using detect magic, and I can technically spot anything that's, you know, behind three feet of wood or one foot of stone and, and shit like that, get kind of mm -hmm. the 100s, can I, can I? Yes, you can. <laughs> Yay, all right. Woo! That would be my, that would be Finley's first thought. Of a like, nine and a 39. Oh, God. Rich people. <laughs> Hopefully the low numbers are good. Um, as you guys are going through, it seems that um, everybody who was in this uh, the higher the higher class portion looks like they grabbed all their high value stuff when they left. They didn't seem to leave anything of note. Bastards! All right, Finley, I think we'll have to just go to wherever the the Revenant Depot is. The, their little quartermaster location. See if they have any magic items that they might have found while they've been here for, I don't know how many days. They might have discovered magic items and kept them safe in our own little storage room. So I imagine I imagine Ren is you know, standing there looking out over the city as he's talking to Finley and telling us all this very smart thinking stuff. And as you're saying all this and you turn around to look at Finley, I will be pissing on one of their buildings with a cup of kawa in my hand, but like, yeah, no, that sounds great. And I'm just going to keep, and I'm going to what are you doing? Right, we're good. Okay. Why? Why did you just? Oh, oh. Did, 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 did I just did figured they... a lot of us? I just figured a lot of us here. I, you know, no one's gonna miss this place anyway. In a little bit, but anyway, I've been walking around with Kawa all morning. Sure. It came through the teleporter with me. Yeah, there's we're this. I that it did. I'm not sure if it's plaster or, or clay, but it's some kind of garden gnome statue that's in the yard that you're just kind of pissing all over. So yep. the yellow liquid is just kind of splashing around it on the cracks of the gnome. All right. Hydrated. Right. Follow you to the depot there. Okay, here we go. Oh, All just... right, where is the depot? Where, where where did Orion flutter off to? All right, so it's going to be in the this top, last section up here. Um, so I'll let you guys search one more time, Wee. and then you guys are out of out of areas to look. Oh, come All on, right. guys. <laughs> If, if, if Orion went into the building, I'm just going to go, all right, let's look in this building. Let's look here, Finley. Carefully make sure no one's watching us. We might have to sneak right. in and steal something, but let's see. All right. Detect magic is still on. Okay. Anybody? Yep, you get uh, twice. Yep. Oh, uh, Finley. <laughs> We're doing so bad. My investigation's way better. <laughs> oh, 59. Oh. I mean, it's, I think it's not no, not even the highest roll for sure. Man, if this was Warhammer yep. 40k, you guys would have been fucking... Toast? No, like kicking ass and taking names. <laughs> oh, was it good for lower numbers? I don't know. Yeah. Really yeah. <laughs> All right. So unfortunately, we, you guys we were not able to find it like fucking four times by now, though. Jesus. <laughs> um, you guys did not find any kind of magical items that you were hoping to to find. Um, hmm. Sorry about that. That's all right. But I do look for the the revenant who said he would supply me with a wizard only attire. Okay. So, 
Is it DRC robes? Um, all right, so they do have an extra one that they're willing to part uh, with for you, um, but they're only going to give it to you after you've proven yourself to, to be a wizard. Um, <laughs> what? Wow. Uh, give us some Wingardium Leviosa. Uh, okay. Um, I will. Uh, well, first off, I'll try Minor Illusion and I'll just go. I am a wizard. Okay. Middle Does this satisfy? <laughs> um. They're, they're not I also have this bird denied. here, by the way. They're... Popping him in, popping him out, popping him in, <laughs> popping him out. Okay. They're um, they're not confirmed with anything, but they said that they will once you they have you have removed all doubts in their minds that you are a wizard, um, like they will give it to you. And they haven't given it to you yet, but they you have their attention. Dude, they're not gonna give it to you because you're not a fucking revenant. Yeah, I know they're being that little it's like, just, Don't just just bring Urgra and <laughs> that'll be okay. <laughs> don't you know who I am? Oh, I'm the only elf who's ever studied at your academy in Candoria. I should be well known. I am Rin and Oran, this son of House and Oran. How do you not know who I am? Give me a um, persuasion check. Oh, you bastards. <laughs> okay, persuasion. Well, at least, at least I have proficiency in this. Uh, 15. Oh, wow. Not okay. Not a 19. Okay. I'm curious. So I'm curious, uh, what kind of magic are you willing to dip into to prove you are who you say you are? Um, how how <sighs> how much do you think these these robes are worth to you? All right, fine. And so I just st I just stand there and I go, can you tell where I'm going to go now? And I disappear and use fade teleportation, fade transposition to blink behind them thirty feet. Okay. And they that's a spell for me. Okay. They start to look at each other and. Start to nod, but they're wanting just a little bit more. What the hell? Just light them on fire. I swear to God, I should kill one. That'll probably do it. By the goddesses. What What else do you need to know? What else do you need to see? They're They're more curious of what you're willing, what you can, what you're willing to do to prove that you are a wizard and not some other magical. All right. Because um, there are many there's... many ways of obtaining magic in the world. All right, I'm. Uh, if we're wherever we're located, I'm getting this whole thing. I'm going to look for an empty building that's not too close to other buildings. It's a dry <laughs> piece of wood, and I'm going to just look over to the side at them, point at it, and as I do, I gesture a few things and create a flaming sphere, and I send it inside until it just blows the thing up into a huge bonfire. And I just like stand there, dead eye, stare at them, going, "That good enough for you?" <laughs> and you will see them slide a DRC robe across the table to your direction, nodding in approval. You know? A little bit of fire, that's all it took. I don't say thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you find yourself a wondrous item, uh, rare. It is going to require Ooh. attunement. Um, okay, I will cast Identify on it first, just to be safe. Okay. <laughs> they give you the faulty one. <laughs> dilly dilly. It's like a shot caller. Dilly dilly, welcome to the table. Hey, dilly dilly. <laughs> Um, uh-oh. Who lost? Connor dropped out. God damn it. No, Connor, no! Connor, no! <laughs> oh, no! It comes back, usually. He does. But, um, so what What does my robes do? Um, sorry about the overlay. We're, we lost somebody. As soon as he comes back, hopefully we'll fix it. Um, all right. So, can you click identify for me? Sure. Let's have identify on the table once more. I'm the wizard now. There it is. Okay. I learned everything. Okay, so this requires attunement to use. How many charge, if any? All right. So, you gain a plus one bonus to saving throws while you wear this robe. Okay. Um, and it, the outfit gives the caster the... Uh, ability to cast several spells without expanding any spell slots. Oh! The well, what the hell? How, uh, how many spells can I uh, cast without expanding a spell slot? And... Hopefully at least one. At least one. Okay, so uh, I will 
let you know some some of the spells. Um, Spaz said each spell listed above can only be cast once, and if all spells are used up, the rolls lose all magic properties. Ah, okay, so it has spells stored into the fabric. Exactly. Okay. So, oh, so I don't know what this is. Spells include protection from energy. Oh, gotcha. One sec. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, yes. Yep, go ahead. Detect poison and disease. That one seems sort of useless at the moment. Uh-huh. Mage armor. Oh, uh, well, all right. Sanctuary. Ooh. Water breathing. All right. And unseen servant. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. Uh, quick question. Do I know if these require concentration when I activate? Um, Spaz, what did you have planned for that? Uh, I said no. Oh, oh, splendid. Okay, great. I like it. Uh, all right, and plus one to all saving throws. Okay, uh, so okay. satisfied with that being like, this is an excellent robe. Exactly. I'm going to put it on and attune to it. So, okay. Finley, you, you'll have me not working for you for an hour as I just... Sure. So you get the plus one to all saving throws until you've used every one of those charges, and then it becomes just a garment. Does it look cool, though? Um, it's a black robe uh, with blue runes that are glowing on it. So, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Like, I think it's pretty cool. It's yep. like all right, game. Just like game. added the modifier to my thing. They all get plus one now. Okay. I'm set. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can do that, too. Well, while, while he's attuning to that, um, I'm just going to walk around some of the other buildings that we haven't walked into. Not going too far away from base camp over here, but um, as we've been walking around, have we seen, like, dead people or dead animals or anything? Or just just... A town abandoned, like in a fucking movie or some shit, where uh, okay. there's a teddy bear lying yeah, there. Yeah, good question. Kind of um, so I won't make you roll since you searched so much of the of the town already. Yeah, I'm so, not looking for things anymore. I'm just looking to see, sure. like, just people are sure. general. Yeah, as far as sick people or dead bodies, there's actually none here at all. It seems like everybody was very quickly evacuated um, from this portion. And it seems like if everything that they're saying is accurate. Um, all of the sick people happened to be in the northern part, and that was locked down very, very quickly. Um, so the dead bodies are probably up in there. Okay. Okay. I'll chill with, I'll chill with Ren while he does his thing with his robes. And what do you, whatever you guys are doing on your horses. Okay. Oh, Connor's not here. Never mind. Uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> all right, Kurtz. Um, well, you guys are able to go exploring, too. Um... Where is Kurtz at currently? We are at the low gate wall. Okay. I see. On the um, side. So, we've been around this bubble. Okay. Have we seen, like, bodies piled up against it or near it? Or do we not just, does it just look abandoned? No, there would be um, plagued bodies that are at certain points of this bubble all kind of piled up and you can mm -hmm. see that they were trying to escape um, uh. that's where held in through this and okay. their bodies would look completely nasty like them clawing at their own flesh um, just different sores all over them that had it burst so anywhere that there was would you'd see like this dry pus that's all over there with blood coming out of their nose their mouth their ears you can see like um, if they're wearing like cloth pants, you can just see just blood all from from their ass that just came out in the front and the back. Um, but yeah, so there would be piles of people at certain locations trying to like dig in the dirt, trying to get through this barrier, but no mm -hmm. one was able to escape. Uh, do I see any animals like dogs or rats feeding on the bodies? Ooh, um, you do not actually. All right, so uh, we went around the bubble, and I saw just those two roads in the front and then this one, and I'm assuming those are the only roads in. Yes. Okay. Uh, shit. Can somebody try to get a hold of Connors and see if he's Oh, yeah, he's, he's already been uh, typing in the Discord. He's oh, getting yes, his okay. thing reloaded up. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you, did you guys want to take a break to see if he can get back in, or did... That's up to you guys. 
Um, he can take an early break, I guess. Was he restarting his computer or something? Uh, he just did. Uh, right, keep going. You're doing. You're, you're fine. Yeah, I just, just keep going. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, yeah, so yeah wait gonna... for Discord to reload on my laptop to get the zoom because I don't have an alternative camera set up. Okay. Okay. Um, looking into the town. No, was some point to that. Do these bodies look like other plague bodies from the time of uh, conquest that Kurtz has seen, or does this look like something else entirely? Hmm. And say give me a history check, but that's gonna to be too much of a nerf. Um Give me a flat D twenty roll. <laughs> it seems <laughs> it definitely seems related. Um maybe mm -hmm. different symptoms, but the extremely fast acting yeah. Brian, subscribe. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. It's good to see you, man. Yay. Dilly dilly. Um the, the fact-acting, completely fatal portion of it seems to line up uh, with with your contact that you had before. All right. One more check. I'm going to take out my sword and poke it against the bubble. Okay. Because my sword's magical. Okay. Um, your sword, as you're putting it onto it, um, is going to be 100% being resisted from being okay. penetrated. Okay. All right. That's all I got. Um, I'll ride back to town and see if uh, what the others have. Okay. Is Vanna with us? Oh, she is. I totally forgot about that. Um, um, yes. What does she... She Turner, uh, Vanna, she... what do you think of this plague? Have you seen anything like it before? Um, she probably would have stayed in the town, but when you get back, you can talk to her, so it's not a problem. Um, what were you asking her? Just if she's seen or heard of anything like this before. Um, she's going to be kind of taken back by all of this. Um, she's definitely kind of a small town kind of a girl kind of a thing. Um, she does her monster hunting. Hunting. Um, but something of this large scale actually getting out and like seeing large scale things affecting large amounts of people. Um, she actually seems to be pretty taken back by it and pretty quiet. Um, she's not unresponsive to you, but um, doesn't really know how to process all of it. And, um, you know, with you describing how big the barrier was and how many people in there um you kind of just see this this bit of fear in the back of her eyes thinking about how many people probably died from this outbreak no no i know it's probably not gonna help but um they're just corpses now you can't help them but who you can help is us figure out what's going on here so you need to get your head in this fucking get your head in the game. Just trying to think of a better analogy. Sure. Um, <laughs> is there anything I can do to, to help you right now, Kurtz? Uh, well, if we assume that these amulets only protect us from poison and this looks more like a plague or a disease, then that sounds pretty fucking useless. So... I will I need to talk to the rest of the party, but uh, at the moment, no. You just uh, focus on getting your head straight and uh, get ready for tomorrow. Yes, I, I think it may take me a couple hours to get my, you know, my bearings back in my stomach. <laughs> it should kind of like, <laughs> it's, you know, uh, drive a little bit. Um, but you know, I think what, uh, I should be good by tomorrow. You know what you could do? You could find us a, uh, a place to hole up for the night in the city. Oh, that's actually a pretty good task for her. Um, 
Okay, um, she's going to ask if there's any uh, requirements or preferences uh, for what kind of place. Um, comfortably fit all of us. Okay. Uh, maybe if it's a sort of nicer house, maybe has a wall around it or a small gate or something like that would be preferable. But as long as it's sort of uh, secluded away and not too out in the open, uh, that would probably work. Okay. Connor should be coming in right now. Okay, perfect. Um, okay. Yeah, that works for me. All right. She will, um, she will start to, you know, go down all the alleyways and check out different houses, go and check them out and, you know, closing doors, opening doors, looking around. Okay. Um, anyone else? I'm just hanging with Ren. I mean, yeah, I'm doing that whole, like, one hour, you know, it's like... Get this on a tune for me. Sure. <laughs> Magical rose. All right. In that hour, Finley, um, I'll give you one final opportunity to see if you can uh, find any okay. noteworthy magical items. Finley, 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 Finley. Ah, die, baby. I need it, Rin. I need it. Ah, do it. No. That's not terrible. terrible. It's less than my 66. Yeah. Um, no, no dice. While I'm looking for uh, Ren and Finley, can I do one? Yes, you can. You have not got to do any yet. Kurtz, 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 Kurtz. <laughs> uh, no! To no avail. This town seems to be not providing any magical items. In my defense, I'm riding you. by on a horse, so yeah. I don't really get it. <laughs> I'm going to go look. Yeah. No, I see nothing! <laughs> Yeah, it looks clear, man. <laughs> it's all just... Psh, 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 psh. <coughs> okay. Um, bum, 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 bum. Where is Connor? I'm I'm Urger now. Okay. Perfect. What it's gotta be an, I got the, I got the eyeliner and everything. I can be an edgy teenager. <laughs> um, okay. Dear diary, mood angry. <laughs> Kurtz and Rin get on my nerves so much. <laughs> Finley's okay. But I don't know if it's okay to feel this way towards an older man, even if it's smaller than me. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. That bitch Banna. He's probably actually writing one of her journals because there's no writing on any of them. <laughs> right. Well, of course, and Urger can't write or read either. Exactly. So it's like wiggly face, triangle, <laughs> e face. He's like, just like, oh, this is toilet paper, you know. <laughs> I don't give a. Sh I don't care if she matures around fourteen. She's still a teenager. <laughs> Human matures around age twelve. Um. All right. Was there anything else that you guys wanted to do during this preparation day? If um. Kyle, if you wanted to go check out the area around it, to go because you haven't gotten to see it yet, um, same with Rin, if you guys wanted to, while we're waiting for Connor to come back. Um, I mean, the only other little thing that, I mean, that was really the only thing that I had planned, other than looking for stuff in terms of equipment, was I just wanted to see what this town looked like in terms of, um, signs of in you know uh disease or but uh, you said everyone left yeah, that, that was really my only real big thing was like uh quick camera change happened here but hey there's a buddy hey guys okay um connor's in ren's spot who needs to turn off yeah it's just once uh once dylan goes then kyle will come back on then i'll come back on okay that's good 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 and Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we're back. Sorry about that, guys. Um, but we're good to go now. Bow, bow, bow. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, um, um, Urgra, was there anything else that you wanted to do during this preparation day? I think Kurtz has already made his, started making his way back towards the... Um, well, I would have gone. I would have yeah. stuck with Urgra. Yeah, Kurtz, what did you find uh, looking at the low gate? Was it closed, barricaded? Or could we even wide. see it? I believe it was wide open. No, you couldn't see past the the blue. As barrier. the bubble. Uh, well, it, it's very very hard to see. Like you could see, mm -hmm. you know, not very far into it. Um, but you could. He did see piled up bodies, uh, plagued bodies that had 
kind of grouped up in different locations of people trying to escape through, um, clawing at each other, um, digging in the dirt, you know, sort of there's these piles at certain locations around the perimeter um, of people, but um, as far as any beyond that, you couldn't really see in. And by perimeter, you mean the blue bubble, not the actual gates. Right, yeah. you couldn't see so. into the gates. You couldn't see that far into it. Oh. Okay. It's a slight opacity to the magical barrier, but it not very, very good. So, and you, you're telling us this stuff, right? Yeah, basically what we discovered was, A, people were in there. They did try to get out. Uh, the quarantine successfully stopped them. I doubt it got all of them, but did get a good chunk. Uh, the bubble is uh, completely immune to <clears throat> uh, all attempts to penetrate it at the moment, both magical and non-magical. Um, and also, animals aren't eating the bodies. <laughs> did you try to send any magical effects through the barrier, or just no, mundane objects? I tried to put my sword through it. But you couldn't try to cast anything beyond the barrier. I don't do that. Not well. Sorry, Ogre. Did you try to cast anything <laughs> beyond the barrier? No. How I long didn't. have we been venturing together? <laughs> he cast rock. <laughs> uh, yeah, muscle wizard cast sword. Um. <laughs> uh, so, so there does seem to be no way in or out. At least somehow, unless with the revenants means of dropping the shield, I suppose. No, and to be honest, uh, the other road in is around the back, but doesn't look any more advantageous than just going across the front gate. Okay. Um, as you're taking a look at this, um, you're obviously probably intrigued by this, Rin, as I explain things. Um, as you get a look at the at the bubble, um, give me a, a check. Are you looking to do history or arcana, which sounds more what you're... Probably doing. arcana. I don't think I've ever come across this before. Okay. And I assist him. Are you magically inclined, Mr. Rockcaster? I'm proficient in arcana. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'll write that down. Uh, Hashtag <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm proficient in Arcana, believe it or not. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, he's, he's studied some of the big books. Um, DM, has he studied enough big books to help me? Uh, probably not in this instance. This is just a Rin, oh. Rin moment. Darn it. But I appreciate uh, I your, your willingness athletics to come to help him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, ah! it's a 13. I'll, I'll just use athletics to throw increasingly <laughs> bigger rocks at the wall. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So that check was more for you. Um, one, the one more for me. Do go for the history because there's something I wanted to debate. Okay. The, the right. Well, history not as good, but we'll see. Oh, um, well, natural twenty. Oh, so <laughs> that'll do it. Green is good. All right. So, um, I know. As you look upon this dome. Something triggers in your memory, and you realize that this is a, a mythal. I mentioned it once before. So, <clears throat> this is one of the Revenant's most treasured spells. <clears throat> mm. Very lo very little is known about this spell um, for anyone outside of the Revenant, um, as only the Revenant of the rank of General can learn it. So it's a very up, up high spell. Um, you don't know the exact number, but you would know that it takes um, a large number of casters to execute it at the same time for the spell to go off. Yeah. Okay. And to be maintained. It's a very, very powerful, but it requires an immense amount of um, magic casting ability. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just picturing uh, the Hogwarts final battle covering yeah. the, the dome. That's what's coming up in my mind. Okay. Uh, but okay. All right. Uh, dilly, dilly, dilly. Yeah. Do I know that dilly, if they dilly, can allow, the table. Do they allow little doorways to get inside, or do they have to drop the whole thing to let people in? Um, they are going to open a window for you guys to go okay. in tomorrow. All so right. that's why it's where, you know, everything has to be kind of aligned for timing and everything where you guys, that's where they need Perfect. you. Perfect. This particular right. time, they're going to open it, and so you're going to go in, and then it's going to be closed. Well, Kurt, I'm not surprised that anything you tried would fail. That is a, a mythal, a very powerful barrier 
there's no way we can get in or do anything about it until tomorrow when they let us in. But rest assured, anything inside should be completely caged in, and nothing is getting out. Not even a horseman? Well, that's the question, if the horseman would even appear inside there or not. And the real question is, do we even bother going in tomorrow? Hmm. Because what if we're trapped in there when he appears? Well, uh, I think when they open it, they have the means to leave it open for us, mm. and then only seal it should something try to escape. I just, I don't see them leaving a door open. Like, that doesn't, that doesn't sound like that, something. That goes against the primary directive they told us about. Keep it from spreading. Yes. Well, that you can keep the door ready to close without closing it until you see something begin to approach. Then you would seal it off. I'm just saying I wouldn't leave a door open. I would just close it because uh, the barrier's opaque. Like, you can kind of see through it. So if someone's there and they need out, you could quickly open it for them. But leaving it open, yes. that's just but an of, extra level of danger. Of course, it could be something where wherever the most contaminated section of the city or the part where might be the epicenter could be where he does emerge so that's, we that's might what find I'm thinking. that in there. that's what i'm thinking well at the moment we can't do anything we've already searched this well i, I wouldn't really call it a city i'd call it more of a, a ghetto slum yeah ghetto and did you find anything useful uh, nothing at all this place is completely picked clean uh your duds are a little different yes do you like them i think they're like useful does it do anything? Oh, it does quite a many things. It does at least uh, six things for me to be able to um, enhance the party with magical abilities that do not deplete my own reserves, so they'll be useful in the fight to come. Plus, I also get a uh, an extra bit of uh, likelihood of avoiding danger should it come my way. That sounds um, useful. Um, Very useful. Well, All right. I, I... I've sent Vana out mm -hmm. to secure us lodgings for the night. Um, by the way, did you guys happen to see a temple uh, while you were in? Don't think I did. Finley, did you see a temple? I don't remember peeing on one, no. So, as we were going. You know, honestly, that's probably for the best. Um, okay. Um, and uh, She's actually going to return, saying that... Uh, she started looking at the, the area that you peed, Finley, um, was like the nicer buildings. Um, but she was looking, they, they definitely seemed suitable, but she went around the other side. Um, there's kind of a little pig farm, but right next to it, um, it looked like a manor that belonged to some kind of knight. And it was definitely more fortified. So this is the area that she kind of picked for you guys, because it had its own defensible position inside of this area that's already kind of positioned. So that's what was her recommendation. So it's going to be this on the map. I'm just pinging. I think, I think I'm yeah. in it. Uh, yeah, that's the area that they were the first time. So... Rudamento Monasterio. Yeah, let's go that side. So it's going to be inside of there. So I can drop you guys inside of it. Yeah. Oop, there we are. Come on! <laughs> no, <Man>. no, no. <laughs> Seal the doors. <laughs> uh, Arcane dark. lock. The dark. <laughs> yeah. Nice and cozy. Uh, but yeah, considering that we are in a, I, I suppose at least a somewhat safe and secure um, place, do we feel like we need to do watches, or do we feel safe enough to just rest now, wait till tomorrow? Uh, we might as well do a casual watch just to. See if oh, anything's right. going on during the night. Keep an eye on the the bubble, and when you oh, hit uh, it, uh, it sends out like a pulse of electricity. Sparks. Mm -hmm. So if anyone's going in or out, we might be able to see it. All right. Well, I'll just I'll trance for the first um, four hours, if you don't mind, leaving you to your task, and then I shall keep watch when I'm not long. Oh, we also have two horses that we stole, procured. Sorry, procured. So proud. Did you find more? <laughs> uh, honestly, we kind of just walked up to them and walked off with them. They didn't seem to concern. All right, then we should perhaps find some more tomorrow. Yeah. I'm just thinking if we can't get any more tomorrow, maybe you and uh, Finley should have these two so that you're a little more mobile. Thank uh, you. Right, right. And, and, and speaking of which there, uh, speaking of tomorrow, has do we know exactly, because we're, we're in this building by ourselves or is Vanna with us? Uh, Vanna's yeah, with sure. you, but she can step out if you don't want her there. She knows everything. 
Well, uh, not really. Uh, yeah. That's not true. She can go take first watch up on the wall. I if told her everything. Um, <laughs> Rin is going to try and align himself to the point where he's going to take his rest at 8 o'clock, if he can. Okay. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Yep. Okay. But um, at 8 o'clock, Rin is going to settle. Gonna, the only thing I was going to say was is that... Uh, with, uh, fuck, Vanna, God damn it! All right. No, Vanna's out uh, doing the first... Oh, check. fantastic! Yeah. Vanna's watching first. Okay, yep. great. Model. Okay, good, good. Okay, so all I was going to say here <laughs> I was, can't hear uh, anything! Go ahead and talk without me listening! <laughs> sure. Can't hear a thing! No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. I'll, I'll whisper, I mean, she's going to die anyway, right? I mean, that's... that's <laughs> I mean, more than so likely, yes. So, do we know... Um, uh, Rin, maybe from your manifesto or Kurtz from your own personal knowledge here. Um, what time of day here? Because I, I guess we're all banking on the shot of you know this thing coming tomorrow here, and uh, I'm guessing we're going to North Kelna. It seems to be the source of all this plague and destruction, right? So I mean, we're we're going right into the heart of the beast. Um, you you didn't get a chance to actually go and recon anything, right? So we're just going in blind. Lots of corpses. That's we were able to see that there's there's two ways into the north city, the way across the bridge, and then there's the way exactly across uh, from that entrance, a north entrance. Both are completely surrounded by the bubble. Uh, they weren't closed, they, but the bubble seems sufficient at keeping everyone in. Right. Well, wherever they choose to open it is where we're going in. Because mm -hmm. here's my thoughts. You know, what what time of day is it? I mean, by the time we had breakfast, teleported, got briefed, searched around the city, all this kind of stuff, DM. Well, we're kind of in the middle of a fast track, so it can be a specific time if it's convenient for something you're wanting to do. Like a 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock kind of thing, everyone? Anything? I'm cool with fast tracking completely unless there's something specifically you guys are doing. So you just tell me with at certain time if there's something you need to do. Because here's my thoughts. What if, you know, if we're, if we're all hunkering down here and it's only, you know, you know four or five o'clock kind of thing. You know, if we if we rested up now, prepared ourselves, okay? What if we perhaps set out a little bit earlier into the day, perhaps even into the night, and go and really search this place out under the cover of darkness to really kind of recon North Kelna, Right. We have no idea what we're walking into. We have no idea where this thing's coming at. But at least this way, perhaps we can get a little bit of a jump to put the most amount of odds in our favor here. And, again, do we know what time of day the this first horseman came in the first place? Was it morning, afternoon, evening? You know, that kind of thing. Because last time we faced one of these things, it just kind of happened, right? And it was a day day early. You know, we were a dollar short. And it was a day early, and mm -hmm. we woke up to it. So, I mean... I'm just trying to be better prepared in terms of the timing of this thing is all. Well, uh, to answer most of the questions that I remember you asking, um, uh, we can't get in. That's the thing. So even if we wanted to go in right now, we can't. The DRC is going to let us in at some point in time. So that's whenever they deem to let us in and get started in there. Mm -hmm. um, in regards to scouting it out that kind of plays off of that like we've scouted out as much as we can um, we didn't see anyone living uh, which I would assume they wouldn't be in the city I might be wrong but uh, we didn't see we walked around the entire perimeter of the city it's got the same sort of wooden wall uh, which is scalable but uh, the gates are open so if we go inside I imagine it's just going to be a lot of dead bodies and a lot of blood and nasty bodily fluids and things like that um the horseman it's true that we don't know exact we don't know when exactly we, he's going to appear and the only reason we know he's going to end up here is because of the fortune teller which i mean to be honest that might have all just been bullshit anyway mm -hmm. I, I mean this plague kind of does leave a little bit of credence to his the plague yeah the plague does sort of line up but um are you talking about the room caster Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I'd rather fight the horsemen in the city than outside of it. How far away, DM, is North Kelna from South Kelna? Um, I can. Uh, it's like a hundred foot bridge. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. As in, like, there's a river, and there's a hundred foot bridge that crosses it, and you're in North Kelvin. Right, I'll drop all yeah. four of your tokens so you can all just kind of walk around and get a little 
Yeah, it's just like, so my qu it. my question is, um, you know, while we're having this conversation, uh, at the very least, can I go up to the northernmost part of the city while you guys are hanging out for a hot second? Yeah, and I thought it's your guys' tokens. You can, you can see the other, like, you can't get a, you can't see the whole city, but you can see the city over there, right? You can see a blue dome, but yeah. yes. Did it move your tokens? Or your, yes. Or your screen? Yes. We're, yeah, we see him. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Thank you. All right. Um, I, all right. So I don't know if anyone necessarily wants to come with me for this or not, but there's time uh, for you guys to go explore. If we, if you don't want to do a, a, a late night, early morning scouting party of the city, I could take a peek here, in terms of magical ways. But again, you're saying perhaps this might not even work in the first place. But it's worth a shot. Well, Rin, did you ever try to send your familiar in there? I did not. But from how you were describing that spell, I don't. From think what I know of it, it seems that it is completely impenetrable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think anything's getting in or out of there. Like, mm -hmm. I don't even think your clairvoyance, Finley, will get past that. That's what I was. That's what I was going to sh shoot for. But I mean, if Orion can't get in, probably perhaps mine can either. I will. And you guys have enough time to do a. I will um... attempt a conjuration poof in. I'll try to see if I can just vamp him out and vamp him past the barrier. Nope, nothing. Yeah, no, and then I'll yeah. pop Orion back on my shoulder. No, I'm unable to conjure him inside the sphere, so I don't know how well your divination could even penetrate it. Well, what kind of uh, what kind of magic is Orion? He's conjuration. All right. I mean, clairvoyance is a bit of a different kind of a spell. I mean... Well, we're taking a, we're taking a rest anyway, right? I mean, mm -hmm. I'll get it back. It's not sure. that hopefully. I mean, you're more than welcome to, but remember, even the DRC sent a team in there, which means they couldn't scout it out through magical means either. Well, hey, you know, worst case scenario, perhaps me, I can take a gander and see if I can see them. What, give it a try. Well, give it a try, Finley. Yeah. All right. So looking at the city DM from the outer outskirts, um, I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, <laughs> And cast clairvoyance and see if I can poof sure. in there and see the uh, right. overhead of the city. So as you're uh, doing your, your clairvoyance, um, the eyeball is going to be at the very top of the dome, not able to penetrate in. But you can, since you're already casting it, you can cast it from there and see um, like an aerial view if you're wanting to. But so it's this, gonna dome, be... this dome is opaque as in you can't see through it, right? It, you can see in, but just maybe like four feet. And then beyond that, it's completely visually and magically you're not able to detect any further. Right. So trying to cast it inside the bubble doesn't work. It does not. It's going to appear at the very top of the bubble. Yep, yeah, nothing. No, 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 nothing going here. All right. If you guys don't like my plan of going into the early morning, I mean, we could always just ask permission, right? We're going there anyway. It doesn't really matter what time it is. They they have no idea in terms of you know what's a coming. They just know that it's bad bad news bears over there right in terms of plagues and things and diseases so they oh, still yeah. don't know about the horsemen you guys haven't told them nobody right. expected it caught them off guard they're just reacting to a, a plague. plague and they're following yeah, well, their, just, their we're, we're, just, we're just early morning risers yeah we're, we just like to get right in there and uh you know crack of midnight <laughs> just get in there and start you know, we could go kind of early morning-ish you know dawn or, or before dawn kind of thing just say we're early risers you know, well, to be we can definitely go in as early as possible. However, I think that if the horseman does rip himself into this dimension, we'll probably know. That's just a guess. <laughs> but and and sidebar note, right? I, th I think we talked about this before too. But in terms of trying to fight this thing here, uh, best case scenario, we're trying to just learn information about horsemen, right? I mean, if we can take it out i mean whew, well bob's your uncle here but i mean at the very least we're just trying to see if any more intel we can learn about these fuckers that we can because we we know what we're up against before when we're you know and i'll flex my like a little stronger there you know but <laughs> mm -hmm. just saying Yes, I believe that the best thing we can do is at least try to save our skins if we realize that it is a uh, futile attempt So, I mean, can we uh, 
find uh was it the default guy as a briefer brief briefing guy as like a, a head honcho kind of a or is he more of a director of conversation where there's someone above him ranked that we can talk to to see about maybe going earlier um the sure so you guys are you know not just locked in that one room that's where you guys are staying or whatever but you can go out and ask questions yeah we call dibs sure yep, yep. Um, it seems like every 12, uh, 12 hours, they are opening right where the bridge is. Um, they're opening a window for people to come in and go out at the same time. So it's kind of coordinating people's plans. So you guys would have and to wait for the next... Uh, it's going to be in the morning time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Tomorrow, yeah. Trying to get an early... Finley is not an early morning riser. This should come as a surprise that I want to wake up early. Just saying. That's, sure. That's, that's that's how important this is. I'm just... <laughs> right. I mean, I'd rather sleep till noon, but yeah, I just figured maybe we could just get a drop on the day there. But all right. right. If that's, I'm so open, the, that's, the I'm group open. that went in, um, they had two options. They could either, after the 12-hour mark, they could come exit, and that's when they were expecting them to come back, is to fully brief you guys so that over the next 12 hours you guys could get ready to use their right. information um, but they didn't return so everyone's predicting that they probably are still researching things and they're going to come back the maximum is the 24 hour period so um, that they're expecting to see them coming up right as you guys are getting ready to go in in that small window because um, they didn't show up at the at the next 12 hour yeah they'll definitely show up guys <laughs> Either way, uh, should we head back to the quarters since we can't really do anything else? Uh, yeah, let's grab some horses on the way back. All right. Yeah. Can we find five horses total? Uh, give me a percentile die. Oh, boy. Oh, just uh, we're just going yeah. <laughs> maybe, to maybe, maybe, maybe magic items. <laughs> so, uh, so for the rest of the day, we're just going to call it a slumber and chill out till the next morning, and we're going to yeah. ride in. 14. Nope. Hey! Just have well, the two. We got okay. two horses. Okay. All right. Hooray. <laughs> well, can, can I can... an elephant. <laughs> Only a 1D <laughs> one million. <laughs> Listen, you said there was one chance in this entire campaign. I did, but it's not today. <laughs> this is not that day. <laughs> but it, it's not today. We just Get, turn a corner, there's a fucking elephant. Get a couple more horsemen under your street. belt, we'll talk, okay? Ergo <laughs> <laughs> right. uh, will take first watch while... Oh no, uh, Van is taking first watch, Ergo will take second watch, and then Ren will be good. Okay. Yep. All right, um, so if there's nothing you guys want to do, we can just fast track to the time for the window. All right, um, so that's why I just left your guys' tokens here because you're going to be it's moving be. anyway. <laughs> All right, so we are approaching the time when they tell you that you're going to be able to enter um, through the door or the window of whatever. You guys know what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Words, 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 words. In the bubble. Um, all right, so they're counting it down and letting you guys know when you guys can move in. Um, the, again, they're going to go over the directives. Primary was to, quarant uh, to, to quarantine the spread. Done. Second directive was to find the source of the plague, which was the group that was supposed to go in before you and your job as well. Um, third directive, which is going to be right in behind you, so some people will be accompanying you to be setting up the precursor for... Third directive, to produce a cure antidote from the serum after you guys find the source. Um, fourth, mass produce the serum as fast as possible. Fifth is mass distribution, distribution working outwards. All right, so they go over that again. Um, they tell you safety, safety, safety. If you can't remember all three, just remember one. Blah, 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 blah. All right. Um, yeah. <laughs> all right, so the moment has come, and they're counting down to let you in through the barrier and you guys do not see which I know you guys didn't see this coming but nobody is coming down the bridge oh no what a surprise <laughs> that, that's, that's in character too what a surprise <laughs> I, I thought wonder, they would have showed up <laughs> I wonder what could have happened to them alright uh, but even though they're not showing up um, they have broken protocol so they tell you like 
uh, be on the lookout for them, maybe see if you can find them, something probably would happen. Something may have happened to them. So they're kind of, uh, someone's breaking protocol, does not compute, kind of like, oh, what do we do? But you guys can still go ahead and go in um, as the door will close in behind you once you step through. Oh, cool. glory. Uh, while good. they're having their, like, malfunction, I'm just going, oh, okay, bye. Oh, I forgot Vanna again. Vanna, she's on the wall. Vanna I didn't grab her. We'll, 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 we'll be sure to look for them. Yep, keep on our eyes. Yep, we will look for them. Um, uh, how many? How many are coming in later? By the way, in twelve hours, how many are supposed to come in? Oh, we won't survive twelve hours. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, awesome. maybe about ten. Great. Let's go. Okay. Um, who's going to be the first to step through as you can see uh, with right this, this blue barrier that's in front of you that's kind of crackling with a little bit of magical lightning. You can see the little whoop, little opening starts to be forming open. Me, me, me. Okay. Eat. All right, as you step through. I have been yoked. Okay. Um, roll percentile die as you walk in. No. <laughs> Always percentile. Lots of percentile. Lots of percentile, percentile tonight. Tonight. We're fucking screwed with the percent. Ah, yeah, yours. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Who's next? Ergra goes in. Okay. Oh, oh God, Ergra. It works 30% of the time, 100% of the time. Okay. And then uh, Finley? Oh, I bring up the rear, man. All, All right. right. I'll, go in. I'll go in next then All for right. rear. Right. Okay. Here we go. Amazing numbers this time, right? Right? No. Hey, hey twinsies! I'm the same as Urgro. Whatever we are, we're buddies. Oh, Jesus! That's Vana. That's Vana. Huh? Oh, nice. And Lame. Dude, I would have so Single many digits. Gods would become crashing down if I was a cleric. God, yes. <laughs> so much crazy. The shit sisters would, would like spawn into existence. <laughs> Divine intervention. <laughs> all right. Um. So as oh, all, boy. how many of you? Five. As all five yeah. of you pass through, um, the opening is going to close. And you guys can finally start to see beyond just the four feet you can see in through the perimeter. And as see. you're looking down this bridge, you can see that there are dozens and dozens of these plagued bodies that are just sprawled across everywhere, just with parts of their bodies kind of just exploded with pus, and you can see blood. Um, oozing out of all these parts that are all just kind of dried up. The um, the boards on this bridge are all just stained with green pus and vomit and blood spewed everywhere. For, first things first, everyone, I suggest we just stand still for a moment. I'm going to send Orion. Does Orion, by the way, need to roll a d100? No. He okay, <laughs> alright, so I'm going to send, I'll send Orion up, see if you can get me an aerial view and see if there's anything that might look like an epicenter or somewhere we might want to head towards. Okay. So I'll send Orion to fly up and give me a good scouting. He, he probably will be out of range for me telepathically for a little bit, so I'm just going to say, scout the area, look around, anything of interest, relay it back to me when you come within range. Okay, so this is Kelna North. It, uh, he's heading towards, um, just like the one below, there was a perimeter, like the, the wall all the way around it. Um, there is an east gate and a wharf gate um, on your guys' side. And then on the other side, Kurtz, you saw this when you were on the other side, the low gate. So there's three ways to come in. Um, north, Kelna North is definitely much smaller than, um, than the south. And this seems to be where uh, the large workforce is just kind of crammed in. Um, so there's lots and lots of, of housing all smashed in very tightly um, through this. So it's pretty much all residential. There doesn't seem to be much of a central location. There is a uh, marketplace that you can kind of see as he's flying around above, but that's kind of the only central area. Um, there's one building that's, one house that's larger than the others. It's still shoddy construction like the rest, um, but it seems to be some kind of... Uh, manner. Okay. Does As Orion flies, uh, two things um, I would happen to try to look for, I guess, is one, does he see any kind of like cluster, a big place that could be an epicenter or a thing that looks to be like the the massive core of stuff? Or 
does he see figures that should be dressed somewhat like Rin, the other Revenant party that should have been there? Okay. Um, there is a... Over um, this area on the map that says East Paddock, um, there With is... With the white, yellow thingy right there. Yes. Um, there is a circle of bodies wearing those outfits. Um, they're all laying on the ground that he can see. They didn't make it very far. All right. Um, <laughs> if uh, let's actually let me see real quick how how far away that is. Oh, very far away. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to let everyone know the revenants are not too far inside the city walls, just a little bit to the left. If we can just carefully make our way at least within a hundred feet or so of it, I will try to give a good actual eye and see what I can see and determine with my own intellect what we actually are looking at, rather than what Orion's just conveying to me saying body circle. <laughs> there yeah okay um so rin rin and finley are on horses can two people go on the horse finley's on since he's small sure why not just uh, a tiny little thing let's put vana on it yeah that's I, what I, was thinking. I will try to do a thing with the horse where i will try to press the digitation clean away any gunk on the way that we're going to try and make a nice clean path just in case i don't want the horse to step on something and die suddenly sure um, I'm on a horse with Vana. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. All right. I Her, was like boobs are like rubbing up against your head. I was going to control <laughs> Vana for this, but this will actually be more fun. I'm gonna give one of you for control over her. Um, who wants it? Or do you guys want to roll for it? I could do it. Sure. That's I'm pretty. Fine. I'm pretty good. I only have one concentration thing at a time. Sure. Okay. Spaz, <laughs> Here, do you want to give uh, permission of Vana to Connor? Uh, for the character and for the token. Um, oh, all gosh, right. Is she going so can... to be useful? <laughs> you know, that's not always up to me. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so when, when, he does Just that, to be honest, when you, when you first said, who wants control or Vana, my inner Finley was like, oh, me, me. But... <laughs> <laughs> I go over to Finley and I... <laughs> look, at the team, look at the team, Kyle. <laughs> I throw myself at him. <laughs> oh, why? <laughs> Look at that. Unexpected. <laughs> yeah. Whisk <laughs> away. All right, I'm good. Awesome. Okay. Perfect. So you can study her a little bit. Is she? As you guys are moving in. I totally know that class. I've got, the, I've got the Bloodborne soundtrack playing right now, and it fits, like, perfectly. Awesome. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds fun. I'm going to do that. Bloodborne? Yeah. Okay. So you guys are making your way towards one of the gates. Um, and at the gate, there is this large pile of these corpses that have just... They're just... It doesn't seem like they would be um, naturally that high, but it seems like they're all kind of piled up. You can't climb over the bodies or look for another entrance. Yep, um, nope. But they're maybe stacked like seven or eight rows thick. And the one thing I wanted to ask you, DM, when we first walked in through the blue uh, field, did, was it like an instant wave of smell, or is it as we're getting in closer that like shit starts to get a little grosser? So um, as you guys walked in, your amulet seemed to be reacting to the area, and mm -hmm. it seems to be magically protecting you because you're attuned to it, to any of the, the smells that are of the area. Oh, so we don't even smell the nope. death and the... Nope. Interesting. Okay. That's what's missing. <laughs> Interesting. What okay. color is the water from all the corpses? Purple. Um. So up to where the barrier is, it seems like uh, the wa the river itself is like stained red and it's got a lot of stuff just coagulating and floating on the top. Um, right. But right on the other side of the barrier, it was, it was clean water. All right. Boy. I'm going to have Orion... Um, now, me look through his eyes for a quick second and see exactly what is there. Okay. So as I'm staying there, but I'll just like okay. vision give. How how do they look? Or did they all like die in like a weird? Did someone put them and like arrange them? Did they look like they just collapse on something? What what looks like the cause of death? They, as far as the cause of death, you're not sure. Their ceramic masks are not on. No. Um, there are blood spots on their bodies um but they're, all of their bodies are kind of arranged in this circle they're all face down on the ground prone 
and their feet are all towards the center and they kind of their bodies kind of make this circle on this paddock okay i don't like that uh i'll, I'll, I'll let them know no they're, they're arranged in a way that means someone must have moved them something is here uh i wouldn't suggest thinking everything's dead well as a man who has created many meat walls uh, yeah corpses don't just get seven high or plenty, plenty of times where we've heard Kurtz is here with many a body parts. Yeah, these are these were placed. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, but yes, I, 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 from my quick glance, I didn't see <coughs> anything stirring, nothing moving anywhere. Is, is it quiet? Too quiet? It's definitely too fucking quiet. Um, yes, give me some perception checks if you want. Um, I, I would love my, to do that. Can I use my passive? Yeah. What is that? That's 17. 17. Ooh, that's really good. I'm a paranoid, Ooh. paranoid old man. I'm always on the lookout. Seven for me. Fair. <laughs> Ooh, fiddling. Hey. Uh, um, look at me looking at Look at me looking at stuff. All right, so as you guys um, <laughs> head towards the east gate, and we're like, uh, maybe we'll find a different way. You head, yeah, you get over to the wharf gate, and you can see um, that there is this flagpole. And no one else seemed to notice it as you guys are walking up with Finley. It's going to catch... Actually, Kurtz, you would see it too. Um, you can see um, there is a body that is hung from the flagpole, from a rope. Uh -huh. Seems like they decided to take an easier way out as ah. their body is just kind of low-hanging. So the rope doesn't look like it's standing out too much. That's why nobody noticed it. But at the bottom, towards the base, just before hitting the ground... There's a person hanging from the rope. Their body oh, covered in sores and blisters. Ah. Ah. This is going to be fun. This is going to be fun, guys. Come on, let's go. Uh, is there like a corpse wall here, too? Um, There is not. Ooh. Guys, I found an opening. Why can't right. I grab my guy? Oh, because I'm all the way back there. <laughs> I was like, That'll do it. Is all right, right. Yep, 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 yeah, we're good. Okay. Just be careful, Kurtz. There's at least something active in there. I would like to check for traps. Okay. What role so is that? East, so the east gate is boxed, boarded up with bodies, so we're going to the wharf gate because that one's open, right? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can I use athletics to search for traps? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just like punching the ground to see if anything Stop happens? Stop things! <laughs> just launch them. I just like pick Nothing up a boulder. Here. I pick up Nothing a boulder, like here. throw it through. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you could find a log or something to throw in if that's what you're trying to do, but it's, if you're actually trying no. to look for traps, Love gracefully, it. it's not going to be strength. Uh, perception? Sure. I'm killing it tonight, guys. Uh, bugger! <laughs> there oh, are no traps. I am 100% about it. <laughs> guys, there's, no, there's, there's no traps. There's, there's nothing, and I'll stroll through the gate. Yep. <laughs> we trust you, Kurtz. <laughs> Ergo, at this point, is going to start walking, using your spider boots to climb on the walls. Okay. Nice. Ah. Must be nice. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you about yeah, later. <laughs> we do, don't forget, we, yeah, we, we guys, we do have the weapons of warning too, so we uh, can't be surprised. Okay, yeah, two of us get can't. some bing bings. All right. So Burger. you said the bodies were in the east paddock. Yes, they are. So as you're coming through, you guys are going to be able to see that their rove bodies are all laying prone, face down in a circle, with their feet in the center. Bodies have spots of blood um, coming through their garments. Nope. They do not have their ceramic masks on. Nope. Hard no. Ergra, do you see anything from the top of the wall up there? Yeah. Can I do a check, DM? Uh, yes, you can. Perception, because high ground? Yes. Yeah. Yes, queen. There <laughs> <laughs> right, we go. Ooh, 13. Come on, Okay. Ergra. Um, oh. you can see, um, fountains of water, um, over here where I'm pinging. Mm. You did see some, um, in the other area, but this one seems, you don't know why it seems off, but it seems different than the ones that were in Kalanisalf. 
Okay, I'm sorry. Which one? I the map I have is kind of zoomed. Okay, so the one in the corner. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Erger will point off towards the west corner. Something's something's off about that fountain over there. Mm. Just that fountain. Well, the other ones you guys haven't seen yet. I approach the first the fountain. Okay. So as you come up to it, um, the way that the surface of the water looks, you would think there would be a very, very strong, pungent smell, but the amulets seem to be blocking any kind of foul smells that you would be sensing. Um, there seems to be this film um, of these bubbles. Like... They look almost like reptilian, but they're not. They look like... like like a tadpole body kind of a thing, and it looks like it's filled with something, and these are, things are just kind of floating across the surface of the water. And it's kind like. of scum. Finley, don't you have those electrical what? wands? Uh, lefty and righty? Yeah. Oh, the I static believe. ones? Yeah. yeah. I believe so. Okay. Are these things, like, alive? No, they're not moving at all. I was just kind of explain. Well, I wasn't indicating yeah. that they were. Mm. I was just kind of trying to describe okay. how they looked. Can I take out a dagger? Yeah. Can I like try to stab one of these tadpoles and see if I can get a tadpole on my dagger? Um, sure. So as you kind of stab into it, it almost feels like you're stabbing into like uh, an olive. Um, mm. But right as the the tip goes into it, it doesn't seem to do anything, and you just have to pick it up. But as you lift it. Um, as it comes out of the surface of the water, it seemed like a mucusy kind of, but somewhat of a salt. As soon as you brought it out of the water, it just kind of poof into powder, and disappears. Uh, Curtis, did you do you, uh, uh, what? Did you see that? Can I do a medicine check to see if this is like a poison or something? Okay. Rin! Rin! Urgra! Rin! Urgra! Yes, I'm on the horse, Finley. Oh, hello. Oh, I, 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 I can't see that high. Did you see that? And I'll, I'll try it again to see if, if he didn't see it the first time. We'll poke one and lift it out. And... Okay. Um, as you're looking at it, um, you said you're trying to see if it's some kind Does of... Does it sound like any kind of poison or, like, component or, like anything like that I've ever come across? Um, it is unlike... It's morbidly unlike anything you've ever heard of. Um, like, out of this world different. Like, well, usually poisons have some kind of similarity, even if they have different effects, or mm-hmm. some kind of connecting thing. Um, this is unlike anything you've ever seen, and it would probably kind of alarm you a little bit. Oh. Well. Just to be on the safe side, Rin will cast the mage armor from the actual robe for the first spell. Okay. And just glow right. on it. Okay. And okay. how long does that last? Eight hours. Oh, nice. Okay. You yeah. Gucci. Oh, <laughs> All right, that's kind of freaking me out a bit. Um, I'm going to start to back away from the fountain. Vana's going to ca- ask her right of the dawn on her long sword okay. taking a little bit of damage but now it's glowing with radiant light and she's just going to dip it into the fountain okay no oh, i've got like two gallons of holy water right completely unrelated can everybody give me a percentile die roll oh yeah completely unrelated yeah. <laughs> including, <laughs> including bana the session of the percentiles i know do you want Bana as well? Did I seriously? You rolled the. Roll? I think the four yeah. again? What? You rolled a nine to start, now four. All right. Sh- Sean, do you want Bana to roll as well? Um. Yes, I forgot you're controlling, so that's what the Hodobot roll was. Um, okay. Was there her? Fuck. I don't get to be blamed. <laughs> All right. Well, you're blamed for your 77. Um, I'll take that Finley, um, you notice that this amulet that you're wearing around your neck or wherever you have it uh, attuned to you um, it's has been kind of glowing a faint 
magical color. It's been reacting and trying to be blocking um, everybody. Um, but as you you've entered this this area, um, there is a lot of things that are bombarding these amulets that they're having to protect. And I need you to make a con saving throw. Fantastic. Mm. We should have worn both. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Just Mr. Mr. Teed in there with all of our amulets. Oh, oh, Alright, I'm just gonna go ahead and spend a luck point just because I don't oh, like good. fucking 11. It's not terrible. I'm just not, it's it's not good. It's not good. Nope. Not even gonna play with that game. Oh, much better. I'm gonna go with that. Okay. <laughs> um, Only you had some kind of cloak of protection. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and mutton chops. So, for just Which a would look dope, by the way. For just a brief moment, it seems that the glow <laughs> from your amulet seems to kind of like flicker out and fade for a moment, like it got <clears throat> overloaded. And all in one moment, your nostrils are just filled with a complete stench. This whole area, you just seem to be surrounded. There's like this film that you've been walking in that you can finally feel for the first time of just contamination and rot and death and just bubonic blackness plague everywhere and you, it just fills your nostrils all for a moment and then it's in then it's gone okay it just okay, seemed okay, it kind of okay, kind of okay. seemed to have a hiccup in the system really quick and you were instantly you felt everything and then it disappeared in a moment all right all right everyone not to freak everyone the fuck out but for some for a brief moment there my in my amulet higgly do thing stopped working and all at once, all of this just came right upon me here. First of all, this place smells terrible, all right? <laughs> <laughs> but I could feel, like, death incarnate upon my skin and fill in my lungs here, and I'll look... My, uh, where are the, am uh, the amulets? We should probably, like, just have a backup. We have the yeah. backups, right? Double the protection? I'm gonna... Yeah. Oh, sometimes it's well. better to double bag it there, Rin. <laughs> uh, I think that's where we're going with that, and I will take out each of the amulets and Pass one to Finley, pass one to Kurtz, pass one to um, Urgra, and pass one to Vana. Okay, you can begin your one-hour attunement process if you like. Yeah. Uh, yep. <laughs> All I'm saying is, if these things shut down, we are severely fucked, because that was not cool. I thought I was dying there in the brief moment it turned off. All right. Um, You know, we can't do much in the short rest, but in this time, can we, while we're short resting, try to at least maybe make a tiny bit of a cleansing puff with our prestigitation and try to clean out the air around us as we just keep... It's like it's like little fans. Just... <laughs> <laughs> air away. Um, sure. Yeah, if you're wanting to keep... keep right. it. Yeah, do tighten it. Tighten up, tighten up, everyone. Finley, do this with me. Prestidigitation, <coughs> half circle. I'll do these areas. You do the other areas. Uh... Uh, 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 Ergra. Yeah. Do you have Alundra's staff still? Uh, yeah, I think I do. Maybe we should like check it. She will reach into her pack for the very long shape of a staff, and she will pull it out. I believe we're missing the top of it, though. Yeah. Does it, how, how how does it look? I'm sorry. Go ahead and say uh, that again. I t Urga takes out a Lundra staff from where it is tied to her backpack. I'm okay. hoping it has some sort of like bubble effect. <laughs> Man, wouldn't that be fantastic? Um, so as you you pull the staff out and you're waiting for this divine bubble of fresh air eh. to no avail. Is this thing on? Nope. Guys, it's a, it's you know, it's a good try, you always got to check the batteries before you leave the house and you unscrew it and there's two double D batteries in there. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> back on, back on the backpack. All right. Um, but uh, I, I'm the, I'm gonna go check the corpses. Are, yes. are you doing this was, after the uh, hour of us tuning, or we don't have to just like sit there and stare at the wall while we're tuning, yeah, do we? Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm backing away from that fountain. My amulet turned off next to a fountain. Uh, I really su suggest perhaps we not look at any more fountains here because it really fucked okay. with my thing here. Just gonna throw it out. All right, just yeah, I'll just keep trying to attune and keep the air clear. But yeah, okay. I'm I, honestly I'm quite surprised Kurtz hasn't just yelled out in fury trying to get the horsemen to come. I expected ah, that mostly I to happen. I see a token. You see a what now? <laughs> ah! 
You. I see you. I don't see anything. Hey, <laughs> I, I do. It's up there. Who you is? <laughs> Who yeah, is I you? I think I haven't zoomed in too far. All right, and we will go on our first break, and when oh, we come oh back, God. we will figure out what is going on. As you guys saw <laughs> something fuckety up fuck. here. All right, this is the moment they've been waiting for for a oh. very long time. Uh, hey guys, uh, guess what this token looks like when you what? zoom in on it. Yeah, I what know, it's it? Conquest. Oh, what is it? What is it? Alright, when we come back, we will find out. We're not going anywhere, we still have lots to do. When Woo! we come back, we're gonna give you uh, a... Uh, that's a big moment. Let's do uh, Oh, please stay for Hoda points and 400. Sense. Let's do 400 table tokens for everybody. And you guys can yeah. use those to buy them stuff. Hopefully it's enough to tip somebody over to help them Save out. Um, so we're gonna go on a break, and when we come back, <laughs> figure out what it is. Guys, what you doing on the roof with me? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> the dice are telling me it's a 20. Uh, oh. We're staying with it. Okay, let's go. I'm going to go over here because I'm going to film this shit. <laughs> I'm going to go. Uh... Uh, yes, this is my daughter, Melody. Ah! Oh. You shall find justice upon your soul. Turn it into a, uh, uh, let's go with a gelatinous cube. Okay. And I'll let it just go ahead and sit there and start dissolving the place up. Yeah, we're on our phones. No, we're paying attention, yeah, we're focused. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally agree, yeah. I'll just sort of run my finger through the scar that goes across yeah. my headline. Indeed. Grab it by the head, start slamming the skull into the stone wall next to me until the skull just shatters. <laughs> <laughs> bend, bend the fucking knee, <laughs> peasants. I'm gonna burn a lucky point. Okay. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> oh, uh, tell Caldivar if you can, please, sir, that uh, Kurtz Glaskin is going. I'm gonna come up to Rand and say. Teamwork. Do you have any offensive spells at all? <laughs> right? <laughs> okay, little, little scruffy, nasty beard, kind of kicks his foot. Ow! Damn! 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 Starts going off on this rift. Martha will turn to the crowd and go, "Are you not entertained?" Hail, <laughs> 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 brave adventurer! <laughs> Hello there, everyone's favorite halfling bard, Finley Shenanigan here. Being the soulful adventurer that I am, and known for telling a tale or two, pull up a stool to grab a pint as I tell you a story about my favorite hero, me. In my years of traveling, I met people of all walks and cultures. Although the horsemen coming didn't affect me directly, I saw the toll they left behind. The destruction and devastation these villainous beings left in their wake sparked something within me. How was I, Finley Shenanigan? to become the greatest, most legendary bard that Kandori had ever seen, if no one was around to behold my glory. More importantly, where is Alundra? When will she be back? And what will she be wearing? Hopefully something revealing. Anywho, setting on my journey, I shared my glamour with those who had never witnessed such pure, unadulterated excellence before. My legacy was to replace their despair and unite the people for the war yet to come. In the end of the day, everyone could be a hero. Everyone has a little adventure inside of them, and if you don't, would you like one? Ah, salutations. I am Rin Anoran, historian of Kandoria, renowned problem solver, an elf of esteemed conscience. When I became of age, I set out as a Rena and departed from my home of Arthalos to the city of Egoras to study the arcane arts. With some difficulties, I was able to teach myself while working as a scribe in the library of Alashar. There, I produced a masterpiece of Kandoria's history and its secrets. My manifesto, the true record of our world. However, even my aspirations dwindled when Alandra's guidance vanished, followed by the devastation from the horseman's wake. Despite all the wounds we have suffered, I shall never let our existence be forgotten, for I believe our best hope lies with our knowledge and story made eternal. My 
My name is Kurt Glaskin, and I have lost everything that I've loved in this world. My daughters, my wife, my friends, all of them dead to the horsemen. And now I have a chance to redeem myself, to protect my friends, to lead humanity into a new age of light and hope. Alundra abandoned us, the goddesses abandoned us, and left us with these monsters. And I want to take everything from them that they've taken from us. I live in a world of blood and hatred and violence, and so I will become that violence. I will be that hatred, and I will be exactly what we need, a sword against the darkness. My name is Urgra Dropper, and I am a dependable ambassador. I was the only half-breed in my mother's tribe of orcs where the threat of being eaten constantly hung over my head. And yet, those were some of the happiest times of my life compared to my time with the Revenant. I was twelve when I first picked up a bow and started hunting, and I quickly found that people make the most interesting prey, and often deserve an arrow in the head far more than most monsters. Magic and even the Three Sisters were always something weird and sinister to me. That is, until by chance I crossed paths with the High Priestess Alundra, who showed me that magic, like everything else, can be used for good or for evil. And that's what I'll keep on repeating to myself every time one of those stuck-up magical morons say something that makes me want to cut out their tongues. The following program features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Okay. <laughs> and we are back. Welcome. Thanks for joining us. We got some hoda points to give away, and Kyle's still not here, so it gives us time to give some points out. I killed Kyle. No, you didn't. Not yet. You're a little quiet, Spaz. Am I a little quiet? Yeah. A little, a little bit. Bit. I can little hear bit, you. But yeah. it is quiet. I'm All right. Here. We have some hoda points. I said 400. I'm feeling generous. Let's go 500. Yes, 500. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I had points to all viewers. 500 Woo. table tokens. Woo. You guys can use that to buy. Health potion inspiration points, standard points to help these guys out. They're probably going to need it because they're about to face what they've been looking for. All right. So from behind one of the buildings, you see a large, silvery-bodied, humanoid-looking thing. Covered in what looks like part armor, part body. It's just huge. Uh, riding on this horse that his mane is just glowing with flame, also silvery. Hasn't said anything as he's just one hand on the reins, just kind of strut, strutting in, almost not even caring that you're there. What would you guys well, like to do? Glory's not is... out at the moment. Oh, he's not? Okay, no. I misspoke. All right, so you see a man walking. <laughs> a humanoid-shaped <laughs> thing. Oh, oh, there's no horse. Okay. Yeah, okay. I mis misspoke. It's just, it's um, just a man. So I set this up from man. the beginning uh, for the horseman. Uh, we have a guest player, so go ahead and introduce yourself. You've been here several times, but go ahead and let anybody Hello, here. Hello, everybody. I'm Spaz. I think for season one, I was here for death, and I guess I'm back again. Okay. Hopefully, I can kill more than one this time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, All right. Round, uh, round two, Spaz. Round two. <laughs> so I set this up on purpose to where he's going to play the main bad guy, so I get to uh, enjoy the show as well. So I'm going to kind of take a back seat as he... Takes control. Right. Oh boy. As Urger was the one who spotted him and you're within my range, I'm going to immediately cast Hunter Sense on you. Because mm -hmm. you're, you're within 60 feet. So if you could tell me uh, what are your damage immunities, resistances, and vulnerabilities? Oh, damn. And your AC and your hit points. <laughs> I could. I and your spells and your damage. And your favorite damage. color. <laughs> so what is it? My damage immunities, my damage resistance, and, and vulnerabilities, if you have any. Zero vulnerabilities. Yep. I have resistant to slashing, piercing, and bludgeoning damage from non magical weapons. Okay. I'm immune to poison. Yeah, okay. Uh, Let's send the yeah, chat if you guys can hear Spaz enough. 
And then that's my action, bonus action. I'm casting Slayer's Prey on you. Also, no roll, just happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm just going to yell out, okay, guys, it's a good thing we swapped out magical weapons. And also, don't do poison. Just gonna be like, wait, what? What are you, what are you talking about? He's just gonna. Okay, and so you have these weapons of warning that you were counting on going to trigger. But even as you see um, this being in front of you, they are not indicating any kind of warning at all. Well, I mean, he's outside the thirty foot range, right? <laughs> well, I mean, it's yeah. That was, that was actually for quite a while. Kurtz is just gonna ooh unshoulder. His Kurtz, sword. he just talked to you. What? I didn't hear him. <laughs> I didn't hear me. He said he'd been following you for quite a while now. Kurtz will just turn, unshoulder the sword. You remember me. Dead, says Ergra. <laughs> Dead. He is pointing at himself, like he's looking at you, like. Yeah, I remember you. Well, I don't remember you quite much, but I guess that tends to happen with insects. But it is nice that there's more of you to play with now. Those ones over there didn't last very long. But that's good enough. Now, it does look like there is one wearing the same stuff as the last ones there. I'll save that one for last. Ah, oh, good. I like that idea. <laughs> <laughs> totally in character. I'm, uh, Finley in the back is slowly starting to walk up, but I'm slowly taking out of my bag my mask. I'm going to start to put it on. Okay. Oh. All right. So as, you, just gonna as you pull the mask from the bag, you can hear the menacing laughter in the background. It doesn't even, doesn't even phase you as you put it up to your face. You're going to put it on? Yeah. All right. You put on the mask. All right. And all of the properties that come with it um, as it's slow, you start to struggle with it for a moment, but then you just fully relinquish control as it takes over. Go ahead. Is is he literally just like pulling on the mask at that point? It's just the... Oh. I'm just like big to the <laughs> <It's smoking. laughs> Hello, everybody. All right. So you have donned your cursed item, Finley. Yep. Yep. We're okay. on. We're game. Okay, continue, guys. Go ahead. I'm done. That's what I'm doing while you guys are talking. You're good. What is this all you're doing, then? Why are you infecting everyone? Oh, you want the mage. Holding, like, a skull like Hamlet or something? No, he's actually talking to his hands. Okay. <laughs> and he's talking to his bow. Okay. Oh. His hands. And then his bow. You need props, man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and, yeah. <laughs> Maybe we should kill the one with the bow first. That seems fun. But there's one with a big sword. Either way, I think it'll be enjoyable. Roll initiative. Oh, that's uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Same character. Roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Ooh. I'm excited for this. Oh my god. I'm not excited for it too. Oh, Vanna. Oh, Vanna. Oh, Vanna. Oh, Vanna how'd you go even lower than me? <laughs> Alright, we need Finley's. <laughs> that right. is typical Finley right there. Yep. This. Set it to descending. All right, it looks like Miss Ergra. Woo, Ergi. Really? Yeah. You're on the 14. Do it. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, shit. Uh, she wants to get into melee, which is kind of tough with where she is. Uh, she would have. I imagine she would have tried to get down as this approached. Can we allow that, or do we need to worry about me jumping off a fucking roof? No, you were on the roof. Yep. <laughs> Fine. 5, 10, 15, Fine. <laughs> Fuck you, DM, he says. Uh, so that's 20. About how high would this roof be, would you say? 
Um, 10 feet, 15. It's a one story, so it'll be nine at the pitch, and then at the top would probably be about 15, so you're somewhere in the middle. Yeah, so she'll come to the side at the lowest point and just try and jump off. Okay. I think uh, with the level five character, jumping down 10 feet is not going to pose an issue, so you have no checks. Yeah. Uh, so that's 25. She's going to go ahead and dash. Okay. 5, 10, 15, and 20. And then bonus action. She's going to Hunter's Mark. Okay. And that's route, turn one, y'all. Didn't mean to do that. I was just trying to bring it up, but it didn't work. <laughs> First didn't blood. That's good. Right. Um, all right. Uh, so you, uh, Kurtz, you see Ergra um, slide down the this or jump um, off the edge of the roof and start to head towards uh, the monsters you guys have been trying to track down for quite a while. And you guys see she has her shield up in Kurtz's weapon of hand axe. Yeah. Okay. All right, so she's closing the distance, but it has not struck yet. Um, what would you like to do, Kurtz? Kurtz is just going to heft the sword up and do, like, hold it, like, Templar style in front of him and then just sprint forward with, like, a insane-sounding war cry. It probably sounds more <laughs> like an animal than anything else. What does it sound like? Let's hear it. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a stealth charge, so it's more like a silent... Oh, there, there's nothing stealthy about that. <laughs> He, he saves head. those noises for his wife. <laughs> and do I have advantage? Or no, I get plus plenty. two. You get plus, plus two. two. Yep. But Van, I will give you more. You will. First attack. Get me. Eighteen. All right. Um, Spaz, just go ahead. Go full DM with this. Uh, you can just describe everything as as it happens. Unless you want me to do it, I don't care either way. I think you're muted, Spaz. I can't hear you. Huh. Where's your mic? There you go. You're back. I think it might be cutting out. Stand we can back. hear you now. But, uh, yeah, that doesn't hit. 18 doesn't hit. Fuck. Uh, uh, it's higher than an 18! <laughs> Second attack. Come on, come on. Oh, that's better. 22. 22. Oh, he had a plus 2 on that first attack. Oh, yeah. he had a plus 2 on Okay, yeah. those both hit then. Oh! oh yeah, because okay. the, uh... Advantage flanking with, rules. Or the flanking rules with the. Okay. Missed that. Or it right. swings. So two damage, or the two. It's mm, four, right. 14 magical. 15 magical. Yes. And then as the two strikes just lay down, I kind of just want to like come in and just like to the stomach, just like one, two, and then like come over the top with my action surge. Okay. Oh, oh just, just putting it out there. Blow it all at the start. Just going him. Leroy, so much for Damn recon. <laughs> right? The that one will not hit. Yeah. Well, considering we're trapped in the blue bubble of death, no, I don't think we can. <laughs> no, do what you want. How's that? How's that 27? Sadly, it doesn't hit. No. <laughs> <laughs> God mode no, engaged. Two attacks per round. Range. <laughs> Automatically pulls out the horn. Like, it's time to fuck off, guys. Off. <laughs> All right, so that one is going to be 16 Ooh. damage. <coughs> nice. So that's a total of 30, no, 45. Uh, 45. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Solid. In one turn. This is being phased. Oh shit, motherfucker. Alright, horsemen, as uh, they start to surround you, one of them starts to blow into you. You have an opportunity. What would you like to do? Is that so? Uh, then have fun. As Rin and Finley, you see the spores in the air merge together. As you see. Urgy where? There. <laughs> that's that's small. That's not right. Brian redeemed inspiration points for Kurtz. There we go. <laughs> that's right. Good. Alright, the big you. horse. So he's a spore. Spore horse. Light him on fire. The spores. Also a spores, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yep. yep. A spores, a spores, my kingdom for spores. Okay. Hey then. You look fun. As he's gonna grab you by the face 
or at least attempt to hit you in the face, Kurt. You who? Oh, fuck off, Kurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> By you. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that one will miss, but that one will hit. Okay, so for the first one that misses, I'm gonna repost. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The repost. The repost man. Who are you attacking right now? Me. Uh, Kurtz. Okay. <laughs> that will hit. All right. It's a hit. It's a good hit. It's a really good hit. And then plus. Ooh, Ooh another nice eight. eight. So yeah. twenty-one damage on the repost. Yeah. Nice. How's it feel to be finally <laughs> sinking your blade into conquest? We'll, we'll see how this first round goes. <laughs> <laughs> Kurtz, you see a familiar thing that you've seen multiple people get afflicted by as his hand glows a brightish greenish yellow color as he pretty much slaps you with it. Or... But you take one point of damage. Is it bludgeoning? Yes. I don't take any damage. No, uh, that was already reduced. No. Oh. Okay. He's ahead of you. <laughs> is, is it just bludgeoning? That's it? Nothing else? Not for, for now. now. Yeah, um, for now. And as the greenish yellow hand comes into contact, I need a percentile die from you, Kurtz. Oh, bug fuck. The episode of percentiles. <laughs> okay. oh, All right. I, a dead gut. <laughs> All right. So as his hand comes into contact, the amulet that you are wearing seems to overload, and the glowing seems to hinder. And you can just smell all the plague oh, and the death smells all around you, but also just radiating off of the the hand that just comes and just touches you. I'm used to it. Okay. It's not my first corpse, city. I'm more offended by the slap. Okay. Turn. What was that? That's his turn. Okay. Finley! Uh. Oh boy. Um, oh. So, it looks like a pony just got summoned right in front of you, Finley. Uh, what would you like to do? Um, so, now that my mask is on... <clears throat> oh boy. All right. As the spores start to coalesce around me and forms into one of the horses, remembering back to when we fought the fourth horseman, you know, the horses can do something <coughs> too. Um, I'm going to say, oh, my little pony, I <laughs> think you'd be better off gallivanting the fuck out of here. I'm going to point over there and cast Suggestion and tell him to get the fuck out of here and go that way. Oh, oh. nothing at all. The creature. I don't know if it's gonna work or not, but Nothing it's immune. It's immune. Okay. And then if it doesn't start, it just looks at me and goes and just like fucking stares at me. All right. I'll be like, hmm. Well, that's horse shit. And I'll do vicious mockery as my bonus action. Nice. That's an action though. Not for him. Not when he's wearing the mask. Oh, that's right. He's the mask. Masky man. Yeah. 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 Horse shit. Holy shit. That's a lot of d4s. I don't know why I rolled so many. DC 11 <laughs> wisdom save. Only did two. It, it's not 11. <laughs> it's, uh, and I don't know why I rolled 2d4. That DC's macro's probably all 14, messed up. I think. 15. 15. Level 5. Yeah, I have. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, so it's, oh, yeah, the fifth level should be two, right? Um, because it's at the It did do two. It's passed. Did you see that? Yeah. So it's, yeah. uh, vicious mockery is a con save? No. Wisdom. wisdom it's, a, save. It's, a, it's a wisdom save. It fails miserably. Okay. It's a horse. It's not a white <laughs> horse. So it it's takes a... uh, takes four points of psychic damage. Oh wait, what's your saving throw? 15. 13. 15. 13. Okay. 15. No. 15. Yeah. 27. Oh, 30. so it increases with the mask, huh? Yeah. That's right. Oh, okay. it does do that. No, I don't think it increases with the mask. <laughs> then why was it That's... higher than 11? Because eleven's like not even close to a DC. That, that's um, yeah, that's character. a bad, that's a glitch. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Something's okay. wrong with it. Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, it's fifteen. Okay. And then so it has disadvantage on its next attack, which is great well, because 
I'm going to run the fuck away from it and start running up towards the uh, the horseman there. So you're I on guess, a horse. Am I? Yeah. I, yeah, you I were. Kinda, I, yeah, I think I was just kind of walking around, but anyway. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. That's fine. That's the horse honestly, it's not gonna help. Yeah, it's not gonna help much anyway. Uh, <laughs> to be honest. 15, um, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15, Twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifth. Uh, That's like, right. He's double speed over there. Use the horse's oh, meat shield. Oh yes. Why would you? So what? you just left its range. Yep. Gets uh, attack of opportunity for once. Um. That's up to the horse. Yeah, it's up to you, Spencer. I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I disadvantage. Oh, oh no! Disadvantage. I can't what? see what it rolled, but... I'm guessing it was a nat 20, but it's not because disadvantage? Yep. 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 Yeah, they got it! You take Amazing. six piercing damage. I need... I guess you're... Mm, you're on the horse still, right? I need you no. to make a... No, he's not on the horse. No, he jumped horse. off. I need you to make a strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. Okay. What does a horse have that's piercing? Uh, <laughs> bony protrusions? Oh fuck, you can re roll that. No, it's a two. <laughs> that's a two. That. Oh no, <laughs> that's a two. You have a minus one. Oh, was it a two? Never mind. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Don't worry about that. Yep, so it was a two to a one. Finley, as you're trying to run away, you're knocked on your ass. Okay. <laughs> as the horse kicks you. You know, the big guy's got a bow, so that's not the worst thing that could happen. All right, I'll back down over there. All right, knock Wait, prone. What did, just to, out of curiosity, what did you roll for the hit, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I mind him asking. <laughs> well, because it's my armor class is a thirteen. That's why I'm, it's not an eleven. Yeah, no, it. You're good. No. I'm watching it. Okay. Yeah, it definitely. With, with the mask, it's a thirteen. I don't know if you're looking at my character sheet and saw Fair. eleven. I was asking. All right. So how much damage was it? I Six. will correct your gray one to say thirteen, just so we're aware. But it was. Yeah, it still went ahead. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. That's my turn. You can still spend half movement to get up and move. You could. Oh yeah, I guess I could, right? Yeah. Yep. So I will go half as far as I wanted to go. <laughs> One. What are you doing it? Three, four. That like over sense. here. As the movie gets kicked in the face by a horse, she <laughs> just stands back up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't very nice. <laughs> um. All right, we go to the hee hee. It, it just that... looks at Finley and puffs, and then looks at Rin. <laughs> Rin's on a horse. <laughs> I am on a horse. Okay. It's going to go on its hind legs and kick Rin. What? <laughs> Does a 22 hit. Yes, of course oh. it hits. Roll a strength saving throw. Okay. let. Yeah, I'm great with those. Um, thankfully, I have a plus one to that. Uh, Come I rolled on, a, Rin. Uh, hey, hey, 19. 19. Hey. 19. You hold on strong to that horse. You also take six. I mean, not six. You take nine piercing damage. Oh, okay. Woo. Nine. That's like half your health, man. It it is not half my health. <laughs> it's it a hurts, third. But it's not half. It's a third. <laughs> it's a third. <laughs> it's a third. All right, we go to Rin as the horse comes running up to you. Goes on its hind hooves. The first ones come up and they smack you across the face. Um, what would Ow. you like to do? <laughs> Well, I'm surprised that the horse is good at boxing, so it just kind of goes, <laughs> but I'm going to. <laughs> you just do the thing at the paddle, you're like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to take another hook to the head, so I'm going to um, cast <coughs> Blink on myself. And uh, that is my action, and I'm not going to move to provoke anything. So then at the end of my turn, I roll a d20. You can move. It's already used its reaction. It is. No, it got its turn again. No, it's got it its got reaction back. Again. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. That's a, that's a, yeah, uh, you're going. Uh, the room disappear. Does, everyone does that weird. Okay. Sometimes it's round, sometimes it's turns. But no. I, I see a no, but I don't know what that means. You mean no. I don't know. I saw Spanis say the word no. I was hoping that you would walk away. Oh, well, oh, no. Gotcha. I blinked away. Okay. <laughs> so the horse is just standing there, and I just poop. That's my turn. Uh, Vanna! Save right. me, Vanna! All right, yeah. Connor, you're controlling her. What do you want her to do? Yeah, Vanna, uh, she's not going to be on a horse because that's too much stuff. Can she's I be on a horse? <laughs> no, you could be on an elephant, Kurt, some of that. Right. <laughs> done. Done. So, look up the stats right now. <laughs> uh, Vanna was running towards the horseman, but then here is the neigh and Finley getting his 
like head kicked backwards and she just like spins around on one knee a glowing stake in one hand a glowing longsword in the other and she just starts charging at the horseman okay and here you we oh go. you mean the horse the horse or the, the horseman horse. No, oh the horse god damn it the horse okay <laughs> the horse with everything the, the horse of course <laughs> all right so she's gonna strike out with her longsword here we go no oh. benefits from her allies thanks what because no. finley laughed baby. and then Rin poofed out so I, she for some no reason I, I was i was thinking about Urger, and i'm like fuck you <laughs> does an 18 hit the horse it will all right yeah. nice. so start off with that why is it oh it's oh it's already included yeah okay hey that's you know nice. what should be good <laughs> isn't that nice Okay, uh, so that's 12 damage, and then she will come at it with the stake, which is a club. 11. <laughs> 11 will not hit Seth. Uh, okay. Bounce yeah, off she, she, fucking skin. She comes around, and she hits it in the haunch with her longsword, and then as it kicks out, she has to uh, give away her club attack. Okay. Uh, and then, let's see. Yeah, she's going to... She'll stay where she is. That's her turn. And then we go to Urgra. Hold on, wait, Connor. Shit, I get two turns in a row. <laughs> you get two attacks in a turn. Yeah. Yeah. You get another main longsword attack. Yeah. Extra attack. But is the club a bonus attack? Yes. Club is like a bonus attack. Oh, okay, okay. It's, okay. A, it's a bonus action if you don't have the yeah. feet. Yeah. Fine with me. Another five. <laughs> that hit. I need some support, y'all. God damn it, Rana. <laughs> you have a horse. I have a, a, a vacant horse right there. Hit the horse, damn it. <laughs> okay, moving up to my more familiar character. <laughs> God damn it, they're right after the other. All we right. got the fucking B team over there dealing with the horse. <laughs> uh, so, Urgra, uh, seeing that Rin is out of danger, Finley's out of danger, Vana's doing her thing. Uh, she's gonna take her hand action. She's, she's gonna start swinging. Okay. Two attacks. Come on, Nerdra. That'll hit. Ooh. Big twenty six. Big twenty six. Yeah. So here we go. Uh, so first Hunter attack. Market. Uh, that's gonna be seven plus Hunter's Mark for one d six plus another d six for Slayer's Prey. So first attack is going to do thirteen points of damage. Magical. Yeah, that hand axe would come in handy. Second attack from the hand axe is just going to do a good old five. No, Hunter's Mark still affects. Is it just first attack? I first attack per I turn. I think it says only. one yeah. attack per turn, yeah. Yeah, I'm thinking hex. That's what I'm getting confused. Yeah, so the other one, second one will be five. It's a more familiar character that I know nothing about. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You know what? I haven't played it in three weeks, man. You're good, you're good. <laughs> and no one does Hunter's Mark right. No one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I think that's gonna end her turn, though. Popping at this chitinous material, but it's not getting through. Hmm. Actually, she rolled 26s to hit. Oh, no, you're hitting him. It's just, okay. Not, it's not getting through the armor? Alright. Um, so, Kurtz, you see Urgra starting to, to hack away um, at the horseman. But it is your turn. What would you like to do? Is he reacting at all when we hit him? Like, even, like, kinetically? But, oh, like, you're hitting him and you're kind of chipping away at his, uh, kind of exoskeleton-like armor? You haven't hit Got anything. some padding. Yeah. Um, you ha haven't hit anything. Fleshy? Fleshy, no. One. Hey. Eh? Right, you yeah. All right, so with that one, I'm going to use a superiority die to use a uh, maneuvering attack on Finley, which allows him to move half of his movement speed without provoking attacks of opportunity. Mm. <clears throat> so you can take that now if you want Finley, right? Yeah, Finlin. Yeah. To move? Yep, you yeah, you can move. It's going to take your reaction, though. Which probably is not a big deal. If you don't want to use it, that's fine. I still get the damage bonus. <sighs> Vanna and Ren on a horse. You guys on a... Yeah. I'm going to start continuing the motion where I was going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, there. Okay. That damage. Yeah, fat 16 again. Oof. Plus three, so 19 for the first attack. Nice. Oof. 22 hit. Well. Yeah, okay. It cuts you out sometimes. That's why there's two of like that. That's cut out. <laughs> So for the maneuvering, yeah, I guess. Oh, ah! I don't hear anything. <laughs> I don't know why Ooh. it rolled twice. It should be at seventeen. Okay. Double six. So nineteen and seventeen. Thirty-six. Thirty-six points of damage. Nice. Oof. All right, horseman. Is your mic working, Spaz? Looks like he's switching. I think he's changing the mics. There he goes. Ah, yeah, that's the classic one we recognize. <laughs> <laughs> this should work better. There he yeah, is. There he is. Good, good. And now we ask why he didn't use that all along. <laughs> it's all good. Final form. <laughs> <laughs> it's over 9,000. <laughs> I do enjoy that mask of yours, though. Oh see god. If I could knock it off. Families. Oh god. And that will be. Are you making a bow attack? Or is it yes. What? He's pulling up his bow and shooting. Do you get disadvantage because you're in melee? Oh. Well. Mm. Good try. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's going to be nice when you have the that effort. Bow, <laughs> okay. So, Finley, you take 13 points of acid damage as you see his mm. hand turn glow a black aura as a bowstring appears on the bow and he draws it back and fires a bolt of energy at Finley. Well, that's super fun. Mm -hmm. And just to clarify, it's not a spell. Nope. Okay. As he's going to do it again as a greenish mm. thing hits as it <laughs> fires out towards Finley <laughs> and has no effect. Nice. Uh, we'll <laughs> ah! What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it, it it obviously like looks like it was gonna hit you right in the middle of your eyes, but just dissipated. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. So give me a uh, percentile roll, Finley, as oh, no. the one that gets negated hits you. Can I still be a tuning? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, you're golden. You're Gucci, man. Nice. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> All right, continue as you were. All right. Um, so as he hits me in the fucking face with an arrow, uh, did this skip my turn? Oh no, I I clicked it at the same time. Oh, okay. Um, I'm gonna say, um, that wasn't very nice, asshole. And I'm gonna cast Bane on uh, the horseman. Does it go on more than one person? I'm not close enough to the it's horse. Really short no! no! <laughs> I, yeah. I, was, I, was trying to, I was trying to angle <laughs> it. I couldn't get both of them. Yeah. You're in the fucking shadow realm, Rin. <laughs> All right. And then as my bonus yeah, action, I, I wish Rin was here, um, I'm going to, as my bonus action, do my mental of inspiration. Ooh. Uh, oh. Shit. I'll say those buff. 10 HP. I want that buff. Ah! <laughs> shouldn't have poofed. Shouldn't have poofed. Oh, yeah, shouldn't have poofed from the horse that could just dunk. <laughs> you, guys, you guys, all within 60 feet of me, you get five temporary hit points, and you can use your reaction if you want to to move without opportunity attacks. Vanna at least gets the bump. Yeah, I'll do that in two seconds. I'm just triple checking that it, I think it goes up at level five to eight. Uh, it says um, at fifth level, um, eight. Yeah. Eight. Yep. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Eight points. Eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I thought. Good catch. See, that's the kind of same team shit we need to be doing. That we're talking. That we're talking about. And not help not... the DM. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So. That's fucking teamwork. <laughs> marked off that. Marked off that. And then. Uh. Yeah, that was not cool. So I'm gonna fucking take a jet. Uh, 
he up that fucking direction. Bye. Be like, you got this I think you guys got this right. And I'm just gonna fucking run uh, over You're here. You're only talking to Vanna. <laughs> All right, well, I'm talking to everybody. Whoever can hear me. This, I'm right back. Okay. okay. Um, I'm gonna go in between those buildings and try to get out of view of everybody. Squeeze it. That is definitely doable. Yep. And that'll be my Finley turn. Action, bonus action, movement. Yeah, cool. Okay. It is now Glory's turn. You notice right. is that a irritating redhead is now stabbing him in the rear. So he is going to go on his front legs and kick. And Mule kick. Be. Use your vampire powers. Uh, give me a strength saving throw, Connor. Ben. We good at that. Yeah. Yeah, you're totally good at that. She's basically a fighter. Twenty-five. Five. She takes Holy ten shit. piercing damage though. Oh. Okay. Two damage. Nice back. Ten HP. Goodbye. Okay. Ten HP. Put on that boss. Yeah. You use it. <laughs> yeah. And that is the horse's turn. All right. So, I, don't, if, I don't know if anyone wanted the move, but they could have. Like, Vanna could have moved. Anyone could have moved. Uh, Sam um, could have moved. Uh, okay. yeah. All right. All right. So, Rin is going to use that 10 foot of blink distance to actually appear just a little bit above the roof above. So, he's going to, because the roof is nine feet. So, he's going to appear just one foot above the nine foot and just kind of land a little kind of soft, like really cool looking thing. Just like <sighs> appear. And he's going to start running across the roof as he shouts out and says, Perhaps you might want to disarm the creature! No bows for it! And I fire off a flaming spear right at him. Okay. Nice. I go 5, 10, 15. I go to here. Initially shoot it out. Um, he makes a deck save. And I'm going to do it at third level. Sure you can! What did he do? What did he roll? <laughs> he just rolled a 31. Fuck oh, me! <laughs> Okay. okay. Well, um, so he takes half. Uh, so that's um, half of 3d6. Uh, he takes four? I'll be nice. I'll round up. Okay, five. Sweet. Yeah, I was just, I was just double checking. Really it's like nuts. no resistance to fire, no like magical something, but that's great. All right. Um, but then I'll also just say as I launch it, I'll go. Dude, like, whose team are, are, are you on? <laughs> Kurt's and you might want to move. The fire is very hot. And I will make my remaining movement to go here. And then I'm going to go prone on the other <laughs> side of the angle of the roof to try and get myself out of the vision. He's going to be the Bitch. last one out of Excuse all me. of us. <laughs> yeah. And then he's and just going to teleport over to the wall, hop over it, run back. <laughs> <laughs> and then let's see if I blink away. Um, I blink away. So <laughs> on the prone, <laughs> disappear. Uh, I'll put down the mark for the um, the circle, but yeah, that's my turn. Okay. Good Vanna. Not bad. Well, I'm, that right. could have gone worse. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Vanna seeing her, this horse's ass, and no one else really supporting her at this point. Uh, she is going to activate her uh, blood maledict curse of the blood marked, and she'll go ahead and use it on the horse as her bonus action. So now all of her. Uh, Crimson right damage is doubled for that one creature. And she's going to start taking swings with her silver longsword. Two, in fact. Okay. Ooh. Roll doing, one to five. Doing good. It, it, you don't need to roll damage. It died instantly. It had one HP left. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. They explode, so don't they? <laughs> Though, yeah. So she saves that second attack. That didn't happen. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Killed um, the horse? Yeah, and it explodes. Uh -huh. oh god. A bunch of spores everywhere. Oh god. She's yeah. got a she's got an amulet. Yeah. yeah. All right. I will, I will hey. roll damage. Yep. Huh? Uh, that is. So Sean. Um. Let's get a percentile die from her as the amulet takes Poor a man. large amount of. She served her purpose well. <laughs> Oh uh, he's, he's still with us. Okay, all right, all right. the amulet is able to maintain. Yes, wow. we warned her. Okay. We really did. That's that's scaring me a lot, by the way. Just okay, just throwing that out there. Yeah, uh, you, dude, I don't have an amulet. <laughs> so Vana is going to start. She has thirty feet of movement. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and she's running towards the last horseman. Okay. With the horseman. 
God damn it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> and that is going to be that turn. So I need Urgra, Vanna, Finley, and Rin to all give me percentile rolls, but Kurtz, you are going to give me a con saving throw. Question, question. Yes. I'm not in this realm of existence. Do I still have to make the throw? Uh, yes. But I'm not there. Yes. <laughs> I'm in the ethereal. <laughs> Ghostly. All right, D100. I could see it both ways, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> Good try. Uh, You're going to have to make one when you come back uh, anyway, so we're just getting out of the way. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my inspiration point on that one. Okay. Right, 46 for me, which I you finished. don't want to be poisoned, man. <laughs> oh no! Okay, so I'm gonna say this first one is for Urgra. What does he get, Sean? I'm taking 24 point first. And then this is for Vana. Vana's holding strong, and she does more damage than Urgra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Where I die, folks. What does the wheel of disease give him? Leprosy. Dysentery. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> your ear yeah. falls on. I could fight if my ear fucking falls on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find what? it. That's how it happened. It just fell off. <laughs> That's kind of how it happened. Only there was a. <coughs> a bolt of there was a ma yeah, a magical arrow that sliced it off last time. All this right. time it's just necrosis. Just all right, so the close proximity to this horseman and all the plague all around you and a broken medallion. Kurtz, you're going to take one exhaustion point. <laughs> okay, that's okay. That's yeah. not okay. <laughs> no, it is okay. It's just skill checks. No one freaking cares. Oh, Kurtz cares oh, about skill checks. Okay, and then... I rolled a 35, Sean. What do you mean, and then? Is that not enough for you, Sean? <laughs> no, you're, that hood, that, that's it for you. Dead, okay, and then, yeah. <laughs> that's it for you. Finley, 35. Rin, 46. Urgra, 24. Vana is 88. All right, so Urgra, you start to see the glowing part of your amulet start to flicker it hasn't given out but the next time i have you give a check you're gonna have it at disadvantage but it is still maintaining um while kurtz you have one point of exhaustion sleepy yeah. take it okay all right i better use all my shit before i fucking die <laughs> burn it all all right then we go back to the top up to uh miss Erga. yeah uh I mean, Urgo would be able to feel like how far the range for the sphere is. It's five feet or ten feet for the damage. It's five feet, right? For a uh, uh, for, uh, five for it is, Yeah, any, anyone who stands within five feet at the end of their turn. Okay. Okay. So she will move the earth out of the way. Get hot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, she. Um, She's gonna. I have the wrong sheet up, and she will just start swinging away with the axe. Uh, here we go. Uh, nineteen. Yep. And twenty-one. Twenty-three. Yep. All right. Let's add those hunter's mark stuff. AJ, that was a very interesting reaction. Do you want to elaborate? Uh -oh. Well, Rin did yell something at you all before he disappeared. And yeah. Less, be less slashing. Uh, yeah, an 11 damage for that, and then 8 damage for the second strike. And this is magical slashing. This is. Yes, it is. Hand axe slashing. All right, so Two. as you're starting to hack away, go ahead and do all your rolls, but at the end, I'm going to need to get another percentile from you. As your weapon is hitting into the body, you start to see some rants coming off of the, the body of the horseman and the amulet is trying to react to absorb it but yours was in a not good state mm -hmm. 25 again okay i thought that was fucking like oh, jillian she just took her something <laughs> like from the spores i was like oh well we're dead <laughs> all right so the flickering that was in the amulet is going to absorb anything that's happening at the moment, but then the light goes out in your amulet. 
All right, all right. Uh, that yeah, that's all I really got for bonus actions. I'm done. Oh, I don't actually know. Will you give me a? Will you give me a bonus action? Just like a look to try and see. Like it's. I obviously see it's sort of like carapace, like armor or anything. But does this look like? Obviously, it kind of is familiar to death. But does it look like any? Does it look comparable to any humanoid that I've seen? Since that's like my favorite favorite enemy. Uh, give me a perception check. Uh, Got a humanoid shape. Yeah. <laughs> two arms, two legs. Head. All right, Spaz. How much you want to give him with that? Seventeen. Um. When it comes to all of his features, he's much like a human. You're not used to the uh, the exoskeleton. Mm -hmm. But you would think if you can just get through it, all of his vital organs would be in the same place as a normal person. Okay. With renewed vigor, despite her now completely dead amulet. Okay. She prepares for the next round. <laughs> all right. And then we go to Kurtz. Who is now, amuletless. I hear, yeah, I hear what you're saying, Ren. Um, and Dylan thinks that's a great idea. Um, However, well, Dylan's not playing tonight. Yes. <laughs> Dylan's not here. <laughs> Please leave a message uh, after the Can time. I get there? Would I fit in that space or not? Sure, yeah, that's granted. And do I still get the flight king? Uh, yeah, the plus two? Yes. Well, yeah, yes. you're both next to each other. Yeah, it's just surrounding rather than. I just, yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Okay. Uh, well, I got this thing that I do. Oh yeah, we did say it's on the adjacent sides, right? Or did we? Just I mean, say you were it? killing us even when it what they weren't flanking. I'll so. give it to you. Yeah. It's fine. It's horseman. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Take it. All right. So twenty. Twenty will hit. All right. I'm gonna use another maneuvering attack. Uh, this time I'll do it on Finley again. If he wants to run away. Where is Finley? <laughs> Up to the corner on the right in the alley. That's amazing. I'm hiding so well. My team doesn't know where. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just like whack him in the head with the sword. Finley, he's distracted. Run. <laughs> okay. Okay. Ah, I don't really need to run though. Um... If you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm doing it for the damage. Oh. Get to the other alley on the other side. <sighs> I was thinking about that. Yeah, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna try to go. Okay. No, no, I don't want to do that. I'm going to stay where I am. <laughs> back. I thought you were going to go closer to the left, like you're going to do diagonal. <laughs> oh, like here? Yeah, that's what I thought he was going to do. Thanks, Kurtz. So I'm good, though. All right, so 15 damage on the first hit. Now, Kurtz, as you go to swing into wherever you hit him, you, you feel a resounding crack when you hit him, but I'm going to need you to make a constitution saving throw. Okay. No more amulet. Hey! Ooh! Uh, let me double check. It's, yeah. Uh, you avoid it. Oh, yeah. okay. Do I, oh, like, as I hear the crack, do I, like, see meat? Uh, you see a bit of his armor, or at least his exoskeleton, starting to break apart. It's not exactly exposing flesh yet, but it's cr crushing inwards. I'll just, I know it's not going to do shit to him. I'll just heart of darkness him. And uh, just like look into his eyes as I prepare the next swing and just be like, you know, pretty soon I'm going to be pulling your guts out. What eyes? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 20 again. That a fat 12. So that's a total of 27 for that round. Okay. I'm gonna need you to make another constitution save. Oh god. Oh god. Hey man, it's a good thing. It's a good thing for you. Yeah. It's scary for Urgur though. Oof. Do you have anything to reroll that? Uh no inspiration uh, point from the viewers. Yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> we'll we'll shit. give you we'll give you eight yeah, seconds to uh to sell yourself to Oh, the, there's a delay. Flyers. Oh god. Look at the spa, look at the spaz countdown. Yeah, you know. <laughs> there's a delay. Like, there's a delay. Uh, it, time's wild. up. Roll damage. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a 17 fails. That's oh. too bad. Yeah, that's gnarly. 
god, and you have a six modifier. You take 14 poison damage. Okay, that's not that yeah. too bad. Is this like being in its presence kind of thing? Or? As you hit into it, as you avoid it the first time, but as you crack into its shell a bit, a spore shoot out of him. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Okay. In that case, I will use my second wind. <laughs> As my bonus action. <laughs> Jackie says, I'm poor! <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, Hodo Mama. That's all right. No worries. <laughs> We're going to give her some extra uh, to uh, table token points for doing the fan wiki page, which you guys can yeah. check out in the Discord. All right. Link. Pretty awesome. So as yeah. I get sprayed in the face by his nasty goo, I use Second Wind. That's a D10 plus my player level, which actually takes me back up to top. Mm. Camp HP. And then it looks like if your turn is done, we go to Conquest. Oh, hi. Hmm. God damn it. Gosh darn it. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> he just turns around and looks at you like... He, he pulls out his bow and just shoots you in, like, the chest twice. Oh, my God. I'm just doing this. Abernese is about to, like, deck me. What's your AC? 18. He hits once. Did you do a D4 minus for the Bane? He passed the Bane. Okay. Hey, Spaz. Uh, I was wondering about uh, that. <sighs> You're giving away his surprises, Sean. Well, as, I know that's definitely a, like a burning hand. <laughs> as you see something familiar, as he pulls back the bowstring, because the first one was a bluish color, but it missed. As he pulls it back again, it's, a, it's the same greenish color, but it starts to surge, and he releases it, and it explodes. This is gonna hurt. In contact. So you take Hercules, 12. Hercules, Hercules! <laughs> you take 12 poison damage. Ad okay. Additionally, you and Urgra take 10 poison damage. I mean, not Ur 10. Ur 9 poison damage. Ew. No save? No save. Okay. Bye, temp HP. I'm in pain. I'm in pain now. I'm gonna do a concentration check for my little spell. No, oh no. no! Bye, Hunter's Mark. <laughs> That's Bye, okay. Hunter's I was gonna lose it next turn anyway. Sure. You guys remember when we fought another boss and like the first couple rounds were really good and it slowly <laughs> deteriorated? No, the last memory I had was the vampire and that went really well. Yeah, that did go really well. Um, at, at least you're doing damage this time. Right? <laughs> uh, Ergra's Conquest? Involved. Do not. Yes, Conquest will snap his finger. And Oh, wait! Uh, he missed one attack, right? Yes, yes. he did. Repost. Repost? Yes. Repost? That's my last superiority die. Okay. Home repost? Hey, you got him out. Burn it all before you die. 23 before you die. I love the faith your team has in you, Kurt. I don't have faith <laughs> Okay, there you go. Another constitution saving throw. <coughs> Alright, so it's gonna be 17 damage. Okay. Yep, and he spews out more things on you. Oh, good. Ooh, we pass. ooh. We passed? Yes. God, that plus one from this cloak is saving my <laughs> bacon. <laughs> <laughs> And he snaps. Is it worth the, the mutton chops? Yeah, I, I have mutton Absolutely. chops anyway. Yeah, I look great. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead, Spence. On the roof. On the roof. <laughs> On the roof. <laughs> you don't see me, I know there. Yes, he, he saw you shoot him with a flaming sphere. Oh, no, I know, I know, but I mean, like, I'm. I'm you don't I'm, see me, I'm not here. <laughs> I moved. I moved. <laughs> That's I'm not Rin's dead. voice. <laughs> I'd be gone. <laughs> Hurry up and bye. <laughs> and that is Conquest's turn. Oh my god. All right, we go to Finley. No, he takes damage from the spear. He does. He oh, does. Yes. He does. Yeah, that's which of course I'm sure he has a massive deck save again. That's at hey. least plus 11. Hey man, we're chipping away, right? He passes. Right. Okay, oh, well. six. <laughs> oh, you six upcast five. it. Nice. Oh, yeah, of course I upcast it. Yeah, I'm spent now, so it's all up to you guys. All right, Finley, as you are uh, in between these two buildings, you can hear the inner laughter inside the mask echo from the core of your being as it comes to the surface of your mind. What would you like to do? Be like, ooh, he doesn't see me. 
he doesn't see us. He doesn't see doesn't see you? No, he doesn't see me. I'm just talking to myself in, in the in the alleyway in the corner. And I'm gonna I'm gonna come up here and I can do a bonus action for an action, right? Yeah. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to go in order. Oh before, sure, why yes. not? Yeah. Do what you I, don't, want. I don't think it matters. You just have both of those things yes, on your turn. Yes. Yeah. Alright, so bonus action as I as I come out of the alleyway and see, you know, Kurt's kind of ducking out of the way of these pods, splash them in the face and everything, and ducking out of the way of acid poison bombs. I'm gonna i I'm gonna say one, two, Fiddly's coming for you. And I'm gonna do bonus action for vicious mockery on him. Okay. So go ahead and do that up. Say again, you cut out. He fails. Uh, hey! Hey! Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> hey! Oh. Hey, it's... Well, it's every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, and nice. then, so I said, one, two, Finley's coming for you, right? And so as my action, I'm going to cast Dissonant Whispers at, uh... At what level? At, at four, uh, third level. You say level? <laughs> Seven. Fourth level spells, level heard. five? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> that's what I heard, John. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> checks out, checks out in my player handbook. <laughs> So there's that. Okay. Wis wisdom save. Wisdom save. How wise can it be? Uh, not very. Right. So 15 uh, on the spell DC. He fails. <laughs> awesome. Okay. But you're not terrified. Uh, that's gonna be that's gonna be five five D six. Okay. Casting Oof. at third level. I mean, yeah, third level. Let's go. Nice. All that. Yeah. Ooh, 19, 19 psychic, and he has to use his. Doesn't he have to run? Reaction yeah. moves as far away as his speed will allow. Is that a frightening effect? No. Uh, Technically, no. It's not. It's just an effect of the spell. Hmm, interesting. It doesn't say frightened on it. Seems like it would be frightened. That makes sense, but that doesn't say it. I'm gonna okay. rule that. Maybe it's more just getting away from the noise because it's whispers. No, I'm gonna rule Spaz if you're. We're gonna put it into the frightened. I mean, it's psychic damage. It's not a visual frightening. It's it's not frightened at all. It's just whispers. Anyway, while you guys figure that out, um, so as my as my action, I cast and I'm like, three, four, your mother's up. Oh, that's my whole turn. There you go. That, that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, damage stays. <laughs> One, but the two, movement. at least coming for you. Three, four, your mother's a whore. And then I'm going to duck around behind this alleyway again. Yeah, you're immune to the, the force movement. Yeah. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, anything else, really? You said that's it? I call hacks. Shenanigans! <laughs> uh, so now we go to uh, Glory. Kyle, I'm the carnival. He, he, he looks around. No Rin. He puffs, and he sees uh, Hel uh, Vanna. Oh God! Yes, oh God. do it, <laughs> Leroy. <laughs> He's going to leap off of the yes roof. Vanna, and... look out! <laughs> <laughs> can a horse pounce? <laughs> yes, it can. Well, I mean, <laughs> two foot. I, I don't know how well it's gonna land on its tiny little legs <laughs> with its large body. Is this like a surprise? Belly <laughs> flop. I think she would be surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I mean, no one expected the horse to materialize <laughs> on the roof and then jump from it. <laughs> yeah, she does have, have a weapon of warning, so yeah, I'll I'll say yes. Oh, okay, well, thank you for the permission. <laughs> and let's just add a d6 for the fall damage. They'll both take that too. Okay. <laughs> As this horse just jumps off and lands on her, I'm gonna need her to make a strength saving throw. Mm. Oh, it's the same as Dex, so I don't care too much. The fucking horse lands on you and you stay 18. up. <laughs> I'm guessing she just, like, pushes it out of the way as it tries to land on her. I got kicked in the face and popped she up just, and kept running, she man. She just shoulder rolls out of the way. <laughs> yeah. So what was uh, the you, damage? She takes 10 damage. The okay. horse takes plus 2. Plus the 2? Yeah. Is that including the 2? Uh, no, right? she takes 8 plus 2. So. Thank you. Okay. Chubby Kabold redeemed inspiration point for Kurtz. Oh, Dude. goody. Thanks, As Jobs. There's four horses now. Yeah. Beware. Better to late than ever. It's not 
<laughs> it's a horse fly now. It's not flying, it's falling without style. <laughs> Rude. Well, I mean, it, well, it probably lands a little spore cloud after they go... <laughs> Just a bit of a right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as the horse jumps down, we go to Rin's turn. I oh, think okay. Rin just watched that. It's like, yeah, like, well, I mean, I just saw the horse push. go die. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> so, yeah, Rin, Rin will, like, use his, um, his ten feet to appear on the top of the roof to see the, um, uh, the horseman has not moved, so he's just going to have the spear go back and <laughs> to slam into him with his bonus action. Okay. So he makes another deck save. I'm sure he'll pass. I wonder. If he passed, it's a half damage. But, uh, What's saving throw? What's the number? Oh, 13. Oh, he passes. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm not blessed, sadly. Uh, but yes, I will then, at that point, see that he still has his weapon and yell with my little free action, just going, DISARM HIM! And fire um, a magic missile level 2. But can Rin be clever enough to try and make it hit so that when it hits, the spores might... They maybe like blow back into the fire and not onto Urkra and Kurtz. Like he's trying to like make it part in the back. Is that possible? He's gonna try. I mean, he tries. He, he sends do. the missiles, honing them right for the butt, just right to the rear. Just do it. Okay. It's just gonna be um, magic missile level two. Do we have it now? Level two says. Oh my Holy gosh. Uh, that is 15. 15 force damage. My eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Seize your warning next time. Jeez. <laughs> what happened? What happened? Just all the D4s. Yeah. Just... <laughs> <Hey. sighs> Neat. All the D4s. Okay. All of them. And then Rin's going to once more get down to the other side over here. He's going to get a little farther away. And he's going to once more go down and roll a D20. And uh, he, uh, 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 oh, does not, does not disappear. Ten is a fail. Huh? Ten is a fail. It's eleven and above. So I am okay. just on the thatch roof going, shit. <laughs> okay, and then we go to Vanna. All right, uh, so ruling for Blood Maledict. It died, but that technically there's nothing saying that that ends the curse. Mm, I would say it's on a target, and this counts as a different target. Uh eh, fine. So feeling that, feeling that her curse is no longer there. Honestly, she wants to go for <laughs> the horse. Fuck the horse. Yeah, seriously. Bring the horse to the horseman. Yes. I concur. The thing is, she has nowhere to go with uh, the fire orb. She'll be. In... Maybe she tries to ride the horse. <laughs> Yeah, that pony. One, <laughs> what could go wrong? What What is the radiant cleanse thing? Does that matter here? Uh, that was that just... for against uh, necrotic stuff. Okay. No. And we haven't seen that yet. Okay. Yeah, that'd be that'd be neat if I could uh. Just mass heal. Unpoison me. Mm-hmm. Uh. Cool. Okay. Uh. Yeah, she'll she'll just hold off this horse then because that makes the most sense. And she's gonna do some long swords. Some long silver swords. Twenty to hit. Sixteen to hit. And then bonus action club. Thirteen to hit. Okay, the long swords hit. Yay. Did it poop? Maybe. That's pretty good damage. Mm -hmm. Twenty-four. Did not poof. Is it down to one again? It's a 25 <laughs> HP, and god damn it. <laughs> Each time you hit it, it's down to like 1 HP, and it's like, wow, lucky. One uh -huh. more round. Oh, lucky. Uh -huh. Spin well, a superiority she... die. Oh, wait, you don't have one. <laughs> <laughs> no, she doesn't. She's hitting most stuff, though. Uh, She's pretty She's happy. doing good. Yeah. Yeah, she actually has like almost all of her HP, too. That must uh, be nice. Yeah. <laughs> that must be nice. <laughs> all right, uh, yeah, that's her. All right, so we're back to the next turn, so I need everybody to, if you have an intact amulet, to roll percentile. If your amulet is broken, I need a constitution saving throw. All right, start with Donna. Ooh, 94 oh, no. for Rin. Yes. 
Ooh, not so good for Vana either. I'm I'm gonna use my inspiration point. Does Vana get an inspiration? Ooh. No, she does not. <laughs> ah. Poor girl. Fuck. No. <laughs> Unless you want to use yours, Connor. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of no, I'm just kidding. No, she, yeah, she has no one. Um. So that one d hundred was hers. That's that's for Vana, yeah. Because okay. River doesn't have a talisman. All right. Um. The continued exposure to all dilly of the. Dilly. Dilly, dilly. Oh, dilly, thanks. Welcome to the table. Um, hey. Oh, hi. The continued exposure <laughs> um, to all the elements around. Um, the enthusiasm was great. <laughs> um, Vanna's amulet is going to start to flicker and then fade out. Um, what was everyone else's numbers? 98 or 94 for Rin. Okay. And then con save then. for Kurtz was yeah, thirteen. A it's a thirteen. Oh, yeah. Thirteen. 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 Do hers. Um, the answer to your question, Spaz, is yes. And then I need can I, a. Can it be no? Con <laughs> save from. Uh, yep. Here's Ergros right here. That yeah. was almost a twenty, but it's a four. I think. I think. Yeah, yeah she's gonna it. she's gonna use inspiration. For this. Because okay. it can't be worse. <laughs> it's very uh, unlikely to be. Fuck you, roll twenty. That's <laughs> <laughs> fate. Oh boy. All okay. right, Urgra, you suffer one point of exhaustion. Okay. And where was? <laughs> I lost the the right one. Oh no, I guess nothing happens to me. <laughs> what was the DC, Spaz, do you remember? I'm trying to find it. Ten. It actually went up two every time. What? So two more than the last one. So twelve. <laughs> oh, that's right. I forgot about that. This, this sounds All very right. similar to the cold water. So, Kurtz, you suffer your second point of exhaustion, so you're now your speed Fuck. is halved on top of your disadvantage on ability checks. Wonderful. Good thing I don't have to move. Yep. <laughs> well, right. not yet. Uh, uh, I heard some noise. Somebody bought something for somebody, right? Did they? Uh, oh, cheers, no, actually. Che is best. Oh, cheers, cheers. Thank oh, you. they're kind of cute. Thank I like you. them. They're unicorn cheers. Cheers. All right. I heard some noise I wasn't watching. Um, I think we could use right. a unicorn right now. We go to uh, Urgra. All right, this is D&D &D and things aren't going well, so we're going to do something crazy. Urgra uh, is going to stow the axe and the shield, and she's going to try and grab the bow out of the horseman's hands. And Yay! Because <laughs> she's pretty sure she has better strength than the freaking horseman does. What do you um, want? It's athletics, I believe. Mm -hmm. Athletics. All right. Do you have disadvantage on now? Nope, not yet. Not yet. Not this round. Ten. No! Inspiration. <laughs> maybe, maybe a crit fail. Uh, no, I already used it for my saving no! throw. I got my second two in a row. What? Oh, darn it. You you go to grab it, and he's like, no. <laughs> he just no. <laughs> oh, oh, honey, no. Uh, he puts his fingers to her lips. Shh. <laughs> the, 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 the Team America want that. I'll be with you in just a second. Urra moves away, so go ahead and <laughs> reaction or whatever. Bad touch. Oh, he has a target that he needs to finish off first. Hi. No reaction? Nope. Okay. Oh. Uh, she does like a double take. Like, <gasps> okay. And then she sees Finley like, what the? Where, where have you been? <laughs> she keeps on running. I'm so glad she's criticizing. <laughs> Mid fight. What the? She's going to run up this building because she can. And then uh, for her bonus action, she's going to cast Healing Spirit on Kurtz. Healing what? Oh. Healing, healing Spirit. Spirits. The little Thank rat. You. The little... Oh, that's right. Okay. 1d6 <laughs> per round. Uh, so go ahead. Do you want to roll it or do you want me to roll it? Do you want to take responsibility, or do you want me to? <laughs> take responsibility, Connor. Okay. All right. Because I'm watching the really here. Great. I'm watching that. I mean, I'm not doing too hot myself. Uh, oh my god! god. <laughs> there you go. I've been rolling shit the past. You dirty rat! 
<laughs> Meep. I mean, better than nothing. Meep. Yeah. All right. Uh, and that's Meep. the end of Urgra's turn on this roof. Okay. Then we go to uh, Kurtz. Yeah, oh, she will also yell to Ren. Ren, I need the bow. <laughs> <laughs> Sure thing. <laughs> you Luckily are, for you, push. I'm in this material plane so I can hear that. <laughs> Let me just boomerang it over there. <laughs> yeet. Oh, give me a, give yeah. me a boomerang check. <laughs> yeah, give me a um, yeet check. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's, let's have the wizard, the extra strength feet guy, throw the bow. You're a muscle wiz wizard, right? Can, I, can I shoot the bow with its own string? Can I just like go? You know, <laughs> I just like let it go. You, as you, <laughs> you can you could conjure conjure a bow to shoot. The conjure bow. a bow. To shoot. <laughs> Amazing. Yeah, yeah. This is gonna go great. Mm -hmm. oh, I mean, okay. maybe not this round. She's just giving you some information. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, I'm gonna use. Where were we at? Gonna, we're at Curse, right? Yeah. 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 I'm gonna use the health potion I have in my inventory. Okay. Um, and that's a free action, correct? Or bonus action? Uh, were you wanting to take the max amount or the rolled amount? I'll roll it. That thing. Okay, roll it, then it would be a free action. Is it? No, wait. Rolled. Bonus action. Roll bonus. What? What was it? I think, I think if you if you roll you if you do a bonus action it's the roll. If you do an action you get it all. That's yeah. right. That's right. That's, That's, all. That's, That's it. It. swallowing the whole. Right, right now you're just. Ah, going to... Whoa! What, <laughs> what the? Hell? That sir is the supreme you. healing. <laughs> potion, sir. Holy <laughs> Jesus! It Only says sta it's, no. It says standard. It's just rolling to do the oh thing God, for some reason. We said type it in. The macro's yes. broken. <laughs> my God. That's it a potent only... potion. <laughs> I mean, oh, geez. That'd be nice. Love well, you dump out the potion hey. on yourself and D4s just trickle everywhere in your body. <laughs> not bad, not bad, not bad. Good, plus nine. Ten with the rat. <laughs> The rat. I'm gonna slug that potion, just break it on the ground, and sort of stare up at Conquest and be like, one of us is dying here today. Probably both of us, actually. And I'm just gonna start swinging at him again. Okay. Good. Both hit. Both will hit. Mm -hmm. He doesn't get a plus two anymore, by the way. Yeah. Not at the moment. Unless you want to count the flames. No, here. we're not. I knew you were going to say that as soon as I mentioned. I'm like, here we go. <laughs> or the rat. Or the, or the rat. rat. Yeah. Oh, you get a plus five. Go ahead, Kurtz. <laughs> oh, I mean. Totally uh, distracting rat. There's a dandelion right. in the ground. You get a plus seven. <laughs> so that's going to be 28. 28 damage. Thanks. And I'm going to move around to try and block his path towards Finley and Urgra. Oh, okay. Well, that's my turn. All right, Conquest. Do you want to know something funny? Uh, I got one of those from the um, from the mages over there earlier. As he drinks a healing potion. Oh, for God's sake. Can I <laughs> slap it out of his hand? <laughs> <laughs> Mayhaps there may be more in the caught body All right, the pile. first time the DM potion's going to get used. Oh damn! Oh, is that I, one uh, one of the 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 fans bought? Yeah, yeah. that's two. awesome. Yeah. Here. That's cool. Fuck, I dig it. Thanks, guys. Doesn't <laughs> taste very well. Okay. Tastes like beers. As I just shoot him twice in the chest. Okay. <laughs> Same. Like that. I just want to imagine conquest going. Okay. As you see. <laughs> As you see, the energy in his hand turns a purple, a blackish purple, as he shoots it out. As you take nine ne on necrotic damage. Oh, jeez. <sighs> Shoots you a second time, same spot, okay. for nine poison damage. Okay. Also, you know, yeah. Since I forgot, you're safe no. now. 
Okay. There. <laughs> so, okay. That's dot, fair. dot, dot, for now. <laughs> um, uh, for the round thing for the healing spirit, is that the end of my turn or Urgra's turn? Uh, it's at the start of your turn. I did it just a second early. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I think we got a Finley if Conquest is done. Broken arrow. Which it was on this side right there, so you gotta step right back. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll draw a little. Sh it doesn't follow you, but I can move it to you. Mm -hmm. The uh, the fire as well. Yeah, I'm just, I, I was waiting for him to say that Conquest ended. Yes, he did. Okay, then, yeah, uh, deck save again. Yep, I know. Okay. Can you fail this? <laughs> Are you actually able to fail? It's really hard for me to fail with dex. Look, guys. Yeah. yeah. The most I mean, it... he could have healed was 10 points. Mm -hmm. Um, So four fire, I guess? Yep. Okay, four fire. And I still have an inspiration point you can use, Baz, sometime, too. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, well. John. Well, uh, nobody do. Could you, uh, <laughs> you fucking not? <laughs> <laughs> Mine's been sitting there for like what, thirty-eight episodes? <laughs> that that sounds like a you problem. Right? <laughs> well, it's about to be a you problem, Dylan. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, what are we at, Finley? Now? Yep. Mm -hmm. Oi, it's Finley Shenanigans' turn. Here we go. Okay, so uh, as I see Urga run up the side, and Urga's like, "Where have you been?" I'll be like, "I've been doing shit the whole. I've been doing shit the whole." The whole time, and I'm gonna peek around the corner and see Kurt's getting all fucking jammed up. And be like, oh, yeehaw! And I'm gonna use the Mask of the Mad Ones uh, lasso effect in a second. But when I'm talking to Urger and everything, I'm gonna use bonus action uh, for my mantle of inspiration to give temporary hit points of Kurt's and Urger reactions to move without opportunity attacks. And then when I say yeehaw, I'm gonna try Ooh. to lasso this bitch. Is it is it sixty feet? The pony. It is 60 feet for the man's inspiration. Feet. I'm I'm within range. Trying to play by the rules, I have to be able to see you. Bitch! All right, that's okay. <laughs> that's Vanna why I'm not really back. counting Vanna in there either, because I can't technically see her. Yeah. Oh. All right. Damn you, family. All right. Good thing just, I have 10 just, feet of range on this Just playing sword. by the rules. <laughs> just uh, saying. Just playing Jesus. by the rules. Okay, so there's Freaking that. Alleyways. Um... There's that. That's where all the bits are, right? <laughs> dilly dilly. And then, uh, An Urgra is going to move, so it's half speed or full speed. I think it's half. Now, Marionette says it's a passive ability. It's not my action to do that. Um, oh, no, it's whole speed. I if I'm right, it's passive to activate it. You can activate it anytime, even without the mask on. No. It's just... I think it's mass. Fuck a duck. No, okay. No, it's any. No, it's any time. But if he uses it, it's a corruption point. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's but right. That's right. It's, he can use it with the mask on or without the mask on. At any time. That's why it's passive. That's right. Ooh. That's but right. Effect, okay. but it's, but my, the, it's my action to do it. But the effectiveness of it matters on how much. Right. The passive part was you could do yeah. it in any situation, but it takes an action and you get a corruption point. Yep. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Eat doggies. Where are you hmm. lassoing it to? To the fucking horseman, Sean. Okay. <laughs> I didn't. To the goddamn horseman. I'm just checking. I didn't know if you wanted to do it to the horse. You know, I would like, like I, ride the I pony. Would like, I would like to sidestep. No. What a sidestep. Sidestep. Side I would and like to sidestep. If, side if, if Kurt is in the way, I'll, I'll move over here so I have a clean line of sight to do it. Are you going to sidestep into the flaming ball? <laughs> Oh, there's a wall right here. I'm going yeah. to try to avoid it. Sure. No, I don't know. It doesn't really have much in terms of what it does. It just says, create an indestructible thread that the wheeler can manipulate each use of the mirror and it gives a corruption point. Like, I don't, I don't know. There's, no, there's nothing else really on it here, kids. That's it, all I'm doing. The one nice thing about marionette, though, if you can argue it, you can do it. That's what it's nice about. So. Yeah, so I want I just want to last of this dude so hopefully, you know, not only can Kurtz get away and not sure. fucking get railed on, but see if I can manipulate his attacks and move sure. and thing. It doesn't say I have to roll to hit or anything. No. Uh, ch -ch -ch. 
you can use my blood on the ground as camouflage <laughs> and wind the uh, cord through it. I'm gonna roll something. I'm so uh, avoid it. I'm typing something to you as well. Okay. Um, how's everyone looking on health, by the way? Well, you guys should have you you Kurtz and Urger should have You're each hit points. You're the worst. I'm with my temp HP. I'm not even bloodied yet. Damn. We're we're the worst. That's our team name, Connor. We're the worst. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Kurtz okay. is definitely the worst. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I think I got, like, one more good round in me, and then, uh, we need to decide if we're gonna stick through it or... Alright, send to you in Zoom. Okay. Does Kyle. that work for you? Yeah. Kyle! Uh, that's, that's gonna be my whole turn, chap, so I'm gonna move so I can lasso, I'm gonna bonus action, mantle people, and I don't know what it's doing, but I lasso so, it. You have him wrapped up for the moment. Okay. Then that's what I wanted to do, so... Yeehaw, cannot, bitches! <laughs> he cannot use. He cannot use his arms. He cannot shoot the bow. Sweet. Okay. All that's right. My turn. Perfect. All right. Then we go to glory. Mm. Yeehaw. Well, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> he's just gonna rotate around right here. Bad horse. Then he's going to uh, kick Vanna face. This is 17 hit. 17 will just hit Vanna. And I believe her amulet's broken, right? No, hers is strong. Hers is good? Hers is, hers oh, is no, no, no. Oh, oh, no. Hers broke because I rolled really bad the last Hers round. broke, but... Yes. But her res is good, do... right? Yeah. Uh, both of them are down. Yeah. Oh, both are down. So, who, does anybody and... have an amulet? I Rand, do. Ren does. Rand, okay, Rand, everyone else Rand is broken. Okay. But Rand this is not poison damage. This yeah. is six piercing damage. I was just... and, if, and as I Check as it. I lasso him, my my I have a I have a my lasso. <laughs> <has a lot. laughs> All right. So Vanna takes six piercing damage. Yeehaw, bitches! Let's see what Finley does. <laughs> well, what what happened? Oh no! It's uh, just nothing. we'll see. Okay. Is that the end of glory. Uh, Lori takes damage, or oh, no? No, no. This just yeah, this is turn. I thought I said it's done. Okay. Um, all right, then we go to Vanna. It's... Oh, to Rin. You skipped Rin. You keep pressing at the same time, Sean. Oh. Why are you, oh, you're why are you pressing at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So me coming up, I will use my once more blink. Oh, I don't blink. That's right. I'm still in here. I didn't leave, so I'm going to. You're also move... prone. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm gonna stand up, and then I move to here. I can see that the horse is still up. Urkras moved closer, and she did ask for the bow. Um. <laughs> oh yeah. Does the, that was a while does ago. The horse, <laughs> does the horse look hurt? Like is because the horse oh, is kind of in bad. the way at the moment. It looks bad. It, it looks, looks bad. It looks like it's starting to dematerialize a little bit. Okay. All right. So just to kind of make sure it doesn't accidentally somehow get in the way of my throw. Because I, I know I could, I'm going to fail so badly with this, As I'm going to direct feet off the my ground. flaming spear. I'm going to direct the flaming spear to come back and <laughs> slam into the um, the horse. Okay. Uh, to try and get it out of the way. Yes, yes, it. yes. I agree. Okay. So I know it makes a deck save. Oh, it fails. It doesn't matter. It has one HP. It fails. Yeah, okay. Sorry right. if it did that. All right. Yeah, what happens? Works. Spaz, oh, to the I'm horse. Gonna need, I'm gonna need everyone within a 20 foot radius. I'm not within that because I'm 10 feet above. I'm 15 feet above, actually. Yeah, you're good. So, Urgrav, Vanna. I see, see, like, rulers coming out like crazy. So, <laughs> it's, it's, like, I like how you try to stretch them too. You're like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but, like, the lowest corner of the horse. <laughs> you, you, you live this time. Okay. So, I have two saving throws. Con? Yes. Two con saving throws. Sure. Vana will be first. Apparently, and I get shielded Vana by the building. Get it, bitch. <laughs> okay, Ergras, her luck is never quite as good. Freaking horse keeps blowing up. Uh, con. Here we go. Oof. Yep. Sorry, Ergs. <laughs> Ergra, you take full damage. You take yep. seven damage, and Vana takes half. Sure. Oh. So good to temp HP. Okay. As the horse poofs 
Um, can oh, they right. see that roll? I don't think they can see the damage roll. No, we can't. No, we can't see him. A lot That's of okay. Rolls. Nope. But so all at that the, point, all behind the screen, baby. Considering Rin did what he he got rid of the horse because the horse is in between him and Urgress, and he's going to take <coughs> the bow out, and he's like, "All right, let's do it. Let's do it." Da, 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 and fling it over <laughs> towards Urgra because she asked for the Come bow. <laughs> All right, what do you want me to make me do? Am I doing a dex? Am I doing a strength? Am I athletics? What am I doing? You have a mage hand! Oh, I, I know what we oh. can do. Oh, good point. Yeah, um... <laughs> oh, darn. I had a fun game. Boy, that's not a fun game, Spaz. I can um, already tell. Yeah, you know what? Why not? Let, let's just do that. Hand it to the mage hand that appears. The hand just goes... <laughs> just goes Damn. Oh, yeah. Wait, how's that go? One more time? <laughs> 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 and it goes... Yeah, yeah, it would just reach Urgra. I think I mean, Connor's it probably crashing. arrive right there. Oh no, Connor. Is no. Connor gonna crash? No! No, Connor, no! Oh, God. It was so enchanting and magnificent. I know, I was like, oh, oh that's a cute them. face. <laughs> as, as the bow comes down. Uh, like, a bow for me. <laughs> it'd be great if his hands were frozen like this right now. Uh, <laughs> accepting the bow. But yeah, I, that that is um, that is my turn. As the mage hand is just kind of holding the bow right there for her to grab. Okay. And let's see if I pop away. All right. Uh, I do not oh. pop away. <laughs> All right. He finally crashed out, so that's actually a good spot for us to go on a break. And we come back. Hopefully, Connor will be back, and uh, we'll keep playing. We'll see. Stick around, everybody. Yeah, oh. stick around. This is getting crazy. Yeah, we'll give. Let's do like another 400 table tokens for everybody since this is a horseman fight. Yeah, I like All right. it. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Enjoy a quick video. Bye. Bye. How late do you. <laughs> the dice are telling me it's a 20. Uh, We're sticking with it. Go. I'm gonna go over here because I'm gonna bump this shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, yes, this is my daughter Melody. Ha! Ah! Oh. You shall find justice upon your soul. Turn it into a. Uh, uh, let's go with a gelatinous cube. Okay. And I'll let it just go ahead and sit there and start dissolving the place up. Yeah, exactly. yeah where are my phones? <laughs> Yeah. No, we're paying attention yet. Yeah, we're, we're focused. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. I'll just sort of run my finger through the scar that goes across yeah. my head. Like, indeed. Grab it by the head, start slamming the skull into the stone wall next to me until the skull just shatters. <laughs> <laughs> bend, bend the fucking knee, <laughs> peasants. I'm gonna burn a lucky point. Okay. Oh, oh my god! god! <laughs> uh, tell Caldivar, if you can, please, sir, that uh, Kurtz Glaskin is going. I'm gonna come up to Rin and say, speaking of teamwork, do you have any offensive spells at all? <laughs> right? And... He'll really scruffy, nasty beard and kind of kicks his forehead. Like, Ow! Down, 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 down. And he just starts going off on this rift. Martha will turn to the crowd and he'll go, Are you not entertained? <laughs> <laughs> Hail, brave adventurer! <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, everyone's favorite halfling bard, Finley Shenanigan here. Being the soulful adventurer that I am, and known for telling a tale or two, pull up a stool to grab a pint as I tell you a story about my favorite hero, me. In my years of traveling, I met people of all walks and cultures. Although the horsemen coming didn't affect me directly, I saw the toll they left behind. The destruction and devastation these villainous beings left in their wake sparked something within me. How was I, Finley Shenanigan, to become the greatest, most legendary bard that Kandori had ever seen if no one was around to behold my glory? More importantly, where is Alundra? When will she be back? And what will she be wearing? Hopefully something revealing. Anywho, setting on my journey, I shared my glamour with those who had never witnessed such pure, unadulterated excellence before. My legacy was to replace their despair and unite the people for the war yet to come. In the end of the day, everyone could be a hero. Everyone has a little adventure inside of them. And if you don't, would you like one?
Ah, salutations. I am Rin Anoran, historian of Kandoria, renowned problem solver, and elf of esteemed conscience. When I became of age, I set out as a Rena and departed from my home of Othalos to the city of Egoras to study the arcane arts. With some difficulties, I was able to teach myself while working as a scribe in the library of Alashar. There, I produced a masterpiece of Kandoria's history and its secrets. My manifesto, the true record of our world. However, even my aspirations dwindled when Alandra's guidance vanished, followed by the devastation from the horseman's wake. Despite all the wounds we have suffered, I shall never let our existence be forgotten, for I believe our best hope lies with our knowledge and story made eternal. My name is Kurt Glaskin, and I have lost everything that I've loved in this world. My daughters, my wife, my friends, all of them dead to the horsemen. And now I have a chance to redeem myself, to protect my friends, to lead humanity into a new age of light and hope. Alundra abandoned us, the goddesses abandoned us, and left us with these monsters. And I want to take everything from them that they've taken from us. I live in a world of blood and hatred and violence, and so I will become that violence. I will be that hatred, and I will be exactly what we need, a sword against the darkness. My name is Urgra Dropper, and I am a dependable ambassador. I was the only half-breed in my mother's tribe of orcs where the threat of being eaten constantly hung over my head. And yet, those were some of the happiest times of my life compared to my time with the Revenant. I was twelve when I first picked up a bow and started hunting, and I quickly found that people make the most interesting prey, and often deserve an arrow in the head far more than most monsters. Magic and... Even the three sisters were always something weird and sinister to me. That is, until by chance I crossed paths with the High Priestess Alundra, who showed me that magic, like everything else, can be used for good or for evil. And that's what I'll keep on repeating to myself every time one of those stuck-up magical morons say something that makes me want to cut out their tongues. The following program features adults using adult language. You have been warned. Right. All right, we are back. Sorry about the delay. We just got cameras oh. reset, and we're ready to continue. Um, all right, we got some points to give it real quick, and then we jump back into it. Um, I believe Rin was mage handing down um, the bow to Urgra, so you guys can figure that out while I give out 400. Yeah, if I'm 15 feet yeah. up, I can get to right there, so it's kind of flowing next to Urgra. Okay. All right, points are given Done. out. That's it. Yeah, it's Rin. Enjoy the points, everyone. All right, hopefully you guys are starting to get enough to help these guys out. Um, looks like 
I need to remove two of them as well. I forgot. Um, it was... I don't know what you're talking about, Sean. Kurtz and Urga's IP. Okay. No. Oh, that was a while ago. Nope. Yeah. No. That's because we're switching... Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. Uh, was that Rin's complete turn last round? Yep, that's it. Rin done. Okay, Vanna. <sighs> Yep, right. Vanna, uh, seeing the horseman explode in her face for the second time, is going to come around, run, uh, just for flavor. She's going to take her silver sword and swing it through the flaming sphere to get a little hot. And then she's going to whisper under her breath a prayer passed down from her family, and she's going to cast her uh, mark, maledict, whatever the hell it is, on the horseman. Doing Amplified? Uh, there's no point. You're not resistant to Radiant. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I read my shit. <laughs> yeah. Spaz. Uh, so she's going to do Blood Curse of the Marked for bonus action. And she's going to take two silver longsword attacks against you. Okay. Here we go. And uh, no flank. Damn it. You, yeah, actually you do. I have 10 feet of range. <gasps> with my sword. And there's so, no... No amulet for her as well. So you get a plus two to that attack. 17. So that will hit. Yeah! Uh, and 18 for 20. That will hit. All right. Uh, so double the radiant to 14. <laughs> Shit. You guys and, thought I would move out so of So 20 melee. damage. <laughs> and... Holy shit, 25 damage, 45 points of damage from Vana just coming Ooh. in like a beast. Okay, okay Vana. I see you. All right, Vana me. doesn't get to. Two con saves from Vana as she's coming in hot. Yeah, this is this is where it all goes shit, y'all. <laughs> Here's the two. Oh. Uh, do you want to do the. Next uh, con save. Let's just roll. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, 13. 13. Both fail. Okay. Yeah. Oh. I'll take those 45 points, though. I'm pretty proud. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> pretty good. She has served her purpose. She's contributed. She can die with honor. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 17 poison. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Okay. Uh, nice. All right. There's more me. spores Ooh. pour out of uh. Conquest's body as she cuts into it with her silver longsword. Uh, yeah, that's Vana. So top around. What was that? I, I didn't top hear that. of the round. Top of the round. Ergra. All right, I need everybody okay. not. to do your saving throws. And mm -hmm. Rin, I need a percentile from you. 83. Oh, hey. God, <laughs> Vada didn't do too much better. Let's see if Urger can finally get some luck. I'm, I'm uh, tending to doubt it. Well, oh, oh, ooh, awesome. Hey. Ooh, Urger did it. All right. So, Kurtz, you are hey. now on to your third point of exhaustion, so you have disadvantage on attack throws mm -hmm. and saving throws, on top of half speed and disadvantage on ability checks. We're all making uh, percentiles? If you have an amulet. Okay. 55? Wait, does Finley have an amulet? I thought it's broke. No, he does. I'm he still does. good. Okay. All right, still so holding. your amulet is still holding on. Um, where was Rin's? 83? All right, he's good. <laughs> All right, so Urgra, or not Urgra. Um, yeah, Urgra. Uh, Vana. Vana takes her first point of exhaustion. Yep, disadvantage on ability checks. Okay. okay. All right, okay. Okay. now we go to Urgra. God. Just getting handed down the bow from uh, from Rin with Mage Hand. And she's like waving the fire out of her face. God damn it. <laughs> and she'll grab the bow and she'll just ba start backing up. Uh, would be would be better actually. She's gonna get to try and get some cover eventually, so she'll move to here, and she's gonna uh, bonus. She's concentrating still, so bonus action. She's gonna move the square over to Kurtz. Uh, action. She's gonna take two shots with the uh, magic longbow. Okay. All right. But God, God damn it. <laughs> Uh, <gasps> that's a yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's so Here we go. Like, Here we go. Here's a crit. Okay. All right, and still Slayer's prey, so I'm gonna add a D6 to this. Doubled it. Yep. Interesting. All right, so that's going to be 12 plus 8 is 20 damage for the first strike. Woo! Good nice. hit. 
Ah, if only it was melee, I could do my savage rage, but that's... And Vanna's going to need to do a Ugh. con saving throw, because she's within range oh. as the arrow oh pierces my. in. Spores are going to pop out. I could have been ten feet away this whole fucking time. Yeah. Oh my fucking Jesus. <laughs> Next year. <laughs> Next year. Yeah. <laughs> knowledge is power. <laughs> oh, she's good. All right. Good. All right, and the second attack was uh, 15. 15 yeah. will miss. Okay. Uh, that's about, about, And then she's going to duck around and just like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go to Kurtz uh, now. Let's hear Kurt's, everything else. Kurt's uh, feeling like a fool. <laughs> uh, Kurtz, I'm going to give you a D6 really quick. Yep, 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 yep. No. Trust, can't be trust worse than last time. It can't be. Uh what? Is that what the green box it's, is? The rat? Yep. Yes. Okay. It's almost as worse as last time. <laughs> it doubled it, though. Okay. All right, Kurtz. Um, as the rat starts nibbling into you, magically healing, it's coming from the saliva of the beast. What would you like to do? Kurtz is going to look around. Everyone's pretty fucked up, right? Yeah, at this yeah. point. Okay. I'm gonna slug my last healing potion. Okay. Is that the one from the viewers? Yes. Okay. She does not have any healing potions. Uh, not bad. Yeah. Should be seven, but yeah. Uh, yeah, it is seven. Alright, so. Oh, because the one plus two? Four. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um. And before I go into attack, uh, I'm going to take the horn out and blow the three short blasts. Okay. Where are we going to go? The call for retreat, huh? <laughs> retreat to the impenetrable blue sphere, yes. Go in the other, go in the other bodies. Dive in the bodies, yeah. <laughs> I wonder if Maybe if I just play, play dead. Oh! Yeah! Yes! Actually, no, I, have, <coughs> I have disadvantage. Oh, oh yeah, fuck. that's right, you do. Thank you. Just for crit again. To... Another twenty. Just another twenty. That's all you gotta do. I've seen it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, you get a plus two for sixteen. Not gonna... Okay. It's not gonna be enough. I think his AC is like eighteen or nineteen. I think it's seventeen. Or it's either seventeen or eighteen. Yeah. You get another attack. Disadvantage. Eighteen. And it will hit. Nice. All right. All right, we need uh, Vana to make a Constitution saving throw as more spores God. pour out. <laughs> of his <Yeah>. body. <laughs> Finley, why are you reveling in this murder? Uh, so, so many like... <laughs> Not so good. Not so good. All right. You want to roll, it, Spaz? I saw the lips say sure. But... Sure. Yeah. Ooh, thirteen. 13. Yeah. Okay, she's, she's up. So, she's as in I'm a good spot. Making, she's in a good spot. As I'm making these attacks, I'm just gonna like shout to everybody. Uh, I'll hold him off as long as I can. Hide in the village. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Erva audibly <laughs> rolls her eyes. <laughs> audibly. Kurt sees that. This was the plan. This was before we were trapped in a bubble. <laughs> Go Hashtag... Let me out! Let me out! <laughs> Hashtag audible eye roll. Got it. It's, it's the next t-shirt in our lineup. Yeah. <laughs> I've got one more trick up my sleeve, but it's going to have to wait till next turn. So that's Kurtz's turn? Yep. Okay. He's going <laughs> to... Uh, let's have some fun. As not. you see his helm oh. crack open as you see two glowing eye, um, green eyes peer out as he as this green beam shoots out. Oh, catching fuck. catching Kurtz and Finley. Kurtz, oh wonderful. I'm gonna need you to make a constitution saving throw. Oh boy. Jean does this override his amulet from how much damage it does? What do you mean for how much damage it does? Uh, 
It's best. Oh, because Finley has an amulet still. No, no, that's not what I'm worried about, Honor. Uh, we'll have him make two checks from it. Okay. Uh, that should be a 16. Okay. A con save? Uh, con well, save. It, well, no. He, you gotta make a... D100s for your necklace? Yeah. Oh. Wait. Do I have disadvantage on saving yeah, yeah. throws? Yes, you do. Oh, nice attack man. and saves for thirds. Yeah. 14, then. No, 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 Finley, you're rolling a D100. Yeah, two D100s. I, I already had, I had already clicked con save. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay. It's coming. Bye. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, first ooh, good. Okay, and a good. second one. I do it again. Can yep, you? it's a lot. Do, uh, do, do inspiration. Uh, is is Kurtz melting at this point? Like, how much of a lot is a lot? <laughs> ooh, eighty six. Oh, nice. Okay. Finley, avoid pretty shit. sure I'm missing half oh, of my shit. body. <laughs> You're two faced, Kurtz. You take forty poison damage. <laughs> I don't think you're dead. I'm not outright no, dead. not quite. I mean, you're gonna get up I'm before you mostly dead. <laughs> <laughs> and Finley yeah, doesn't right. take any damage at all, correct? Uh, he would not. Poison Lucky. immunity. Blessed necklace. <laughs> Blessed. Blessed be the Blessed. name of the necklace. Blessed be. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think it matters. The sisters be praised. <laughs> this is also poisoned. But I don't think that matters. <laughs> oh. uh, not, not anymore. I mean, he already, he's already got three exhaustions. So not with like, the exhaustion, no. Yeah. No, it doesn't. And Can't poison a dead man. And, <laughs> well, I can't stomp in their corpse, though, as he snaps his finger. You oh, fucking God. summon that goddamn horse on top of me, Spaz. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to try to overkill him? <gasps> Well, death save fails if he gets. Can stomped. you? Can you? I, I know this is kind of stupid, but can you snap your uh, finger marionetted by the threads? Yeah. I mean, Actually, yeah, hold you... on, hold on. If he was restrained, how did he do this? Yeah, how did he do all this? What the? The break. breaking the helmet. <laughs> no, he didn't break it himself. Okay. It was it's his gaze ability. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, if he's also restrained, wouldn't I have advantage? On no. what? On melee on attacks. On your attacks. Oh, uh, that if it was restrained, then yes. But does yeah, the marionette make you restrained? I'll count. That I don't know what it does. If you, if then, you want, to, okay. if you want, to, if you want to roll that extra set for the crit, you can. Yeah. Okay, I will. I'll let that. <laughs> I'll allow that as you take me down to now one third of my health. Oh, I should have been rolling with an advantage too. Okay. Well, an extra twelve before I die. Sure. That's fair. You're not dead. An extra, an extra 12 before I die. <laughs> Where's his last words? Does he clap? <laughs> He's like, what does that mean? <laughs> okay, then. Interesting words. Ooh. Not bad. Oh, you're rolling initiative again? Yep. I gotta yeah. roll initiative every time. Ugh. Glory. Because it counts as a different entity every time. Oh, <laughs> goody goody. Well, at least the laser beam uh, has mm -hmm. been used. <laughs> the laser. The laser beam. <laughs> At will. You guys are learning so much about this horseman. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and is it all of Conquest's turn? Yeah. That's his turn. I believe it. We go to Finley then. Mm -hmm. So, Marionetted. Um. <laughs> I can, I, the indestructible thread that the wielder can manipulate. So can I, like, move Conquest around? Can I do anything with this guy? So what Spaz and I, I had talked about, air? sure, sure, sure. We don't want to completely negate the cursed items against horsemen, because what's the point of having them? You know, like, we want you guys to be able to use them against bosses. Um, sure. But because they're bosses, they're going to be less effective. So if you want okay. to... Every time it comes back to your turn, if you want to maintain the marionettes, it's going to take an additional sanity point, but then you can maintain it. If you don't want to take the point, then you would have to let it go. Does that, does that make sense? And for our ruling, if I use a spell as a bonus action, if it's first level, I can do cantrip still as an action? Or yeah. can I still cast yeah, spells as an action? Cantrips you can do any time. Yeah. yeah. As long as the leveled spell is a bonus action. You can do a cantrip. 
Yeah, but of course, since your mask makes your vicious mockery a bonus action, you can then action any level spell. Mm -hmm. Alright, fuck it, whatever. Um, gosh damn it. Well, then I'll drop the fucking marionette thing. And... Oh! Oh, okay. I'm not gonna. T I already have a fucking insanity thing. Um, I'm gonna do bonus action healing words and yell a curse to get up. Okay. Get up, Kurtz. Oh, get up, Kurtz. I'll <laughs> kick him, but not really kick him. Just like act like I'm kicking him because I'm not really close enough. Okay. It's a healing kick. Can you get right next to him? A healing kick. It's, it's a healing kick. <laughs> And as I healing word him, I'm going to use my action to disengage from this fucking horse. And I'm going to run over this direction. So I'm going to go through the alleyway and duck around the building. Okay. And how much healing did you get, Kurt? I'll tell you in a second. One. <laughs> Right. Ah, ah, ah. Well, he's, he's got a charisma modifier yeah, in there. Charisma it's going to be modifier. more than one. So, as, but, as, but so healing word is a bonus action, but I can still cast it higher. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I cast it at second level. Ooh. It's could be four level. plus your charisma. Yes. Come on. Hey. Oh, this horse doesn't uh, like well, kick this me is, in the back This is head. my time for roll 20 to freeze. <laughs> uh, why go. would the horse do that? I don't know, Spaz. Why would the horse? Because <laughs> it's controlled by the mastermind. <laughs> Six. That all? Six Actually, uh, it's more it than that. It should be ten. Your charisma modifier wasn't added. Hmm. Finley's sheet is a mess. Yeah. <laughs> it's what Finley. What do you expect? Play around with shit. I remember so, yeah, the first character be... I ever made in Roll20. I, <laughs> I feel like maybe it's because he had Gary do his paperwork for him, and he's like, I'm doing the best that I can. I have no I'm not going to put any of Kyle's modifiers on, like, on there. <laughs> are just like made of fabric and foam. <laughs> Good luck killing with that modifier, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> He's so right. stupid. <laughs> Alright, so I did. Ten to Dylan. Shatter. That. That. Okay. All right. Cool. Uh... Yeah, that's my turn. I'm gonna run away. Uh, looks like we're going to Rin. Okay, Rin is going to be a little sad that the restraint is now gone because that would have made him auto fail a deck save okay but no so um instead he's just gonna swing We're gonna talk it out about this decompression <laughs> so he's gonna just swing it there with a bonus action to direct the sphere back into conquest makes another deck save i'm sure he passes but if he doesn't it's 10 if he does it's five you tell me conquest okay <laughs> all right then Oh, okay, he passes. <laughs> and then as that one goes in, I will then focus and try to create another set of magical missile darts at second level, have them spiral and condense into one massive section, hopefully, again, away from Vanna so she doesn't get the party cloud of death. Vanna needs uh, her one last strike. I know, I don't want to kill Vanna, so I'm, I'm trying to, like, guide the missiles around. It's like, if you're going to fart out your spores, do it over here. Okay. Oh. But that's what he's going to do. It's like a mushroom. Yeah, it's just kind of like level. fourth. Fourth for everyone in every direction. Yeah. <laughs> he fires, and he's going to do uh, 11 points of force damage towards Conquest. He threw so many goddamn dice on the screen that they're like stacked on top of one another. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, he's going to take another step back again, get to the other side of the roof, crouch, but not, you know, get, get crouch low enough so he doesn't get the line of sight thing, but not go prone, because <laughs> last time that was a very... Nasty thing to lose the movement. And let's see if he blinks! Is this round nine or is this round... Uh, not even round nine. Not even round nine? It's, it's not even round nine. nine. This is round, round six. Round six? Huh? I'm pretty sure it's round six. Yeah, yeah. Sounds about right. Okay. Anything else? Yep. Uh, that's it. That is all I got. All right. Glory. Yeah. <laughs> Boop. That's just yeah. a little bit. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> this is advantage because he's also prone. Yeah. <laughs> good news That's is, me. Good news is you don't need to make a strength saving throw. Because yeah. you're already prone. <laughs> yeah. You take five piercing damage. The horse just goes on you. Is that uh, before the reduction or after? Oh yeah, it does yeah. magical, so that is uh, that is before. So that would okay, be so two I damage. take yep, two. Mm -hmm. two damage. I'm Ooh. still alive. <laughs> Four now. Oh, we like needed. Vanna to make her saving throw, right? For the fire? For the magic missiles. Yeah. 
Oh, you're not. You're not I, I thought I was clever, but I'm not. So. Yes. Oh. I feel like he just shoots them out and like. This is spoilers for everyone. Oh God, this Whoa. good tenta man. Take oh! Your oh! oh! All Take right. Your Take your healthy dose of spores. And yeah. go ahead and explode the one since it was a, f a red failure. It's a critical fail. Say so what? One. one of one them. More. One of them was a six. Go ahead and explode that one. But she's at one HP. <laughs> oh, it's right. Explode it. Exploded. Yep. Don't make I a wanted to explode bowl. it. Yep. Why does it explode? Uh, because it was red. it was red. That's it was red. Bad. It was red. What? I'm not doing it. Oh, oh, her saving throw was right. Oh, the saving, saving throw was right. We, we can't see failed this. It. We don't know what it is. Oh, I can see it like on one of the damage die. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay, one. Yeah, oh, it, it, it one. Yes, no, one more damage. Yes. I mean, she's, she's dead. She's yeah. down. Well, unconscious. She's down. Unconscious. Like, oh yeah. Nah, she's Which fucking dead. Down. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Which means right. she doesn't get around this turn. Uh, uh, save. Uh, save. Death. Save. Death. Save. D twenty. D twenty. D twenty. Oh, on her turn. No, right. It's Glory's death. I think she's up. Oh, Glory's yep. death? Okay. Me? Yep, it's her turn. Yeah, so death save. I think that's a thing. Let's death see. save. Yep. Come on, Banna. Success. I'd like okay. to buy a Val, a saving throw. <laughs> I would like to buy a health potion. Really? <laughs> I wanted that. I'd like to buy a death save, though. please. 20. Hey! What? what? Check Brian the chat. Bought, Brian bought a money. Brian bought a health potion for Kurtz. <laughs> oh! Nice. Alright, alright, alright. Um You're the real MVP MVP, alright? Freaking really. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we go to for purpose. Well, yeah. Erga climbs up on the roof looking around. Please don't shoot the horse. No, she's not gonna shoot the horse. I don't want to explode. Uh <laughs> Sees Vana down at this point. Do not move that rat. Gives. <laughs> Do not. Gi move gives that a shrug, rat. and she's gonna shoot, even though it's gonna start killing Vana. <laughs> oh no! Because that's, I mean, yeah. sure. She's already All's fair in love and war. She's our best damage dealer now, though. Excuse you. I can't believe you. <laughs> he is. She did forty-five in a round. That's that's Kurt's shit. All right, here we go. Here's Urgra. She may just miss everything anyway. Please uh, miss Urgra. Miss. I mean, she'll... same team. <laughs> okay, hold on. First of all, she's gonna bonus action to a healing potion. So let's go ahead and do that really quick. Okay. Or 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 maybe. Oh wait, Urgra. no. She can run over and give it to her. Fuck that. Okay. She's gonna. Uh, she was here. So five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 25 dump a healing potion into Vanna. Okay. Cuz Ergra's not doing much else <laughs> good. Is that an action to Ooh. Do that? 9 for Vanna. Okay. It it would be an action for someone else. Um that is her action. Uh she needs to move. She has 5 feet left. She is going to get out of the way. Do I get an OP attack? Okay, yes you do. Okay. You get back hit and did. Go oh. ahead. If you die, for Vanna. No. She has a lot of HP. Or is does. your is your uh, amulet broken? Yes, it is. Okay. Fuck. What a strange question, Spaz. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that, Sean? Yeah. Was it worth it, Connor? <laughs> Was it worth it? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I'd rather have Vanna up than Urgra up. And then oh, add the bludgeoning damage, so that is 17 points of damage. She's oh, fine. You're, good. you're fine. Oh. 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 <laughs> okay, I'll do a concentration check on my. As spell. it's not, it's not the impact of the hit She's okay. that, that does it for you. It's that the when he makes contact with you, just spores release from his hand. Mm -hmm. Mr. No Touch. Swiper, yeah. no swiping. She doesn't. She has a bonus action left. Uh, gonna save that for Kurtz. You guys could all run, like I said. <laughs> run. There's nowhere to go. Yeah, where are they gonna go? Hide in the corpse Locking piles. Bubbles. Twelve hours. The, the, the things that are covered in pus. No. Uh, that's you guys, all. You guys got amulets. That's all. No, two of us do. Do, <laughs> do they? <laughs> uh, Ur Ur Urgur's done. You just have to oh. run away for an hour. <laughs> all right, now we go to Kurtz, who is now back uh, alive because of Shani. What? It was the start of the round. 
Oh, it was. I wasn't going to remind him. Oh, of course you weren't. <laughs> All right. That's why Spaz is here. All right. Everybody, make either your percentile or con saving throw. 39 for... Can we use inspiration points on these hundreds, or is that just for, like, a d20 rolls? Hmm. I'll grant it. I mean, 39, you should still be fine. Of oh, course. Nice. I, roll, I roll a fucking nat 20. <laughs> and it's right. a disadvantage. Um, <laughs> you still rolled Kyle, are you nine. using yours? Yeah. Well, I don't, think a, I don't think a 38 keeps my amulet intact. Not if history tells us anything, no. It should. I'll do that one. A fucking 95 <laughs> will. So take right. my uh, take my inspiration away there, Mister DM. If I if I remember, like I, a, a twenty five still kept my amulet intact. If I remember, if you roll that a level seventy five, you, know you get around. like a free health potion. <laughs> you remember incorrectly. Uh, I don't know about that. Urgra. All right, Ergra, how many points do you have for exhaustion? Uh, only one. Only okay, one. Two. You're up to two. You're up to two. Yep. Half me half for is. yours. That's My fine. Lord. Okay. Um, is Vana pass with a 15? How many does uh, she have? Now the DC is 18, I think they said. Well, it increases by two for every failure you have as well. Yeah. She has no fails. So no fails. So. She oh, she passes. has. She actually has one fail. That's. That okay. means she just passed, correct? Yeah, she rolled a 15. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, who's left? Finley was good. Kurtz was what a 24. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think he... Well, hold on. He has how many failures? No, it Three. doesn't get that oh, high. Oh, but the 24, he's fine. It, no. it doesn't get that high, Sean. Okay. Calm yourself. <laughs> I was like, wait, let's, let's sit down and do the math. This I want, is, I want, this him, is, I want him fucked. Uh, <laughs> this isn't the children of the night shit where there ends up being 20 in, enemies on the board. <laughs> um, all right, so then we go to uh, Kurtz's turn. Come on, Kurtz. Let me, oh. get that, let me get that sweet heal and magic. You really want me to do it still? You yeah. dirty rat! Hey! Yeah, better, better, better. yeah that's not bad. Above Still average, something. even. Yeah. Alright, and then I'm gonna slug the potion I just got. Okay. From the, from the viewers. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, viewers. <laughs> right. Respect. Respect. I think this campaign went into a long time ago without them. <laughs> <laughs> not, not great. Not awesome, but, uh,. And then Kurtz is going to stand up, look at everyone, and be like, I told you all to run. We can't beat it. Also, Sean, remove Ergra's potion. She used it on Vanna. All right, thank you. Do I have one of those? Everyone does. Vanna... Yeah. You, you do, yeah. Vanna's, well. Vanna's on the ground, right? So Vanna she wouldn't be prone. flanking. Yeah. I mean, she's a threat. You get it for sneak attack if they're prone. John. Say again. I'm sorry. Flanking when you're prone, I would say you have to be actually in. You're not really a threat right. when prone. Sorry. Right. With this hood on, there's a dial for volume. When I turn my head, I'll sometimes crank it to. Oh, quiet. Ah. So I didn't even hear you say anything. The <laughs> so straight Fine. rolls, straight attacks. Yeah. Well, disadvantage, yeah. Oh. straight attacks. Disadvantage, sadly. Got this. You got, you got a good modifier. You got this. Ah, uh, oh, that three. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That will hit. Mm -hmm. Wibble dee wobble dee smackity doo. Right, another fifteen. Nice. Hey, Bambacity. Um. Good day, Nackity. <laughs> I know the rest of it. Metric <laughs> equality. <laughs> Silly songs. That's all I got. We go to Conquest. Conquest turn. He's, no. pissed off. he's pissed off now. Oh, he wasn't. Does before. he look at least a little rough? Oh, he's actually bleeding now. Most okay. of his most of his armor has actually been broken through at this point. Okay. So he's actually going to be walking towards Kurtz, but right before he turns around and shoots uh, Vanna in the face. <laughs> Point blank. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> the opportunity attacks. Uh, miss, 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 actually, miss. actually, she's prone and it's a ranged weapon. So it's disadvantage. Yes. Blank. Ah, uh, I guess so. Yeah, let's stick with it. Yeah, it's disadvantage. Okay. 
Okay. Does, <laughs> a, 27, does a 27 hit, Sean? I think it does. I guess so. Yeah. The the first roll was a was a crit. So. Yeah. Oh, so. Oh, 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 oh. oh, she has Con- adamantine. So anyway. Yeah. Con- oh, sweet. Con- Conquest isn't done yet. Uh. Yeah, she's Urgra. down. She down. Yeah. Oh, no, with the damage. I don't. I don't lot. care yet. Is it necessary? So she takes 14 hmm. damage, and then the arrow explodes. I'll buck a buck. Well, okay. at least he's Mercury. next to it too. It is poison damage. Oh. <sighs> I tried. Yep. And Urgra is within range. Yep. Tell me what to do. Die. Uh, you take five Gracefully. damage. Okay. Yeah, there's no. It's the. It's the. You remember the explosion was just. Ow. There have been so many things. <laughs> Scatter oh. arrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, hi, Conquest. She's still up. And then Conquest just goes up to Kurtz. You know. Just does his thing. Choke hold him. I thought Conquest was saying that. You know. You know. You know. You, you know my thing. <laughs> when he gets my pissed, thing he goes a little Jersey. <laughs> Uh, Curse will just kind of be like leaning on his sword and look at bleeding conquest and be like, "Oh, he bleed good for a fucking monster." Okay. Oh, good. <laughs> so does a thirty hit you? No. Oh. Take Didn't nine. You just... uh, you take. Oh yeah, just nine. You only take the poison. Guys, I'm alive still. <laughs> nine poison damage. Nice. Okay. Hey, if anyone else in the chat Definitely. wants to uh, buy me help. <laughs> Anything else from Conquest? That'll be Eastern. Good, all great. Right. Make another um, dexterity saving throw. Rin is all over that shit. It's <laughs> three. Oh, yes. Rin, please heal Vana, please. I'm trying. It's not Wizard. my turn. No, 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 no. Rin, I meant Finn. I said Finley, didn't I? Wizard, use, Rin. Your, Wizard use your healing magic. <laughs> God, if only I had a necklace that could cast your ring. <laughs> if only. Yeah. <laughs> if only your DM would give you one. Oh, wait, he did. Where is it? <laughs> you it gave it story. away. <laughs> I did it for the story. Okay, Finley, what are you doing? As you just see Ben. As we like, pan take... over to Caldivar sitting next to the well, just spinning like, the necklace, it flings off. He's like, oh, well. <laughs> it drops it a well. <laughs> like, ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> Finley, as you like, you just see Vanna's face kind of explode. Oh, did so it I, actually kill her? Just, oh so no, it, like, it it didn't kill her. It, it just, it's just she, it hit the face and went poof. Yeah, she just took okay, an exploding okay. arrow to the face, which okay. I guess is survivable. I mean, as someone who's been exploded, it's survivable. <laughs> <laughs> there is long term TBI, but <laughs> it took it took a while to put Kurtz back together again. But after he exploded, it was fine. <laughs> okay, Finley, what are you doing? Um, so, question. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have a insanity thingy to Bobby from the fans or whatever. Oh, a corruption point? Yeah. Uh, you I, should... Is that like an action to use that or something, or we just use that? Oh, what we should have done, which I totally forgot. Oh, wait, you didn't take the mask off. You just stopped yeah, yeah, using yeah, the no. marionette. Okay. Yeah. Um, so what that does is it nullifies one of the corruption points that you take when you stop using your weapon, so... yeah. Cool. So you have one um, for using it, one for the marionette, and then if you use that, it would bring it down to just one, one modifier. Yep. Cool. Don't really need to worry about that, Finley. <laughs> yeah. Cool. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like over here, and can I use one of those points to take me from two down to one? Uh, yeah. Cool. Great. Because I'm gonna do it again, and I'm gonna marionette this guy again. Okay. And then I'm gonna healing word Vanna. Be like. You look really, 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 really bad. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's my healing word. <laughs> okay, so you're up to two points instead of three because you used your sanity point from the viewers. Okay. Just a just a little first level doogie. We get this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, well, so it's, it's, your charisma. It, it's not that bad. It's not so that bad. five. Yeah, five. she's she's at five. All right. And then. Oh boy. All yeah, she he's, he's lassoed again. Now, what, now, if I go like over here, some does that pull him at all, or does it just does the cord just get longer? Cord gets longer. Be right, in action cool. just to pull him. Okay. 
nice right, thing cool. is the cord's as long as you want it to be. Cool. So I'm gonna try to back the fuck away. Uh, Skill we all wish we had. <laughs> kind of as far as I can. So I'll kind of run around, do it, cast it, come down, and just start. <laughs> That's my turn. What was that noise? <laughs> <laughs> Super effective. Um, all right, so marionetted. Yeah. All right, two crossbow points. And we go to Rin. Yeah. So, okay. So a little bit of a rinse and repeat here. Rin bonus action is going to have the spear back up a little bit and do a swing wide and come around as it goes boom into uh, conquest again. Okay. Uh, so he makes another deck save. I know, brilliant no, as it is. He's tied. Oh, up that's right. He fails. Yep. Oh, blessed be the marionette strings. This is the moment. You've this is ten for. fire this time. This may be your guys' moment. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't match the dice, but okay. And I mean, does he still he still hurt? Looking rough. Or, man? Looking rough. Ah, all right, fine. I'm gonna go ahead and burn my last second level spell yeah, slot for another magic missile because do? I don't want to miss. Better conserve those spells. There might be a I, I better. I gotta go, you know. I, more I step dangerous. Up, get to the high, get to the really tall part and just conjure up again extra missiles and shoot them out. And again, I try, oh. I try, I try, try <laughs> for Kurt to not get blasted with the fucking spores. Bye, Kurtz. I love I seeing your much. effort as the spores still go 360 <laughs> degrees around his body. <laughs> Grow some damage. Uh, so oh, wow, uh, that's 18. Ooh, four good fours. Hit. Four fours and a three. That is every, one shy of max damage. Every wow. time you roll those dice, I have a fucking seizure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 18. Kurtz, give me a constitution. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I, like, not, though? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes. Can you I can use roll athletics? No. <laughs> Can I hold my breath? You can you can use athletics to see how much you suck in. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye guys. God. I mean you were gonna go down with You know, this is very reminiscent of another fight. Okay, thirteen. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> just, just clarifying. Just, oh, just the clarifying. You know, honestly, if it hadn't been three D six I would have been fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, let's see if Rin disappears. <laughs> uh, Rin, dis Rin does oh, not disappear. Does so, not. oh, and by the way, Rin, Rin backs away here. Of course, it always gets. Da -da 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 That's me. Okay. All right. Then we go to the hee hee. Oh. Hee hee. Fun. At least the horse can't get out of that alley. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I can fly. <laughs> If it fly, it could, if it could fly, it wouldn't have jumped off the roof like a fucking lemur. <laughs> <laughs> It'll parachute. <laughs> the, horse, the horse is going to self destruct. Oh, oh for you can't fuck's do that. sake! You can. That's what. That's its major ability. It does it if it dies, or it can choose to do it. No. <laughs> yeah, I remember Death's horse doing that, but yeah. Oh no! Oh, <laughs> oh fuck! <laughs> it's a serious one. I'm going oh, to need Vanna and Urgra to make a constitution saving throw. Oh my I'm god. Gonna, I'm going to count this as a fail for Kurtz. Well, it is a fail for Kurtz. Yeah. I choose to succeed. That's <laughs> <laughs> my layer action. 21 <laughs> for Vanna. Roll into the building. Just, oh, oh, 21 for Vanna. Vanna, nice. But... 21 for Vanna. Can she That's... survive that, though? Uh... Uh, she has 5 HP, so probably not. Okay. Urgra, That's a great though. thing. Come on, Urgra, give me a. Yeah, come on, Urgra. Mm. Can't get, can't get a okay, bone. So the damage was 15 poison. Oh. And I assume Urgra fails. Yes. Yeah, they're both down. Ah! Mm. Fuck. Which well, means the healing spirit is gone. But I needed that rat. My last horse is gone. Damn. Oh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a limit. Of course, now, we, three. now we know. <laughs> For next time. For next time. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are all dead on the battlefield. It's a fine Because knowledge is power. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it's only three horses. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. I believe uh, we go to Vanna. It's Vanna's turn. Death Woo. saving throw, please. Oh, Vanna. Yep. It's all up to Finley and Ren. He's so close. <laughs> I should have. I'll get rid of that and uh, save. Come on, twenty, you bitch! Oh, it's missing the zero. What? Was, what, was it a success? No, it's no, a, it a fail. 
Oh, now we go to uh, Urgra's death I'm, save I'm throw. sorry, I need to be fair. She has two fails. She's Why? next to the fire, ended her turn within five feet. Oh. That's damage. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's two. I didn't want to mention it last time because you brought her up, so it didn't matter, but this sure. point yeah. in it does kind of matter. Okay, Urgra, uh, go ahead and do the rolls first. Because, fuck it. Oh, the con? The percentages. Well, percentages. Everyone who has con is dead. Yep. Finley. <laughs> oh, Finley it's me and Finley. Finley. Okay. All your percentages. Uh, 79. All right, Ren. Finley, it's all up to you now. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell me that. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. I don't know if it does it or not. But... Did Urgur do the death save? Uh, uh, I was waiting. waiting. Top of the round. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she'll... She will do it now. Uh, death saves. Here we go. That is no. <laughs> nothing great. One failure. Okay. Damn. Oh All look right. at that! They have little numbers for the death saves. I never <laughs> noticed that before. <laughs> oh wait! Hold on. Hold the damn phone. She's not down. Hmm? Why not? That's She's what a I was half wondering. orc. <gasps> Resilience. Oh. <laughs> Pop up, she goes. I've never had to do that before. Yeah, you, you, yeah, we haven't at all. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Wait a minute. All right, this is so stressful. <laughs> she has one health. You got some back in it. All right. Yeah, so it's her turn. Or do something. Can I ask my rat back? Let's go back to. Uh, actually, yeah. the rat. The rat actually would be back because she never actually f fell. Fell. Con oh, save. Con save. Concentration con save. Concentration check. Yeah. 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 Okay. So. This is here. all that matters right now. So many con saves this game. Yes! Yes! The rat's, okay. the rat's there. Okay. Just nibbling on a dead Kurt. <laughs> Come on! Come on! <laughs> okay. <laughs> At this point, uh, Urgra is just gonna... She stumbles, picks up her bow. Technically, she should do a con save for the top of the round. Please don't shoot it. For what? <laughs> for what? For, for, the, the... for the miasma. Yeah. Well, that right. just gives you exhaustion. Yeah. That's true. So let's yeah. see if she gets it or not. She could pass for once. How many yeah, levels do you have? Two. He has two. That would make oh. it. Oh. Just save. Just save then, right? Because it'd be DC be 14. 10 plus 2 plus 2. What's the first DC? Wait, is it first one's 10? I thought it was 12. I thought it was, it was probably oh, 12. Was first one. Oh, the first one's 12 and it's 16. Okay. Which one was the first one? That's what That's what matters. I thought it was higher than 10. If it's higher than 10, then yeah, it fails, but no, no. Uh, I can look it up. Where did that one go? I well, I thought away. you made a I thought you made a macro for that one. Did I? Yeah. Plague macro or something. Yeah. Like How many times have you failed? Or Two. yeah, what level are you at? Two. Two. Sixteen. DC sixteen. That's where the number was. Okay. So she will get her disadvantage on these attacks, but she's gonna try and go out fighting. So she's oh. up. Uh, she still has that fucking spell up on Kurt, so she's not Yo. gonna Hunter's Mark. Turn into a snake. <gasps> I would, except, I mean, at this point I think I have to, because poison damage will do nothing, but at least it's HP. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she's gonna turn into a snake. Awesome. Does she lose exhaustion? I think she would. Uh, and she's have, you ever, have you ever have you turned into a snake before? Once. Once. You she tested it out. Yeah. And it's OP as shit. yeah, the snake would not be exhausted because you're taking the form of the relic. Pretty sure and it's then, also immune to poison. And then you also get Ooh. the effects of arrest. So afterwards, when I come <gasps> back, yeah, at 39 HP. Okay, but that's in, uh, that's after whatever hours. That's after it is. the hours. So let's yeah. pull up. Uh... I'm I'm looking. I have it all written oh, down. Oh shit! Can Urgo oh, solo shit. it? <laughs> oh my god! All right, serpent ring, three charges. You've used one, right? Now, now two. This is the uh, second, second used, charge. I have used one. Yes. Transforms the user into a cobra for one oh, here hour. It is. No magic is unable to undo this effect. You have AC of fourteen, HP of fifty, walking speed twenty. Uh, but you're not affected by difficult terrain. Um, I can try and scare it. That won't do shit. Won't oh, do it's either. piercing damage. It's not poison. Yep, Cobra. Two Cobra bite attacks, okay. plus five, 1d20 piercing. You can spit venom uh, to blind it them. It, it does. Oh, there's my HP. It's 50. You, you could blind him with uh, the spit, and then you can 
to use snake okay. charming. We're not going to, I'm not going to play with, but he can't be charmed. So yeah. 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 Uh, so she's now a giant snake. Okay. <laughs> Love to see what you do yeah, next dude. turn. <laughs> All right. So you're up to AC 14. Uh, it is her, HP it is her, uh, yeah, it now. is her action to activate it. Sure. Now here's a question. Does the rat go away? I think yes. It's, yeah. it's not like wild shape. Yes. Sorry. You'll have to use I'm, Finley. <laughs> I'm just gonna die. Yeah. No. That'll be alright. That's what you know. I planned on it. Uh, I mean, Virger will try and like hiss her most like aggravating, taunting <sighs> thing towards conquest. Give me a performance check for how evil and vile your hiss is. Who the hell is this? How do I have a plus six performance? Okay, I'll t I'll use it. Your snake. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's Urgra. She has a, pl a six to performance. What the hell? Don't ask questions. 18. Not bad. Yeah, it's a decent hiss. That's Not nothing, bad. but it's a good, could, it's a can, good hardy hiss. You can slither <laughs> to him, right? You can, you can slither onto it. You can well. extra lisp into the tongue. She is going to slither. So 5, 10, 15, and she'll just be 20 here. Okay. Try and support Kurtz and all. Just I'm beautiful. helping. <laughs> All right. He did, damn it. Now we go to Kurtz. No, I, I'm, I'm talking about me. Kurtz is getting a death save throw. I guess oh, she could have held action, but that's... Meh. You have to have an action to held action. Yeah. Uh, that's two. However, the creature is still restrained by Finley, so he does not attack, right? A, t a restraint just means disadvantage. Yeah. Fuck or fuck. No bow. Okay. Which is... Um... I go for the head, Sean, with this roll. Mm. I just stomp. At disadvantage. Well, flat, I guess. Yes, it is. We're at conquest turn right now, right? Didn't, yep. Yep. didn't yep. we say, though, that his arm... Oh, wait. His, arm his arms. His That's feet the way he said foot. <laughs> Boot. Going Boot the curb, to the stomp. Uh -huh. Well, gentlemen... Been fun. <laughs> what's, up? Boot. what's What's up? Well, I already hit. 25 hits you. Yes. Yeah, I'm dead. What's up with the Kurtz getting his head like crushed in by the horseman? So just just out of all fairness, there's a big fuck all snake, and he's going after Kurtz, right? That's yeah. that's what's happening right now. Okay, just making yeah. sure. Just just saying. Okay, just saying. Okay. All right. So how just many? Saying. No, I'm just, dead. Oh, just took one. Just took one good kick. Because he had yeah. two deaths, it fails. Mm -hmm. Yeah, an attack yeah. automatically counts as a crit when it hits, which means two deaths save fails. Yep. Got you. All right. So Kurtz. <laughs> um. Everything that was black now starts to no longer be black, and you're starting to look around, and it looks like the void is off in a distant, distant place, and you are very quickly, maybe like light speed through space, just traveling towards it. Um, as you're looking through, you can see just off into eternity in every single direction. Um, all sense of time seems to be gone. The void is there. You seem to be moving at infinite speed, but it also seems that it's going to take you an eternity to get there. Um, so that's where you're going to be stuck in for a while, um, <laughs> traveling towards the void. Cubby, I appreciate it, but uh, he's done for. Yeah, yeah. if someone I'm else like, needs a health push, I'm like dead, right. dead. This year's done. <laughs> I'm dead, dead, bud. <laughs> oh yeah, there, bud. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm dead, dead. Now, Sean. Uh, yes. I don't remember our agreement, but can I still break out? Say again? Or do a roll? Can I still break out of Finley's thing? Well, you did use your attack as an action, right? I did. Um, it was... No, on Finley's yeah. turn, he chooses whether to hold it or not. If he does, it takes another corruption is what I was wanting to go with. Okay, then. Okay. Oh, okay, great. I'll see damage, to, damage to you. Twelve fire. You're restrained. You fail all deck saves. Okay. <laughs> Jesus. Just so happy about it. <laughs> oh, yeah, time. there, bud. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, well, God, else? is he not down yet? Anything left for conquest? I guess I could kick the snake. Okay. Get two kick attacks. Well, this is at disadvantage because uh, he's restrained and you're standing. Oh, mm -hmm. the first one's a crit, too. Damn. Yep. 32. Okay. Yeah, I mean, not 32. 23. Not, yeah, 23. Yeah, that makes sense. Dyskexic. Yeah. <laughs> Slexdesia. <laughs> um, and you take no poison damage in your snake form? 
Um, it actually doesn't give me poison resistance because no, okay, the snake so is you... actually not poisonous. Okay. So even take... though it's a cobra. You take nine damage. Okay. Okay. At least okay. Bam is alive, guys. I mean, alive. <laughs> She's unconscious, but it's two death fails. I mean, all right. Just saying. We go to Finley. So as you're holding down conquest, as your party is quickly failing, Ergred activated her serpent ring and took the uh, transdial beast form. You're still holding, but uh, you're still holding on to him with uh, your marionette. But you can feel it breaking. You have two options before you begin your turn. Do you continue holding, taking yep. another? Yep. Okay. So we're up to what three now? Uh, yep. Okay. Uh, so on my turn, I'm going to. <sighs> so I'm holding on to this fucking thing. I'm going to do dissonant whispers and vicious mockery. Okay. Two wisdom saves. And I'm doing dissonant whispers at third level. Nice. Bye, Vana. <laughs> I know, but Vana could have gotten the heal. That's okay. Yeah, she may have. She has one death save or two. She has two fails. She has two fails. All right. Well. It's okay. At this point, just do damage. Yeah. He dies at the end of the week anyway. <laughs> Not, not if we That's take true. out conquest. We don't, we, don't know. We, don't know. we don't know that. Well, or she could like you know try making the death save for once. Well, I'll I'll roll it <laughs> for once. Feel, like, wow. Hey, Spaz, check your messages in Zoom. Sometime today. All right. Waiting on rolls. Just waiting on my computer. Dude, I feel ya. Sorry, guys. <laughs> So the, fir the first wisdom save, does Conquest pass? Uh, first one, no. Ooh, Dissonant Whispers does something, but what about Vicious Mikuri? That one, he passes. Fuck okay. okay. That's fine, he's already restrained. So no, well, I did... Mm. 2d4 right, so Psychic. So, third level Dissonant Whispers, I think it's 5d6? Yep. Can yes. I, I just roll my dice while I'm waiting for this to fucking fuck around? Alright. John. John. Sorry, go ahead. Is that right if I just roll dice while I'm waiting for my fucking computer stuff? Do it, my dip? dude. Integrity. All right, All right. <laughs> triple threes. I mean, five d six. So I'm here. And it's on, nine. Uh, and then eight. Seventeen. Seventeen. Ooh. Psychic. Seventeen psychic for that, and then you said it made vicious mockery, so nothing happens. Yeah. Okay. And yeah. it can't obviously move because it's restrained. Yeah. Does it look like it's on the brink, death door? Looking bad. Oh, for God's sake! He's looking really bad. <laughs> hey, dude, this is how it feels on Sundays. And then uh, <laughs> I'm gonna continue to. You know what? I'm gonna actually move one, two, three. No, wait. I don't want to do that. <laughs> one, two, three, four. How much damage do you do for dissonant whispers? That was seventeen. Seventeen. Total. Seventeen. 17 on a fail and half that on a save. He failed. Fail. All right, Rin. If you've ever needed to hit with a firebolt. <laughs> <laughs> the time is now. And that's, and that's my turn then, yep. Okay. Um, well, so Rin still has the fire, which is he's going to rely on that to first strike. So he's going to move over here first. <laughs> to get like a vision, send the sphere back, fire it forward. Okay. Restrained to fail. <laughs> Does this kill him with a 12? No. Okay, great. Not yet. Um, Not yet. Okay, okay. Now he knows what he can do, but he feels like someone else might be a little bit more powerful than he is. So he sees Vanna down. And he's going to move to the edge of the roof here, just to get close enough. And he's going to hold out his healing potion, and the mage hand conjures up okay. as the mage hand grabs it and pops off the cork. It moves. It is allowed to pour as an action. So it moves 30 feet towards her and goes, into the mouth! 
feeds oh drinking. Oh my gosh. Here. Glorious. Okay. Oh, so, yeah, right there. This might be your guys' saving grace right here. So it's, she's it's actually just really in range clever, when dude. I'm on the edge of the roof because it's a nine footer and that's 20 feet. So just, okay. just in there. Hypotenuse so, is fine. How much is healing? an action with my mage hand. Okay. Does this mean it just goes max with the. Because this is player healing. Yes. Potion, by the way. Okay, so it's just max. It's going to be. Uh, really cool. Fuck it. You know what? Whatever it is. Yes. That was, that was pretty clever. That, that was right. amazing. And then I only back up five feet because that's all I got left. And so like, mm -hmm. oh, that's where you lost it. It was cool up another point. Was <laughs> then, then you wussed out. And that is my turn. Wow, that was. Go on up. Okay. okay, I'll bring back this character sheet. <laughs> Avenge me. <laughs> she has ten hit points. All right. Avenge me. She uses half her movement to stand up. She will come <sighs> right over here. Take the cobwebs. Uh, does she get the flanking from this angle? I think we just said surrounded is the new flank. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, he's back pressed to a door. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. Plus two. She will go ahead and use her, I think, Crimson Right. There's so many freaking names. Uh, Crimson Right, which is a bonus action, so that's fine. She takes three points of damage automatically, but her longsword yeah. starts glowing. She's going to make her first swing. Come on, dude. 24, 26. <laughs> It'll hit. Both hit, yeah, yeah. That's gonna be 13 points of damage. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I need to know if she gets a second one because she needs to make Freaking a con stats. save. For oh, hitting yeah. you. Make a con save. So 10, how much damage does she take? I'll also need uh, you to or make a con well. save. Yeah, uh, I don't have a con for the snake. Do I just use mine? Just use yours. Yeah, just use yours. Five different things up. It's 10 damage. Urgur did good. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yeah. Well, bye, Vana. Yeah, yeah Vana back down. Okay, and it was 10 damage. But five for Urgur. 36. That's, that's what, kind of what I was expecting, y'all. <laughs> okay. I'm cool. alive! Slash I did! <laughs> I thought that she might have had, like, a throwing weapon that she'd just throw. <coughs> Doesn't. I would. I could have maybe done the stake, but then I don't get two attacks, and I was hoping that maybe she passed. Yeah. If she passed, she would have had one more attack. All right, what right, can right. You do? It's all up to you. All uh, right, we're at the top, so we need saves and rolls from everybody. Yeah, yeah. my amulet's broken now. So what is it? Con saves now. Uh, con saving throw. Why is your amulet broken? You well, rolled like 34 yeah, last time. I rolled. No one ever told me if I made it. I, had no, like I think a, it's still. I think. I yeah, 34 it is just. It has to be lower than a 25, I believe. Yeah, that's was, that was what it was. Oh, all right. Well, then don't negate this con save because I already clicked the button. So sure. It's, just a good thing. <laughs> it's a good con save. Save it for next time. <laughs> I didn't know if it gone. broke or not. I, I had like a 34, I think. I can go back and look. Yeah, you're fine. It's yeah, you yeah, rolled a 34. Four. I checked. Yeah. Let me double check the. It was 12. Okay. Yep. So at level with nothing, it's 12. Okay. Yep. Okay. You're good. Um, Urgra failed. So she has her first point of exhaustion in snake form. Okay. Disadvantage on ability checks. Yep. And are we waiting for anyone else? Is anyone else alive? I no. Know. Who attacks? Wow, Sean. Wow. <laughs> two Our other two. Else still alive. All right, I'm going to make my two attacks as a snake bite. Number one. Okay. Ah, nope. Number two. No. <sighs> Shit. Fuck. And that's her turn. Shit. You miss with the snake both times? It's only a plus five. Oh, for I need fuck to roll. I only have a 35% chance to hit. <sighs> He's still restrained. It's still a strange. Oh, that's right. So I should have advantage. That's all. Yes, I'm... yes. Roll with advantage. Yep. All right. Both try of again. those. Both of those would be then. Okay. God damn it! Yeah. Oh, come on. One more. Seventeen. Oh, oh no. no. Is it seventeen or eighteen? That will hit. Yeah. Oh ah! God. All right. All damage. So one d twenty piercing damage. One d twenty. Oh Ew. no. <laughs> Is it two plus anything? Like, no, it's just a roll twenty. It's a d twenty of damage, which can be really good. Yeah, it can also yeah. be really embarrassing. It doesn't have a mod on it. It's just a d twenty. 
God damn it. Now, here's my con save for the snake. Uh, so 14 for the scores. That will fail. Okay. Hey, that will be... That's, Hi, Jackie. That's... I'm dead. That's that's a D6. <laughs> that's six damage. All right. Oh, um, yeah, Jackie's back. Tears. Yep. You guys want to get caught up real quick? Uh, Kurt is dead. Kurt's Kurt dead. dead. <laughs> I died. Like dead, dead. Kurt's Kurt is dead. Down again. Yeah, I'm, is just I'm... unconscious. Urko yeah. went into snake form. Uh, Finley, Finley and Rin are still up. Yep. Did we expect anything else from Kurt's though? That's Urgrin's very lack. Okay. I can't believe with advantage I only hit one. Oh shoot! I'm so sorry. One second. I forgot to blink. <laughs> You better do that now. I blink! Ooh. Oh, there you go! Ow. Good thing you called that shit. <laughs> I completely forgot that's a thing, yeah. <sighs> Sadly, I can't play my full hand on Rin. Yeah, I, I, I was waiting for the death phrase. I'm like, oh, no! But I guess I'll just do it to Finley. As... Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Does Finley get quarter cover or something like that because of the, <laughs> the house? I think yeah. he's finally going to move. It's a paddock. <laughs> As oh, wait, you're restrained. You're restrained. You can't move. Oh, no. Teleports, apparently. <laughs> Teleport? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, you didn't notice it because you didn't roll the disarm check. Or yeah, well. but aren't the marionette cords magical? I wouldn't count I have, them as I have no idea. I don't, I don't really have much information. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't count them against a teleport. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. So he will step to that, and then he will pull out his bow and shoot Finley. Okay. Okay, so the, the marionettes don't follow with him. Nope. Okay. Oh, this will be, be fun. That will be 25 oh. damage. Oh, oh, oh. Bye, Finley. Actually, wait. Your amulet's still working, correct? No, it's not. Yes, it is. It is. It is. It is. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm oh, sorry. The 34. Roll the, roll the D100. Uh oh. Oh, pass it, pass it, pass it, pass it. Yes. Oh, yes. Pass. So you only take 11 damage. Oh, oh thank God. Oh, that is good. Monkey fuck. You said 11? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Now action surge. Oh, oh wonderful. Yeah, hey, I did that. Does a 15 hit you? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Is That's terrible. nine. Let's say lightning damage. Oh, cool. Yeah, let's just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it works like that. <laughs> how, how much? Nine, nine lightning. Hey Finley, you know that anklet? <laughs> I'm I'm working on it, Kurtz. Oh, <laughs> that would be so epic. I'm, much... I'm working on I'm working on it, Gallagher. Calm down. A bit. How is Finley looking? <laughs> huh? How is Finley looking? Still so up? I'm, ble I'm bleeding out of my ears and out of my okay. fucking nose and balls and everything. Yep, I so. shoot him again. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> miss, 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 miss. And actually... I don't think he can miss. No, oh, it'll <laughs> hit. Yeah, the natural ones! It's, it's hard to miss Finley. For five damage? How much oh, he's still up! Oh, uh, he's still up! Huh? How Wait, five damage? Yeah. Five damage, you said, right? Yeah, yeah he's still no. up. Oh, he didn't take five damage. Oh, fucker. Okay, take 11. Ah, bunch. So he does lightning again. Moving away from his element poison attacks. Going straight for full elements attacks. So you shot me three times. I shot you... Yeah, three times. No? Yeah. One, two... Yeah, two lightnings and one that was a poison that didn't hurt him because of the amulet. Did I not shoot one time? You shot three times, that's all I know. Yeah, you shot three. You poison, hit, lightning, you lightning. hit three times. Yeah. I hit three times, okay. Okay. Is that right or wrong or? Yeah, because the poison missed. So yeah. So you take a uh, you take, yeah, you take twenty damage from his two attacks from his action surge. Well, fuck me, running. Down. Yep. That's all I have left. Oh God, making. Oh, okay. Make a twenty. Roll a twenty, Finley. Roll a twenty. Roll a twenty. Roll a twenty. <laughs> it's Finley's turn. Death saving throw. Roll a twenty. Pop back up. Fuck, man. So when you can <laughs> pop get the up, ladybug pop off. Pop it, pop it, pop, pop, pop. Come up. Oh. Uh. Are you waiting for it? Oh, here it comes. No, it was so close. It's a 
still a success. Yeah, but he could have just popped up and been Ladybug. Oh. Uh, All right. Okay. He's dying. He's dying go. on the ground. Now to Rin. Okay, well, you're still within range of this moving sphere. Dex save. I can't make a deck save. I die. Oh, what the fuck? How? <laughs> you have one HP or something? I have 10 HP. Uh, no, oh, 10. well, that's this is not, not going to be... Not, not not 10. No, I, I misspoke. Okay, that... Oh, Two. okay, well, that, that does it then, yes! I said I said 10 for some reason. I was like, why 10? No, 2. Yeah, why 10? <laughs> I was like... <laughs> why 10? 10 why? doesn't make sense. <laughs> Okay. Well, uh, by the way, so I, I do obviously reappear ten feet over here just so I can see. Um, woo! Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, wow. How do you want to do it, Rin? All right. That that that. Uh, Rin is angry as fuck. So you can see it's the flaming spear, and as it gets there and gets right inside, it's just going to kind of do that big inferno <sighs> and grow really big as it just tries to swirl all the spores that might potentially come out of this thing and try to keep them in and burn them up to a crisp so it doesn't blow up and hurt other people. Okay. That's what Okay. Well fought, guys. It's your first horseman. John, can you narrate the rest? Yes, I can take it over from here. All right. So, let me get rid of some shit. I got lots of boxes Dude, pulled it's up. It's a shame no one saw it because we're all dead. Urgur <laughs> <laughs> and Ren will tell the story. <laughs> well, er, er, I mean, it, it, in just basic, like, for what Rim would do, because he hasn't used his action yet, he would try to slide down and land and run to Finley and try to stabilize the fuck out of him. Or get his potion. Well, Before, I have used my potion. No, Before Finley. you can do that, so okay. as the swirling fire is circling around Conquest and speeds up faster and faster and faster, as you and Urgra and the snake form are watching this happen, it seems like whatever was inside of Conquest starts to like implode and then just kind of goes out and so just very quickly this yellow and green haze just comes blasting towards you straight at your eye level and it's just going to kind of take you out of your mind out of your body and before you know it all four of you are the three of you have joined kurtz and he's slightly in front of you and you're flying through the space before the void as you are catching up to him and you can hear a faint voice of Alundra kind of echoing through the space of eternity inside the void and you can hear her say well done it's kind of like echoing through it it is time for you to return and it's gonna like all the stars that are all around going to become like these lines it's black as you guys you... die too huh <laughs> as you guys are in this area that's just before the void so you can see off in the distance the crystal um, of a lundra is floating but before you can get there the entire moments that you guys just went through from him c walking between those two buildings in what seems like in slow motion but at the same time seems like fast motion and at the same like in real time you just experience it over and over again from every angle seeing how this horseman fight went and each time you see him you kind of see conquest from a different perspective and a different point of view and he almost seems to be more magical each time that you view this before it was just his form and it was more magical more and eventually you see just the pure evil essence that makes up conquest body and the last time of viewing it with that last killing blow of the flames circling around him instead of his body remaining the four of you see a floating bow just hovering and pulsing magically inside the void. Damn. Round two, fight. <laughs> um, I, I, I would just kind of, if I'm floating next to Urgur, can I just kind of push her towards it? <laughs> yeah, whatever you guys want to do. Yeah. Urgur. Urgur. Urgur goes for it. Okay. Uh, she, is she still a snake? <laughs> no, you're back in your original form. <laughs> <laughs> you're, in, you're in the ethereal <laughs> form of your body. Hey, I'm yeah. a space worm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna see the order. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay. Uh, she'll try and grab it. <coughs> All right. Um, so what it looks like is a double recurve bow uh, made from materials that you've never seen found on this world, um, making its true nature unknown. All right. So you're going to reach for it. Mm-hmm. And as your hand it. is extending, you can hear the echoing sound of a Lundra coming with a warning. She's not being aggressive with it, but you hear her say, be careful of the choice you are about to make. Eat a dick. <laughs> but you, uh, can, you can feel that evil presence that imbued um, the limbo of, uh, of conquest fading out, and you could feel like this desire or hunger for this thing wanting to have a new place, a new owner, a new partner, a new bond. Mm -hmm. And it definitely feels that all four of you are worthy. Er, grab, we'll grab the bow. Amazing. Okay. So as you reach out and you grab this double recurve bow, it is now yours. And it is the limbo. So we got some... <laughs> We got, so we got <laughs> some things to tell you about it. Actually, can we not tell Connor and actually just give him the handout so he can read it? Oh, let him, yeah, let let's him do that. Decide, let him decide if he tells the party. Also, Connor, you should make that safe as well. Sure. Oh, As yeah. Urgra, I assume. Nat 20, nat 20, nat 20, nat How many freaking characters am I playing? Snake, Urgra, Bloodhunter. Oh, oh, no. Not a one. Can I give her my inspiration? Can I I'll see I'll let here? you know what happens when no. you go to your next material body. Oh, good. You're a cripple. <laughs> you lose your legs, kid. You're blind. <laughs> All right, Connor, if you want to check your handout or your journals. Yep. Uh, the limbo. Good God. <laughs> can't believe you named You can it rename that. it. It's yours now. No, you can't. <laughs> I, 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 I might. Ergra, Ergra hasn't told everyone what the hell the hell. <laughs> His name is Tim. No. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to be reading y'all, so feel free to do whatever. Uh, I mean, do we just sit here in limbo for Is there, like, nothing that's happening? Well, Are we to just be fair, turn? I've, been, I've been zooming towards that bright, shiny spot for... Sure. Like All 10, right. Years so as now, as so. Ergra's hand <laughs> reaches out and touches the floating uh, double recurve bow, um, she's in this moment with the bow. But you guys are all finally closing in um, to the void, and you see a lundrous crystal spinning there. And there was that golden colored band that was around it that was kind of hovering around. And the first thing you notice as you guys are floating in towards her that there is now a prominent crack along this golden ring um, around the crystal. And that's where we will end the session, right? Nice. Okay. <sighs> Eric, what have you done? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're the one. I'm the one who finished off the horseman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Two damage in my fucking form. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> GG, guys. <coughs> All right, let's uh, let's turn to the chat. Let's. Uh, uh, yeah. Thanks everyone for sticking around and watching. Yeah, it's a five-hour game, but that was that was worth it. So we are looking for comments, questions, concerns, and we want to answer anything you guys got. So let us know what you thought of the episode. If you guys have any questions, that was a moment that they've been waiting for for a long time. They finally defeated their first horseman. It only took what thirty-eight episodes. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> So they're, what, a quarter way into the game? <laughs> um, all right. Uh -oh. so let's look at questions. Fairly well, I guess. Yeah. How did the fight go compared to our expectations? There you go. Um, there is no healer. We'll get to that. Margaret tried, okay? Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know what we were expecting. Like, it was rough, but, like, it was doable. Like, the... We both fucking died, bro. Well, you went unconscious. I died. Let's calm down. <laughs> <laughs> I only Just killed saying. Kurtz again. Damn it. What's up, Kurtz? Come you were on. only mostly dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to die every time. I get the feeling. Like, every horseman, I'm going to die. <laughs> Crap. 
Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really see how it could have gone better. Okay. Yeah, we need more pots. That's the way to heal is pots. Pots? What? It, uh, just buy more pots. I'll can I, uh, Sean, can I say something about this year in general? Oh. Just. Yes, I think I'm going to say. Go ahead. I will say you guys did the right choices this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey! Look, oh, look at us do things. <laughs> <laughs> All the other years you fucked up, but this one... <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's the thing. If you somehow avoided the Revenant and skipped to here somehow, you would have died. No medallions. No yeah. medallions. You would have been shot down instantly. Hmm. Says you. And yeah, doing cool. all the things for Vanna, her helping you guys, I think you guys would have fucked without her. Oh yeah, she killed the horse oh, yeah. twice and easily yeah. at least 50 damage to the horseman. Well, she, she killed the horse once, I killed the horse a second time, and then it blew up on its own. Mm. That's like that's like mom and dad, Sean and, and Spaz, saying like, oh, you kids are learning, that's adorable. Good job, <laughs> <laughs> Told you things are optional, but some things will very much help. Spaz, uh, how did you feel the party did against Conquest? Were you worried about a death spiral or TPK at any point? Well, here's my thing. I feel like the fight went well. It could have gone a lot worse, mm -hmm. especially if you guys didn't have the amulets or say they malfunctioned earlier mm -hmm. in your time traveling through the town because that mm -hmm. was a possibility. Uh, can I say how, how likely it was for them to break when they first entered? Uh, I think we should I'm assuming that. it was a 1% chance. I think can we should keep that... that uh keep that secret okay but it was there was the odds were on their side for this fight mm -hmm. any other way of them doing this they would have failed horribly and for the tpk i would have totally killed them all if i want if i could but mm. these bastards are too damn good <laughs> <laughs> yeah they did well. that, that was a good fight Spaz i like doesn't that. care if he kills us no i don't, <laughs> I, don't want, I want to kill them but i only get kurtz um Sad. do we have any other questions that we missed um, uh, how oh, we... we had one about healers a while back. Oh, do we have any healers now when buy more healing pots was the answer? Uh, okay. Particularly, we have a bard and we have a ranger who are, you know, the kind of half healers. And if we I'm had... not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, when we first made our characters and things and started talking about them, and like, it's almost kind of like no one felt like they wanted to be a cleric at the same time. Like, we kind of like the challenge of not having one per se I, th I think it was like if we had a cleric for like designated heals that would be all our character was i think that's like how that conversation went right and we didn't want that yeah some of us just took stuff that could help but we like the idea of buying potions and being Seriously. smart with them and obviously inspiration from the fans help mm -hmm. <laughs> well we yeah. have Awesome. Well, um... Oh, yeah. Do I still have the mask on floating through the void, or is that still off? Am I going to freak a lunder out when I get there? I think it would come off. Um, and when we return to mortal bodies, some saving throws will be made. Yeah, we can do that. I have to send healer. something. I, to, I gotta send so stuff to Dylan, and I gotta send stuff to Connor. Yeah, that's it. Just spare the dying. No, no, no sympathy. Just, that's hard, love. I have spare the dying. It's called a heart massage. Didn't work the one time I tried it, but <laughs> awesome. Well, that's it. It's been a long game. Some of these guys need to go to bed. We got a quick decompression that we got to do, so we got to go. Um, Andrew, real quick, let them know when we play and when they can catch us if they're new to the channel. So we have games that go on from Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Sunday is Ages Past with me DMing, and I have four great characters, one of which here we have is Connor, and you can check us out at 6.30 p.m. Mondays is Dungeon of the Mad Mage with Chubby Cobalt. That's at 6. But Tuesdays and Wednesdays, we have Hoda, season 1 and 2, respectively, both starting at 6.30 p.m. And of course, the more time you spend with us, the more total tail points you are accumulating for yourself to spend to purchase inspiration, health potions, and other goodies for the players who need it. And we needed it. Oh, yeah. I'm did. so glad we got some. <laughs> Awesome. All right. We'll be, uh, anything else that we want to plug? Anything, anything about anything? Anything, anything? Uh, Bandit Clan. Thanks, everyone, life. for watching. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Thanks for, for coming watching. back, Spaz. It's always a pleasure yeah, to have you. Yeah, 
Yes. It's always nice to have you try to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> fun, fun voice for the horseman. I like to. Maybe one, mon maybe one of these, one of these days, I could come as an NPC. But you probably just think we're gonna kill you anyway. So. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoever you're True. playing. Oh, that is a horseman. <laughs> 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 All right, we're gonna be signing off. Uh, have a good night, everyone. We'll see you next week. Night. Good night. And, uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow if you tune in.